Hello and welcome to the Lenovo F1 in Schools UK National Final 2023. We are back for day two. So glad you could come and join us because we are about to get some racing underway. Before we do start, there is an air of excitement, few nerves. I've spoken to a few of the teams and everyone just cannot wait to get to the awards to find out if they will be going to the world finals. So exciting times here at the Leeds University. My name is Tom Deacon. 
speaking for anyone who doesn't know that. Thank you for joining us and make sure you keep up to date with all of our socials at F1 in Schools HQ. Right then, um, we have got a fabulous team. There's no Amy Martin because she's currently doing a pit lane walk right now for all of the pit display. So she's very excited about that. She'll be joining me in a bit, but I also have, of course, uh, in the tech corner, I have Sam Chapman and I'm joined trackside uh, by two teams. We have Honeycomb uh, joining us to help out and also Nightingale. So enough of that. Let's welcome our first two teams who are gonna come and join me. I'll have to my right, we will have Protonic. They're gonna come and join me from St. Olaf School. And we'll also have Project Nitro joining me uh, to my left. So I can see the cars all set up right now, ready to go. And yesterday we rounded out day one with Protonic and now we're starting with Protonic. How yesterday, chatting about your two teammates at the other end, they were very nervous. How are they feeling today? And how are you as a team feeling? It's, it's calmed down a bit because we sort of know, we've had a bit of exposure to the race already, so you kind of know what's gonna happen. Yeah, and yesterday, a couple of breakages or were we all all right with the car? All all right. Okay, this is good to hear. Well, Protonic, they look calm and collected, ready for this. Back again, um, definitely very Lotus looking, not Aston Martin. We've learned from yesterday. How are you guys feeling today? Uh, really knackered. Uh, well, you know, we went to bed at an all right time, but we're still pretty tired. Yeah, because I, I, I'm staying in a hotel not that far away. A lot of teams stayed up quite late. Just talking about F1 in schools, you never stop. There's no off button, is there? Yeah, that's true. I mean, we didn't really speak about F1 in schools. We were watching the TV, but... Um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's really nerve wracking. You can't sleep because you want to know the results. You want to know how, you, how well you did. And yeah. it's, it's difficult to sleep. Hey, you will find out at about half past three, four o'clock when we have the award ceremony. That is coming up uh, later, but let's get racing. We can go trackside. Best of luck to both teams. Let's see if they can improve their times on that leaderboard. Here we go then. And it is lane one, which is Protonic crossing the line first. And that, you can see in the screen right now, that is Sam from Honeycomb. He is going to the world finals in Singapore. And in that lane one, you also have Lily who's going from Honeycomb. Uh, what would it mean to you guys to go to the world finals? I think it would be a great experience to go to a different country for F1 and to meet new people from all around the world. It would be amazing. And have you got to chat to many of the teams now that you've done a lot of the judging? Uh, yeah, we've talked to quite a few teams, especially Antares, who we see in the hotel often. Often. Yeah. Okay, I like that word. We see them in the hotel often. Uh, that's great. Uh, we can see the leaderboard uh, just in front, and we can also see the times there. So a very fast reaction time uh, from Protonic with a 0.165. We will get that second race underway. So Antares and the guys from Project Nitro. Here we go. Best of luck to both teams. And again, lane one crossing the line first. Protonic there with a 1.173. So, Protonic, we have got a situation where your car is very fast. What have you taken away from yesterday, bringing it forward to today? Well, I think we were uh, checking to see if the wheels were uh, not stable and, you know, making sure. Uh, well, I mean, I, I didn't. I, I, I'm sorry, it's just, uh, I'm not really the, uh, the design and engineering guy, but I think Tyra would be a very good person to ask. Diplomatically moved along, I like that. What have you taken away from yesterday that you brought through to today in general, not just about the car, but you guys, and what have you learned from this experience? Uh, well, learned, yesterday we checked the wheels on the car were spinning, that everything, nothing was broken, we've learned about going around to all the other teams, learning from other pit displays, ideas that we can incorporate into our own um, project, things like that. Oh, well, that's perfect. That's all you want to have is a situation where you learn from it. So, Antares, uh, I've been in the same hotel. I need more gossip. What, what have you taken away from yesterday that you brought with you to today? Um, that's a very good question, Tom. <laughs> I, um, I thank you for that. And um, I basically put you on the spot, haven't I? And you're now having to think rapidly. What have we learned from yesterday? Well, we've learned that the wonkiness 
caused us speed, it was faster, but we lost points on the scrutineering for it. But I think it might cancel out, so uh, I'm, I'm still pretty confident. Okay, well, I'm looking at the leaderboard at the moment. This is the professional class, just to let everybody know. Bring you up to speed, 11th at the moment. So we're hoping to improve that time. And Project Nitro are in 16th. So if they can improve, that would be brilliant. Uh, did you catch that moment yesterday? Golden Motorsports uh, breaking uh, by oh, 10 thousandths of a second, a whole hundredth of a second by Team Epoch. Did you see that moment yesterday? Yes. Okay, good, good answer. I don't know if I doubt that for a second. So uh, a lot to take from the competition. Um, yesterday was a lot of fun, all the nerves, you put it into practice for today. Um, what are you gonna do for the rest of the day after we've gone racing on track? Well, uh, we have a competition on our pit display. So we have a Skeletrix track and the fastest time gets a prize. So we'll, we'll probably get a few more people going around that track, the better track. And, um, and then we'll give out the chocolate bar to the winner. Just one chocolate bar, is that the prize? So listen, everybody, you need to get over to Project Nitro's uh, pit display. Protonic, have you been over? Mate, there's a chocolate bar up for grabs here. This is awesome. What sort of chocolate bar are we talking? Uh, it's, a big, it's like a dairy milk. It's one of the, the bigger ones, and it says congratulations on it. Well, that's awesome. So they can take that away with them and then have a congratulatory sort of chocolate uh, indulgent moment. And what do you have to do? The scale literally is just get round the track without the car coming off. You have to get around as quick as possible, so it gives you a time. And I think the fastest is 1.8 or 1.7. Uh, I'll need to check that. All right, so this is something you can take away with you. You're not an engineer. You didn't design the car, but this could be the moment. This could, are you ready to step up for this challenge? I think I'm... Yes, I am ready. I would like... I would, like to, I would, I would definitely like to, let's yeah. say. Well, because if you get that chocolate bar, that would be incredible. Yeah. That's a big moment. Well, there you go. This is great. Thank you for letting everybody know. So if you're not doing anything right now, make sure you get over there and get sorted on that. Uh, what are we laughing about, guys? Have you, have you enjoyed the experience so far? Yes, yeah, it's been very well run, smooth, very smoothly run. I'm seeing a teacher at the back of the room who's yeah. watching over you, hands in the air. What, is he, what, is he, what encouraging words has a teacher said for this competition and coming back for day two? Uh, he's just... He's been laughing at us a bit. I can't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> laughing why? Because he's just enjoying your company. He's, he's been very good, helped us throughout the competition, but just having a bit of fun. Oh, well, this is what we love to hear. Uh, so over at the side, I have the... Uh, well, I've had the thumbs up, so we can go trackside now to get the third and out of four races underway. Best of luck. It was incredibly quick from uh, Project Nitro crossing the line. Protonic having a very quick reaction time at a 0.144, but yes, very fast indeed. I look down towards the other end of the track. We're waiting for those all important signals. Something will have happened there as to why the car was so slow for Protonic. We're just seeing the replay now. And this is the point where I welcome for Tech Corner, Sam Chapman back, formerly two world finals, Team Unity. He loves that. Uh, good morning to you, Sam. Are you well today? Oh. We will turn that on for you. I am sir. good. <laughs> you are good. Okay. Did you get enough sleep? It seems to be a common theme at F1 in schools and especially a national final. No one gets enough sleep. Uh, about five hours. That'll do. That'll do. Five hours. Can you beat five hours? Did you get five hours, Project Nitro? I think about, I think we got a bit more than that, but I had to use a, an energized smoothie just to wake me up. I can see he's got one as well. Very respectable choice. Of course, of course. Of course. So looking for extra points there on which smoothie do you drink? Have you had a, an energizing smoothie? Is this why your teacher maybe is laughing at you a little bit? Uh, no, we had, we had some apple juice. Oh, okay, okay, old school. I like it. The OG of the juice department. Um, Sam Chapman, while we're on the subject and we just wait for the cars to be sorted, uh, apple juice p person, what sort of juice would you go for breakfast time? Uh, I mean, I normally just go for one that's a different colour, a bit of, bit of kiwi in there. Oh, like okay. Yeah. The, full, the full plethora. Yeah. So what can we expect today? What, how likely is it that we will see some cars beating their times yesterday, Sam? I think it changes every day. Um, obviously, the, the, the conditions in the room change, so you don't know if it's going to be for better or for worse. There is obviously a difference in each track. I think uh, I stayed up late last night looking into the difference between the two tracks, and I think I can confidently say that lane one should be quicker, which is good for, for Team Nitro. Uh, but we are going to have to rerun, rerun 
one car on lane two because, as you saw, it was going a bit slow there. You could still hear it hissing towards the end of the track going into the brushes. So that means there was a problem with the canister. So we're, we're rerunning that car just to make sure. Oh, perfect. I love to hear that. We're making sure everything is above board and proper. So we will head back trackside to rerun for Protonic. and it makes it across the end of the line. So that's what you're saying, Sam. So you've looked at the data. How would you look at the data? Break it down for me. You look at all of the times, see which one's quickest. How, how does that work? Yeah, it's, it's an absolute monster spreadsheet. And then, so there's obviously, you, you race your car, two cars, two different times, and then you can compare. Well, so it's listed if it's car A, car B, lane one, lane two, so dragging everything through so you can see which car did what in which lane, compare each of them, pull it together like that. It's um, and is there a huge difference between lane one, lane two? Well, I mean, I can go through it now. All oh, in, no, uh, we'll hold it, I'll save it. I just wanted to tease everybody that the, the, the data is there. Uh, we can go racing for the fourth and final time for Protonic and Project Nitro. And then we get to see no breakages. Ooh, managed to do a flip. That was it. Have you seen that before? That was an incredible moment. No, I haven't seen that before. So, okay, we're seeing crossing the line first. Was Protonic in lane two. And then it decided to just do something crazy at the end there, which is uh, good to see. Right, so in terms of the times, we'll get an update of whether that's improved or not. So you guys said from Project Nitro that uh, not much to do, just want everyone to get involved in your competition at your pit display, is that correct? That is correct. We want as many people as possible to interact with our pit display. You know, they're, they're, waiting, to, they're waiting to race and they read all our stuff and that's good for us. That is perfect. Well, listen, guys, everyone here, uh, sorry, sadly, for people watching online, you won't be able to come down here and get involved in this, this challenge for a chocolate bar, but that is Project Nitro. Make sure you get to their pit display. Uh, Protonic, any final thank yous to anybody before I say goodbye to you for the rest of the day? Thank you to Mr. Robertson, DT technician, helped us with manufacturing. Mr. Toes gives up so much time to F1, staying late after school. So thank you to both of them. Well, that's a perfect thank you. Uh, I will say goodbye to both of you uh, teams, Project Nitro and Protonic. They're heading off now. They'll get sorted. Top work from both of them. And yesterday, someone forgot their hat, and it almost happened again. Beautiful moment there, Project Nitro. Uh, they are heading out. Now, yesterday, uh, we saw a team cruise their way to the top of the leaderboard and overtake Team Epoch. They are still to race. But the team that are currently top of the leaderboard are going to come and join me. So we have Golden Motorsports who are going to come and join me uh, to the right. And on my left uh, from uh, Liso's High School, we have Rapid Ravens. They're going to come and join me. So there we go. Uh, Reese, race director, taking charge of the situation. Rapid Ravens, welcome. Here we are. Feeling all good today, guys? The Tupperware's back. Okay, now talk to me about yesterday and uh, compared to today. How are we feeling today? We're feeling all right, actually. We're looking forward to racing again and seeing if we can get quicker times than yesterday. Yeah, well, fingers crossed. Now, Sam was saying about lane one, lane two, which one was quicker. Uh, and he has confirmed that lane one is the quicker lane. So just keep an eye out for that when your car is on that side. And uh, we can welcome Golden Motorsports. They're going to come and join me uh, to my right. Morning. Guys, welcome. I've put them as high as possible. You can adjust the seat however you feel comfortable, but you must feel very comfortable being top of the leaderboard. Yes, we are so happy. More than you believe, I'm happy. <laughs> uh, did you celebrate a little bit yesterday or did you have that nerves of thinking we're going to have two more races uh, and other teams have got a chance to go even faster? Of course, it's the second leg. It's not over till it's over. We still have more racing to go. Oh, brilliant. And how was your evening after the first day of competition? It was very nice. Um, all our interviews are done, just the pit display to go, and exciting racing. Oh, brilliant. Well, listen, uh, we can go racing. Best of luck to both drivers. We'll go trackside now. A 
1.140 for Golden Motorsports. Doesn't beat their current best time of 1.080. Very quick indeed yesterday. A whole hundredth of a second uh, quicker. Uh, one hundredth of a second. Um, Sam, what are we noticing about the, the car for Golden Motorsports? Why is it so quick? I mean... I I assume that the main part, like in, in most cases, the main part is, is the mass. So I'm, I think it's probably right down towards the 50 grams, if not exactly on 50 grams. Uh, I remember the design as, as well, the, the rear wing's quite, quite small and high up, I believe, um, which, I, I mean, is going to help in reducing the mass if it's a small 3D printed component, because the 3D printed parts are normally where most of the mass comes from. So. Okay, so there you go, there's the verdict. That's why it's quick. Let's see if it can beat its current time, 1.080. Best of luck to both. Drivers. And it's faster by one thousandth of a second. That is an improvement. A lot? No. But it is an improvement. 1.079. It is in the faster lane, lane one, and that is an improvement by one thousandth of a second. That's making it even more challenging for Team Epoch uh, to get that top spot again. They are now 11 thousandths of a second off. Sam, it happened. We waited for it. There was an, there was, it's all very quiet. It was kind of an expect, it was almost as if the crowd expected it to go even faster, but that's an incredible uh, feat. One thousandth of a second, nothing in it. Yeah, I think that is just testament for, to the car itself. So it, it's gone down the track several times now, and it's still as good as, if not obviously better than, than it was uh, yesterday. That's good manufacture. The cars are both very quick, so it's pretty consistent, uh, which is something else that I've looked into comparing car A and car B. Both cars are especially quick here. I think when I was looking at it, whichever car, even if they didn't have the faster of their cars, the other car would still have put them in first place. Wow, okay. Well, this is great to hear. So there you go, Golden Motor Sport. You have beaten yesterday's fastest time. Um, how does that make you feel? Really proud. We've developed a good package. We've put so much work into this and it's really beautiful to see we're delivering. Uh, and that is great to see when you put all that time and effort and energy in and you get the rewards. Well, enjoy that moment. Rapid Ravens though, uh, an improvement on your time or not from yesterday? Yeah, indeed. The first race was quicker than yesterday, so we're really happy with that. And move up to 13th, which we're really pleased on. Oh, that's amazing. So improvements for both uh, teams. And, and what have you done uh, yesterday that you haven't done today? I mean, in terms of you've met other teams, have you got to like relax a little bit now that day one's out the way? Uh, yeah, we just got the feedback um, later on in the pit display, and we also ha were featured in the TikTok video from Eden Town, Bro Eden Town win, so yeah, we really enjoyed that. Uh, so what was this? We were filming a TikTok with another team, Bro Eden Town win, yeah. which you'll have to go see as well. Matthew's amazing dancing skills in that. Whoa, this is what we like to hear about, dancing skills. I'll just hold that thought for a second, as we can go trackside now, get the race underway. It's quick, very quick. A 1.128 for Golden Motorsport, but a 1.199. No improvement for Rapid Ravens. Their fastest time is a 1.163 to cross that line. But reaction times, very quick from Rapid Ravens. Doing a great job. So soon to come, Sam Chapman will be breaking down the data from yesterday. It's my highlight. I love it. I can't wait for it. It's going to be brilliant. Lane one and lane two, which one's faster? And car A and car B. This is something to look forward to. But wait a second. We were just talking about dancing. Matthew, what, what was going on yesterday? Is this just so, social media? You've just been forced to dance? Uh, yeah, the social media manager forces me to do it. So I, I have to comply. Otherwise, it'll get the views. Well, there's a bit of uh, argument going on here. There was no forcing. What I am going to force to happen is to get our fourth and final race underway. Can we improve on 13th place? It's lane one, it's quick. It's a 1.142, which means it isn't an improvement because it's a 1.207. So Rapid Ravens have improved. They've gone up to 13th 
and Matthew, we will never know whether he's been forced to dance or actually secretly enjoyed it. Where can everyone watch the social media with uh, Bro Eden? On TikTok or Instagram. Well, two choices. That is brilliant. Um, what are you going to do now? Uh, now you've had that little improvement up the leaderboard. What happens for the rest of the day for you guys? Uh, just the feedback from the judges now, and we're look, looking forward to that. So, yeah. And did any at any point did the top awares need to be used? No, no. So this is perfect, but you were prepared just in case. Well, listen, Rappy Ravens, great to see you this morning. Uh, and congratulations uh, to Golden Motorsports. Do you think Team Epoch are going to beat this time, or are you fairly confident? It's going to be close. I'm loving the battle. But um, we've made a mid-season transfer in Tommy. He's been doing really well. Very consistent times. So. A mid-season transfer. You don't often hear that with F1 in schools, but that's brilliant. And, uh, and is the contract all sorted? When is he staying with you until? Uh, the substitutions worked, and we're keeping the competition guessing, so it's looking good. Because, of course, he wasn't your driver yesterday, so this is excellent work from Golden, Motor Golden Motorsports. And I'm just seeing one of your teammates who was demoted, but he seems happy about this because it's a team collective effort. Listen, uh, to both teams, Golden Motorsports and to Rapper Ravens, we'll say goodbye to you. You can head on out. Uh, well done, guys. Top work from both of the teams. And then we keep the ball rolling. Here we go. I'm going to welcome uh, to my left here. We're going to have Frontier who are going to come and join me. Frontier over on the left hand side doing top work yesterday. Also saw them at breakfast this morning which was very exciting. We had a good old chat about plates um, and I, well, if I pop you there, Frontier, you're just going to come and join me there. Thank you very much. Uh, currently Frontier are in fifth place with a 1.112. That's fun to say. Uh, so good morning, welcome, breakfast all right? Oh yeah, it was very nice, how was yours? Oh, it was delightful, thank you very much. I was watching your teammate to the side choose the smallest plate for a fry up. I think it's humanly possible, it was remarkable. Have you had words with him? Have you told him where the big plates are for tomorrow? Uh, yeah, he's now located them. <laughs> Brilliant. All right, a little bit of inside uh, banter uh, with the guys. I'm going to welcome over to my side, Racing Lions to the right hand side. Here they come, stepping up. And I believe no changes with the drivers today. Welcome. Now, you've been promoted to so come and have a chat with me. You weren't here yesterday. Hello. Uh, hi, I'm Luke. I'm the graphic designer for the team. Oh, Luke, well, it's great to meet you. And uh, why have you made a little change today on the track? Just give everyone an opportunity to do something different. Uh, yeah, I think it's important that everyone, everyone can, has a chance to do everything. So yeah, I think a switch around would be something new for us to do, yeah. Yeah, new experience. And how was yesterday? How did you find it overall? I think yesterday went pretty well. Uh, we gave it our all, so can't really do any more than that. But I'm pretty happy with what we've done so far. Yeah, and yesterday there was lots of nerves around, but today everyone seems a little calmer, don't they? Mm, I think still a little bit of nerves, but yeah, not as you say, not as bad as yesterday. Feeling a lot better now, yeah. All right, well, let me hopefully make you feel a bit better as we go trackside now to see what the cars can do. So Racing Lions in lane one and Frontier in lane two. And it's quick, 1.141 for Racing Lions. They're in lane one, which we have noticed is quicker. And in terms of timings, that doesn't improve their best from yesterday, which was a 1.120. So, fingers crossed, we will have an improvement there. And a 1.192, so no improvements from either car. Are you expecting an improvement today, Frontier? Uh, I think we'll, if lane one's faster with our car B, which we think is slightly faster, we might see an improvement there. Okay, so you're just holding your horses. You're just holding on a little bit. And who have you um, connected with as on a team that you hadn't met before? Uh, well, we've connected with Project Nitro, who's next to us on our pit display. We've enjoyed their scale electrics, and they've been trying our Mario Kart as well. So you can come check that out as well later. What a collaboration. Well done. We will definitely check that out. I wonder if Amy Martin checked that out as she went and did the pit display walk. But we can find out if we can improve those times. Go on then, Racing Lions in lane one. Best of luck. Zero, well, 0.162 for reaction time. No improvement for either team there, which is unfortunate. However, they set some incredible times yesterday uh, in the top 10, both of these teams. Just watching the replay there as the cars 
stopping in that, or were stopped in that deceleration zone. The cars have been brought back very quickly. Ben is leading back for Racing Lions. It's in a top job. And there the handover happens. So, uh, Frontier, so you've got Mario Kart. Why have you gone for that in your pit display? It's fun, isn't it? It's so much fun. And getting the retro Wii out has been quite a pleasure. <laughs> okay, and so you met Project Nitro. Have you taken part in their challenge? Yeah, we've tried their Scale Electrics challenge. Not quite one yet, but we're going to have another go when we get back. Okay, well, you've got plenty of time. And then for the awards today, what would it mean for you as a team, all the hard work you've put in to get to go to the world? I think it would be amazing, but honestly, we're just so happy to be here and having a smashing time at the Nationals so far. A smashing time. Not enough people say we're having a smashing time. I like that, and that is a great sentiment to have. So uh, still currently fifth, top five, fantastic achievement. Racing Lions about to move lanes. No improvement in lane one, but you never know for lane two. Yeah, yeah, hopefully something can come out of this. We've got Emmanuel, who's got really good reaction so far. We're putting all our faith in him now, but I'm sure he'll do well. Yeah, and, and I just spoke to Frontier there and found out they're next door neighbours on their pit display with Project Nitro. Who are you were next to? Have you got to chat to them and, and sort of uh, network a little bit? Uh, yeah, we're next to these lovely group here. Um, yeah, just, we, we, just, just for everybody, that's Tanwin. Uh, you can't, un, unmissable Tanwin. They sort of stand out, don't they, with their identity. So you've chatted to them? Yeah, we've had a talk with them, seen their pit display, yeah. Amazing. Okay, well, that's fantastic. Uh, get a bit of networking. And with the, pro the professional class, uh, is there an opportunity to come back next year, learn from what you've taken from this competition? Seeing as this is our first year in professional class, we're taking this mostly as a learning experience. But I feel like, yeah, we can see how we do here. Then we can come back next year and improve. Oh, that's fantastic to hear there, Luke. Uh, so that progression, Sam. And you definitely found that as it is soon to be coming out, the main straight. Uh, the official F1 in Schools podcast that I recorded with you, you learned from that as well, from that first experience. Yeah, exactly. I think, I think when you, you're coming to a competition like this, for the first few times, I don't think we definitely didn't expect to get to the world final. So we, we took it as a, a learning experience. We were happy to share our portfolios, let people take pictures. So if you ask, lots of teams will be willing, especially if it's uh, that last competition. Um, just, just for ideas, I, I don't think obviously copying the content's a good idea, but like layout or or like image ideas or like concepts that you haven't looked into. I think stuff like that is, is important to get in this. Good uh, tip there from Sam Chapman. All right, we can go trackside. It's quick from Frontier, 1.126, not an improvement. 10,000th off from their improvement time. Racing Lions are 1.171. That doesn't improve their time either, but still very quick reaction times and good times being set. So we'll have one more race from both of these teams, and then we'll be moving on to welcome the next door neighbors to Racing Lions, Tamwin, and we'll also have Impetus uh, joining me on the stage to see if they can better their times. But this is it, the fourth and final race. And there is an improvement of times. Fantastic to see lane one. It delivers a 1.105 for Frontier. So all of those seven thousandths of a second difference has been improved for Frontier. And it is not, unfortunately, enough to move them above Tamwin, but an improvement is brilliant to see. Yeah, absolutely thrilled with that. I mean, we knew it would be faster, but not moving that much. Yeah, so seven thousandths of a second improvement, brilliant to see. So rest of the day, driver did a great job bit of pressure coming in for the second day isn't there to uh, to better and hopefully get an improvement in the car a little bit i think we'll be happy if we stay around about the same area it was just making sure my reaction times were consistent and the car will do what the car will do so from there it's just the only thing i can control exactly what can you control what is in your circle of control well right now fifth place at the moment in the top five brilliant to chat to you this morning frontier and i'm glad that you have worked out uh, to get a bigger plate for the full fry up uh, for future breakfast um luke and well 
driver. I just want to double check with you. That was brilliant stuff. No improvement, but very consistent on your reaction time. Are you happy with everything? Uh, I'm a little bit uh, disappointed, if I'm honest, because in, obviously in the practice, I did uh, a little bit better. But, you know, it's a good performance. It's our first year, so just looking forward to next year, I guess. Yeah, I'm sure your team is very happy because someone has to step up and be the driver. And I think you've done that bravely and you've stepped up to the challenge. So, hey, there's always areas for room for improvement. But listen, guys, Racing Lions, great to see you this morning. Enjoy the rest of the day and to Frontier. Uh, they're going to head off. That is them done and dusted. Handshakes all around going on, which we absolutely love. The spirit of the competition. Hey, and was, oh, I get fist bumps as well. Look at this. This is happening. This is a cameraman's nightmare. I just want you to know this. Cheers, guys. Cameraman can't stand it. I can't see who's talking. Uh, beautiful man. But Chris over there is doing a great job. He didn't panic too much. All oh, right, they're ready to go. They know what's happening. You know what's happening. You better get ready to be woken up because we're going to welcome Tanwin to my left, uh, representing Wales. They're bringing that national pride bit of electricity this morning. Come and join me on to the left-hand side there. Is there enough seats? That's what we're working out. Yes, there are. That's, oh, we're saying goodbye. Lollipops this morning, what's going on? And you've brought your own microphone. Yeah. I'd like to see, would you like to swap? We've been hosting Tanwen's Got Talent. Yeah. You've been hosting what? Tanwen's Got Talent. What on earth is this? Tanwen's Got Talent. Is it just for your team? No, it's, we're going around and finding like everyone's hidden talents. Do you have any hidden talents? No. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to have a little think about this. So hidden talents, that's what you're looking for. Any talent. Okay, all right. Well, this is amazing. Uh, Sam Chapman is going to be thinking about what talents he's got. But in the meantime, Impetus, come and join me on the right-hand side. Yesterday, they set the fastest reaction time I think I have ever seen with my eyes, if you'd have said to me yesterday, 0 0.044 would be set, I'd have said, you lie. Oh, thank you very much. Cheers, him. Look at that. And there's Andrew Denford. It wouldn't be a national final without him walking past the screen. It happens every year. It's my, no, it's my favorite moment. And it's happened. I was a little bit disappointed, weren't you, Sam, yesterday when it didn't happen? I was like, oh, Andrew Denford, the founder and chairman of F1 in Schools, hasn't walked past the screen. Enough of that. I've joined Impetus. How are we feeling today, guys? Uh, we're feeling confident. We think we're going to do a bit better than we did yesterday. And we're just hoping for the best. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed attitude. And has your driver let down the fact, or is he just walking on cloud nine still with the reaction time that he had yesterday? Oh, uh, yeah, he's been bragging a bit, but we're trying to keep him humble. Yeah, stay humble because you're about to go racing. Let's go trackside. Time win and impetus. Best of luck to both teams. Okay, so 1.135, very quick. Lane one is where Tan Wen are in. And I keep saying Tan Win because, uh, you know, I'd like them to win. Representing Wales, you've got Team Epoch to beat, uh, which isn't going to be easy, uh, 10 thousandths of a second off. Um, so we're looking for talents. I'm going to ask Impetus, uh, any hidden talents that you were aware of that you didn't know for Tan Wen's uh, got talent. Do you know you had any talents? Not that I'm aware of. Not you're aware of. Okay, well, we're going to have a think about this. I'm going to have a think about this. What we do, we can go racing. Very quick reaction. Times set. Ooh, Tamwin, that's bragging rights. A whole 8,000 of a second quicker uh, than reaction time. Uh, so there you go, 1.156, uh, the fastest on track time uh, from lane one from Tamwin. Very difficult, as we have found out from Sam, that lane one does have the quicker time. So it'd be very difficult for them to beat that. But still in the top five is brilliant to see. Uh, what sort of talents have been offered to you? Because some talents aren't for broadcast. So um, what talents have you found so far? I mean, we've seen some dancing from uh, the Rapid Raven, who's called Dancing Rapid Raven, is that it? Dancing, 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 dancing. Yes, is this Matthew? Yes, yeah. yes. And what is this dance? Was it, was it? It's like a, 
It's like they're that. It's, that's what he does. Like, and that's a talent. I like it. Yeah. This is great. And have you been able to offer your own talents? You've been like, hey, look, we're great that's at singing. The finale. That's the finale. You're saving it. Oh, okay, fair enough. Our talent is that we love Leeds. And we're just such a big fan that this is our talent. Of Leeds? You just love Leeds? Yeah. Some people say that was a, a, maybe a condition, that if you love Leeds that much, but it's a beautiful place, have you got to explore a little bit of it? Not really. Okay, right, you just fell in love with it. Uh, for no particular reason. Okay, Impetus, are you big fans of Leeds? Have you got to travel about a little bit here where it's hosting the uh, UK national finals? Uh, no, we've not had much of an opportunity to go about, but we've driven past, it looks quite nice. Okay, and what did you do? This is what, last night, you finished day one of the competition. What does a team do for everyone at home who's now working out what talents uh, they've got. What were you doing? Was it just talking about F1 in schools? Uh, I think it was more just a kind of time to cool down because obviously we've not got much to do other than the race today. So it was more just chilling out and recovering on some of the sleep we lost the night before. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's daunting. People don't realize how tiring it is competing in F1 in schools. Because even if you want to go to sleep, you can't because you're thinking about all the things you need to do. Uh, and how have your teachers helped you to sort of overcome these challenges? Uh, I mean, they've just given us great advice that we've needed, you know, encouragement as well, just trying to keep our hopes up. And uh, today, what would it mean to you? Can you picture, do you feel like it could happen to go to world finals? Um, yeah, I think it's definitely a possibility, but, I, you know, I just don't want to... You don't want to jinx anything? No, we will not jinx anything. We'll go trackside then. Best of luck to both of the teams. Impetus now go into lane one. So can they improve on their time at the moment? A one... 0.173 for Tamwin. Very quick reaction time from Impetus, but a 1.507, that's not gonna help them at the moment, but you never know, things could change. One more race for the guys. Sam Chapman, any talents? We're seeing some breakages, never like to look at that. Any talents? Um, good at juggling F1 in schools cars, if you want to okay. pick one up from Park <laughs> Fermi. Really? I can go grab one. Here. Okay. Can you juggle them? No, you can't. Don't, don't tease us like that. We were all excited. Tamwin were excited. Tamwin's got talent. There you go. All right. We've got our final race. Here we go. My fingers are crossed for both teams. And I believe a full start has happened for Impetus there. So they will not improve. And Tamwin, 1.141. So no improvements on time, so no changes. However, still stepping up, giving themselves the best opportunity to make a difference. And what I love about Tamwin, they all hold each other's hands. To, is that kind of like a willpower? Like you're just mindful, you know? Yeah, we just do everything together. We even have like a Tano and Twist, like iconic dance move that we all do. An iconic dance move. Yeah. I'd love to see this iconic dance move. Please, big moment. That's beautiful. That is be stunning. That's really good. The, do you know what, that's what I love about you, Tamwin. You've got enthusiasm and that energy every day. How difficult is it to, uh, to maintain these levels of energy? It's, it's not that difficult. Yeah. You just, just be happy. Just be happy. I like that. And what would it mean to you guys to go to the World Finals? Everything. Yeah. We need to go to Worlds. Okay, make it happen, judges. Make it happen. Uh, were you about to pass something to me? Yeah. Um, we have a goodie bag for you. A goodie bag? This is incredible. Thank you so much. Tanwin merch. Oh, for, for, full of Tanwin merch. All right, well, listen, I'm going to keep saying Tanwin because uh, it means the most to me. Look at this. This is incredible. Um, thank you so much for the gift bag. Uh, I really appreciate that. I'm glad and I hope that you've enjoyed uh, coming up for another day of racing. Uh, enjoy the rest of the day. And I know that people need to share their talents for Tanwin Talent Show. Uh, Tanwin's got talent. Uh, impetus, uh, unfortunate, a full start there at the uh, end, the last race. But overall, happy with everything? Uh, yeah, I think in other areas we've done really well. And I'm hoping we've done enough to get us that place at Singapore we need. 
fingers crossed. Well, I will wear this hat. I'll pop it there because I don't want to show too much. I have to be impartial. But un honestly, an absolute pleasure to chat to you again. So Tamwen and Impetus will say goodbye to both of the teams. Thank you very much for coming to join me uh, on the live stream. Bye. I can't match it. Their energy is unmatchable, Sam Chapman. It's unmatchable. Uh, would you like this hat for the period? I'm going to pass this along. I'm going to come on down. There you go, Sam. There you go. That will keep the, uh, the hair. It looks, it suits you. It's a very nice hat. So there you go. Uh, we have had uh, four sets of races. Now I will welcome from the same school, Hypernova will be coming to join me on the left-hand side, representing Wales. They will be on my side there. And then on my right, we will have C squared racing. You're going to come and join me on this side. We're changing things up a little bit today. Different perspective, you know? Feng Shui. It's all good. Uh, how are we feeling today, Hypernova? We we happy with yesterday? Oh yeah, yesterday went great. We're very happy. Okay, and what do you hope will happen on the track? How confident are you that you'll get a better time? Um, we hope that the times at least remain consistent, hopefully, a faster time, but we're confident that this car will do well. Yeah, and if it's uh, staying the same sort of times, it's well manufactured the car. Currently in eighth, so to move up a little bit, you're going to have to have about 12 thousandths of a second improvement. Can happen. Let's keep our fingers crossed for you. And we welcome over here C Squared Racing. How are we feeling today? Uh, good. Good. On a scale of one to 10, give me a one to 10 number. Six. Okay. I don't know if that's good. I think that's about average. That's, that's not good. What are you out of 10? for how we are feeling today. 6.5. 6.5, all right, let's see if we can improve it. We'll go track side to get racing. Maybe push that up to a seven, at least an eight, come on. Hypernova have improved their time, which is epic to see. A 1.123. So an improvement for them. Doesn't move them up past racing lines, but as I spoke to them just now, they want to improve their times, and that is what they have done. Uh, for <laughs> I'm just laughing a little bit. We've got Sam, part of our cameraman team, who's uh, maneuvering the chairs down because uh, too tall if we have them too high. So I feel like I'm going to have to crouch down now to chat to you. Um, what did we make from that first race? Um, reaction time wasn't amazing, but um, he's done a lot of practice. But I'm sure, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm confident as well. We're seeing a breakage there on the replay. Never like to see that, but we do like to see very quick in terms of an improvement of time. Right, we're ready to go racing for race two. The nasty sound of a big clunk there. Hypernova 1.188. So a little bit slower than car A, but a 1.385 still unable to better their current score for C squared racing, which is 1.338. Watching the replay now. Both teams willing along the car, along the track. It's good to see. And the cars will now be changing lanes. So there you go. So no improvement in terms of placing from either C squared racing or Hypernova, but great to see an improvement of the time there. Oh yeah, we're um, proud to see an improvement and the second time was also consistent. And although there was a breakage, it's not something we can control. So we just have to be optimistic. Being optimistic, I like it. And your driver, please remind me of her name. Uh, Katrin. Katrin is not wearing a hat today. Is that some tactics that you've talked about uh, behind closed doors, behind the scenes? You know, you're thinking, look, I reckon your reaction time will improve if you're not wearing that hat. Has that been a discussion that's happened? Uh, no, I think Katrin's confident in how good her reaction time is. I don't think a hat would uh, make a difference. I think it's just a choice of whether or not she wanted to damage the hair, you know? Oh, so. Damaging the hair. Okay, ready for the awards later on today, potentially. Is that something you've uh, considered? I haven't asked many teams. When you're up on the main stage, if you collect an award, is uh, hair an issue or a concern for any of your team? 
No, I think we all have beautiful hair, so. <laughs> well, that was what I was about to say. If you if you said no, we are concerned. Gorgeous locks, well done. Fist bumps all round for Hypernova. They're happy about that. Uh, so I got to ask then, uh, C squared racing. Um, you're stepping up onto that awards ceremony area. Is hair a concern for the photos? Not really. Not really. Okay, now we've watched two races. You were at six out of 10 for how you were feeling. Where are we now? Any improvement? Still at a six. Still at a six. Okay, well, that's annoying. That's annoyed me. Uh, I was hoping coming up here, seeing all the nice smiley faces out there uh, would improve that. And we're seeing some very fast super glue application here. Precision here. We're watching. Did you have many moments like this, Sam? At Worlds, fixing? Not at Worlds, Worlds we were all right. Nationals a few times we had. We had a really annoying wheel system where we, we didn't want to put any super glue near the bearings, which meant every so often they'd pop off, which meant that you had to take the whole wheel assembly off and, uh, and reassemble it. And with the time limit, it's, uh, it's touch and go, it's nervy. But. What, why were there breakages at Nationals, but not at Worlds? Is there something, just Worlds stick together? Like there must be something that's going on behind the scenes. Yeah, it was, I think it was just small like tolerance things that we'd considered uh, just just push fitting bearings rather than uh, than than just having a, a clearance fit. I think that was that was the main part of it. Um, yeah, it, it was small adjustments made really for the for the last the last few cars wheels uh, system especially. Okay, uh, well, last night a new system was being tested when everyone went. I had a beach volleyball. I forget which team. Uh, had the beach volleyball uh, that was being passed across the track uh, in a safe manner. We're watching the cars being super glued to the max. They are being put back onto the track, being passed to Charlotte. So that's Hypernova in lane two. And Charlotte is looking after that. Charlotte will be heading to Worlds with Nightingale, Team Nightingale, formerly Imperium. They, a name change. You don't see that often, a name change. Will that hopefully help them in some way? Maybe team identity? Yeah, I think team identity and on the world stage, you need to stand out more than anything. So if they've, they've got some, some idea in, in the, up their sleeve. Mm, okay, all right. Will it change the car? We'll find out at Worlds. Uh, that will be the next opportunity for Sam and myself to be working. Uh, Tech Corner is coming up, okay? I just want you to know that, Sam. It's coming up very shortly, and we'll get racing in just a second. Um, which pit display has been next to you? Have you chatted to those teams? I think Impetus and Conqueror, uh, Conqueror Racing, and they're quite good. There's a lot of screens. But. Okay, and what does your pit display have that people should come and check out before they leave today? It has... What does it have? What, like, well, we've got some cool LEDs. Yeah, we've got cool, LEDs. cool LEDs, okay. And are they sort of uh, 10 out of 10, or are they like a 6 out of 10, the LED? 10 out of 10. Okay, perfect, all right. Um, all right, well, maybe that'll affect my mood. And uh, who is filming some of this uh, action on the track? Who is in front uh, with the glasses? We have Mr. Wilson, who was our minibus driver. Minibus driver, he's more than that. He's just a minibus driver. Uh, pretty much, he comes, yeah, DT teacher. Okay, he's, he's a minibus driver. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's go racing on track side there. It's always good to see the minibus driver has been allowed in at the national final to come and watch some of the action. That is good to know. A 1.124 for Hypernova. So, no improvement. One thousandth of a second off what they currently have, which is a 1.123, and they improved that today. So a 1.371 does not improve the time for C squared racing, but guys, there's still one more race, and you are in the faster lane. So we'll have to keep those fingers crossed as we're about to go racing. How's your driver doing? Did you have a debrief with the driver after yesterday? Uh, yeah, uh, the first couple were not as good as he normally does, but the second and third one, uh, I think, sorry, the third and fourth one were much better. Okay, well, well let's hope that fourth one is even better as uh, some final adjustments are being made at the track start, but oh, just been super glued. Careful to Harriet, who's down there, don't get in the way of those pieces. They might stick to your arm with all that super glue that has been applied. We are ready to go racing. Here we go. P 
please see an improvement for C squared racing. But look at that. Hypernova, a 1.117. They have improved their time and move up a place on the leaderboard. That's what it's all about. They, uh, they willed it into reality. That is brilliant. You asked the work. Look at this. Driver's happy with this. How are we feeling, guys? You've done, I haven't even given you any time to debrief, but how are we feeling about that? You moved up a place on the leaderboard. That's what you wanted, and it's been achieved. Oh, it feels incredible, especially to be in the top 10, because the cars this year look fantastic. And to become seventh, well, at the moment, we're just so proud of the car. Magnificent seven, hypernova. But it's brilliant, though, because you come back for the second day, like, we hope to move up the leaderboard. You've managed to do that. What does the rest of the afternoon have and morning in store for you? Oh, we've got all of our judging yet to go. We had scrutineering this morning, which went fairly well, we think. And um, we're very excited to have our feedback and to improve. Okay, and any other teams you want to give a shout out to that you've met from day one, day two? Um, well, we of course have our friends Team Tanwen, but <laughs> um, all of the teams have been amazing and um, we've been talking to Red Dawn Racing and the St. John's teams and um, Ignite as well. They've all been very nice and very supportive. Ah, oh, brilliant. Well, listen, enjoy the rest of the morning and afternoon. Fantastic work to move up uh, seventh place. Uh, guys, comes to the end. Has there been an improvement on that six out of ten? Not really. Not really. Uh, I feel uh, devastated for you. Uh, driver, how did you find that? Uh, not as good as it could have been. Uh, I'm normally better, but nerves. Nerves can play a big factor in it. And just to double check, uh, Mr. Wilson, just the minibus driver, is that correct? Uh, can you qualify that as another driver? Uh, he's the head of DT. But... And the minibus driver. Okay, head of TT. Well, I'm glad he's got a shout out. Uh, look, get out of here, C squared racing. Enjoy the rest of the day and to Hypernova. Uh, great to chat to you this morning. And off they go. Uh, thank you very much uh, for coming to join me there uh, in this section. Um, listen, that is the leaderboard. That is what is up for grabs. Top of the table is Golden Motorsports. They improve their time by a massive one thousandth of a second, but any improvement is wanted, needed, and desired, and they got just that. So, C squared racing will finish in 18th, unable to improve that time, but Hypernova moved up one place. So, let me welcome from James Gillespie's high school, Ventura Racing. Ventura Racing are gonna come and join me to the left. You can see in the screen there, they're going to be passing by. Patrick, the driver, stays on board. Come and join me on this side today. We're shaking things up. There goes Anna, just like yesterday. Not even a nod, a wink, a sort of a wave, just no acknowledgement. Uh, good morning, Jess. Good morning. We wanted you to do our Be Real, but it's not working. Oh, okay. Well, thank you for that disappointment. Uh, I know. I was just excited. We want you to be in our B-reel. And then it went, no, it's not working. How are we feeling otherwise, though, Jess? All good? Yeah, feeling good. Excited. Yeah. And do you think there's going to be an improvement of your time uh, at the moment, Ventura Racing, in 12th place? Um, we hope so. Okay, good. I'll take that. Um, I'd love to, a team to come up and go, no, we don't want to improve. Uh, that hasn't happened yet, but maybe it will now as we welcome Conqueror Racing. Here they come from Battle Abbey School. Looking pumped for this. I did give them a, a, one clap there from someone who was supporting them. I would have clapped if I didn't have this. Um, now, I've got to ask, uh, what has your teammate been listening to? The, we, we discussed it yesterday. Now I'd like to know. Yeah, we, we had the discussions about this all night long. Um, yeah. Charlie down there has been giving music recommendations. We came up with ACDC, F1 theme just on repeat all, all night as well. And a, and a bit of The Who, maybe The Chain, Fleetwood Mac as well. Oh, a bit of Fleetwood Mac. Love it. This is great. And none of those are being played through his ears right now, I can confirm. Uh, well, listen, we're going to go racing. How do you feel about improving on your time, guys? Uh, well, we're not going to grant you wish. We're, we do want to improve. Um, yeah, hopefully we can get into the 1.1s. Uh, that would be a nice thing to do. Just got under um, less, less than a hundredth of a second to do so. So hopefully we can do that as the target for today. Well, you have set the scene. Let's go racing. Let's see if they can improve the times. And Ventura Racing getting a 1.122. 
but Conqueror Racing have done it. A 1.196. They are very happy about that. An improvement in time uh, for Ventura Racing. A 1.147 is the time that they need to beat. And they have done so also. So Ventura Racing even faster. That pushes them into the top 10. Happy with that, guys? Yeah, very happy. Okay, well. Well, I'm glad. This is you happy, guys. Uh, I like it. Uh, what would you listen to if you had uh, headphones on right now, like the team Conqueror Race, and what would you be listening to? Not sure. Some Laura's Dominic Fike. Okay, this is nice, because we've had the Proclaimers being played constantly from Team Vortex, the whole back catalogue as well, Jess. You happy with that? A fellow Scottish team, are you happy having the Proclaimers play all day long? Um, maybe to an extent. I'm not sure if I could handle it for the whole day, but... Well, luckily, it's been, it's been dimmed down a little bit, but uh, I, I, you're not happy about this. I saw them live last month, and it was, it was great. So, big, big Proclaimers fan. There we go. We like to see that. Let's go racing. We've got the Proclaimers update. Saw them last month, so if you're worried if they weren't performing, they still are. Ooh, seemed very quick, that. Uh, 1.162 for Ventura. Uh, actually not quicker. Ventura have got moved to ninth and Conqueror Racing still stay in 17th, but they are all of seven thousandths of a second off Project Nitro, who they would, I'm sure, like to leapfrog. And they are currently in lane two. So here's the moment I'll ask Sam. Sam, you had some data yesterday. You looked at lane one, lane two. You decided which lane was faster. Yeah, so uh, as you say, I was looking at in, uh, each of the cars and I looked at the best time in lane one for each and the, the best time in, in lane two. So graphed here is, is the two times. So in white there, you can see the lane two uh, time for each team from, from fastest to slowest. And you can see it's pretty consistently slower than, than lane one for, for every single team bar one, two, three, three teams maybe, where it was the other way around. That's in professional class and you can see the average time for the lanes there, 1.181 in lane two and 1.161 in, uh, in lane one. So a difference of 0.02. And then it's pretty similar when you look at development class as well. Obviously more cars, more data to, to show it. It's maybe a few more cars where they are actually faster in lane two for, for whatever reason. That could be uh, assembly or anything like that. But yet again, it's 0.021 this time. So a, a thousandth of a second difference between development professional shows. It's pretty consistently the lane one that is faster. Ah, oh, thank you very much, Sam. And that is why Ventura have made that improvement on their time today, moving up to a 1.122, which is great to see. We love to see that. Um, and as for you guys, Ventura, have you chatted to uh, the teams either side of your pit display? Um, have we? Well, have we? Are you asking the team, have we? Uh, well, today, actually, the team photos are taken right in front of our pit display, so it's kind of inaccessible today, sadly. Really? Well, we'll have words with that, but that, uh, that's all good there. But you have managed to chat to some other teams as well, uh, because obviously professional class, thinking about coming back for next year, is that a possibility? Yeah, I mean, we've got some exams coming up, which, but yeah, we'd like to come back, because F1 schools is great, we love it, so. Okay, brilliant. Well, that is good to hear from you guys. And a highlight of yesterday? Um, probably, I think the design judging went really well. So yeah, got to, got to have a laugh with the judges, which is always a good sign. That is a good sign. I hope it is. The, the, the people, the, the sort of everyone thinks, oh, the judges are really scary and they're uh, gonna be sort of intimidating. But if you can have a laugh with them and then, and then get them your message across, it's even better. We are ready to go racing. Away we go, lane one then, Conqueror Racing, a 1.234. So no improvement for their time and no improvement for Ventura Racing with a 1.158. But we will find out whether Car B will be quicker for both teams. And have you gone over to other people's pit displays? Have you taken part? There's one with the scale electrics, there's a Super Mario car. There's everything, have you done that, Jess? Well, our favorite one is H-Rock. They gave us so much free stuff. Free chargers, free mugs. It's great, honestly. What? 
really, well, when they come up, I'm hoping HROC brings some of that, but that's great when you get to take home a bit of merch uh, with you. Uh, Conqueror Racing, have, uh, before I get your answer, let's will you along to get an even faster time here in lane one. And Ventura Racing. So to start the day, the first race, Conqueror Racing managed to get a faster time. And interesting, after we've just heard that lane one will produce that faster time, well, we've just had it disproven. But Conqueror, you improved your time. Happy with that? Yeah, definitely. We got the 1.1, which, we which we were hoping for. Um, got it in lane two, so going against the, uh, going against the trend there. But yeah, we got, got what we were hoping for. Um, didn't move up a place, but nice against the 1.1s, which is good. Yeah, you went against the curve. You're the, kind of like the outlier. Do you feel like that as a team? Have you got like hidden strengths that you've been able to show? Uh, we got quite a distinctive livery and uh, a couple of people commented on our, our car shape being quite unique as well, which is, which is nice to, to get that recognition. But, oh. yeah. Well, that's great. And what does the rest of the day ha have in store for you now then? Have you got to get around, look at all the pit displays, see what they've got going on if you were to come back and compete next year? Uh, lots of feedback for, from judges and then, yeah, learning as much as we can from the, the teams who are far more experienced than us. So, yeah, a lot of experience um, to be gained from this and, and to improve for next season, definitely. All right, well, listen, I wish you the best of luck with the rest of the day. Conqueror Racing, great to have you up here improving your time and to Ventura Racing, both doing a brilliant job of improving your time. Enjoy the rest of the morning. I will see you at the awards ceremony. Absolute pleasure to chat to you and to find out the Proclaimers are still performing live, as Louis did point that out. That is good knowledge. That is good to know. So we move on then to our next teams we have joining me on the left side just here we will have red dawn racing they're going to come and join me a very excitable team all the way from wales bringing a lot of energy uh, to the stage and uh, we love that come on then noah come and join welcome back different outfits today there's been a costume change talk to me about this well, yesterday we were wearing our old regional shirts and we managed to get these done last night, so we thought, why not? Why not? Yeah, why not? And they look great. Are you happy with this, Noah, the new uh, change-up? Sort of a Beyonce moment, you've been, had a costume change? Ah, oh, yeah, it's absolutely great, Tom. New you, new me, obviously. <laughs> I love that. New you, new me. Right, uh, you are on the track with Eternal from Robert May School. They're going to be coming to join me on the right-hand side. Look at this. Eternal feeling the pressure of previous teams, but the only pressure they should do is put that on themselves to do the best they can. I'm seeing something being brought here from one of the teams of Eternal. Go on then. Here's your helmet. <laughs> Thank you very much. Quite aggressive, but I like it. That won't. It's almost like a little crown. Uh, that's great. Uh, whose head size is this for? Um, well. More decorative, I guess. Yeah, decorative. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, teddy bears. We've had a team come around with a teddy bear. We put it on them. Oh, all right, then that's perfect. Well, look, team, team up labs. You got all the sponsors on there. Well done. This is a bit of fun. Have other teams taken this and sort of got the. Yeah made them oh, okay this is good to hear and who was whose idea was this um so well it just came through a bit of brainstorming really just did a bit of mind map of freebies and we came up with a helmet idea we thought it was a nice thing to promote us and yeah, obviously a lot of people have done like paper cars and everything over the years so we thought we'd change that a bit and go for the helmet well, I absolutely love it. I'm going to hold it here like a driver has just left the race we can go racing here we go then. Let's see if we can get some improvements for both of these teams. Red Dawn Racing currently in 10th place. And we got the 1.133. However, Eternal, there was a full start there. We know that the driver for Red Dawn Racing can go very quick indeed. But here's the thing, a 1.135 uh, improvement there from Eternal, who are currently in third place with a 1.093. But there was some breakage I'm seeing there. What happened here? Um, we think it's the rear wing. It broke yesterday. 
it was kind of thought to happen. We kind of just put as much super glue as we could on it and hoped for the best. So, guess we're gonna have to see what happens today. Yeah, well, mate, you'll get that time to uh, fix it as Reese goes past from uh, director. He was very quick there. He led his head down and got that speed he needed to get past. Uh, right, we'll get the update on that breakage. Do you know what I'm going to do because of that breakage? I feel like I was a bad luck. I'm going to pop that down uh, just to my side there. Red Dawn Racing, happy with that or not really? The full start. That's un unexpected. Well, Will's trying his best. He'll get it next time. I've pulled up my socks in preparation. It's all going to come together. Oh, of course, because, yes, that's how Will rolls. Um, OK, here we go. Let's go racing. <laughs> they see me suck rolling. They hate in. Lovely stuff. It's all in the socks. So 1.121. Is it improving the times? What time are we looking to improve on at the moment? Um, it's just a point of just get a bit higher on the leaderboard. We'll be happy with mid, like mid ladder leaderboard. Yeah, just as long as the car's consistent, doesn't snap. We're all right. Well, we've seen an improvement of a time there, which is fantastic to see. Red Dawn Racing currently on a 1.133, but now they've improved to a 1. Point one, two, one. So that is an improvement. We like to see that. Eternal on the other side. You're in lane two, and you know the quicker lane is lane one, statistically. So trying to beat that, a 1.093, and dealing with the breakages from yesterday, not going to be easy, is it? No, probably not. But we're going to hope that the other car doesn't break in this race. So I think that's all we can do is just kind of hope for the best. We've got, we believe in our cars, so we're just going to see what happens. Well, socks have been rolled up. That's the secret for Red Dawn Racing. Um, but cars are being returned. This is the moment then, Sam, where we've got some uh, breakages to be fixed. It's both rear wings popping off, literally, uh, Sam, the superglue. That's not an easy part, because from yesterday, there was a lot of superglue used. So you're expecting it to not withstand the forces at the other end. Yeah, I think, I think just part of the, the design of the, the bristles being placed where they are and the, the new rear wing regulations being how they are, uh, it is gonna, it's going to twist it, it's going to bend it, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to make it snap off. Um, I could talk a little bit about the differences between car A and car B, if you like, to show that... I mean, you could do, couldn't you? Uh, and I, I would, do you know what, Sam? I would like that. I feel like now is an appropriate time with breakages in between Red Dawn Racing and Eternal. So what are we looking at here, Sam? So, so I've got professional class and development class side by side showing their, their best track time for, well, showing the difference between their best track time uh, for car A and for car B. So the bigger, the, the white segment, that means it's a, a, a bigger difference in time between the two. So the top being their slower car and the bottom of each bar being their faster car time. Uh, you can see that there are a few teams, especially in the professional class, where the two times are extremely close to, to each other. So these, these two, three here, uh, where you can see, obviously, that both cars have been manu manufactured in exactly the same way. They've got so probably the same weight, uh, wheels are perfectly aligned, um, whereas there are a few cars where it's much bigger, uh, which means that there, there must have been some problem during the, uh, the manufacture time. Uh, sorry, the manufacture process, I, I, I guess. So the, um, using jigs is often helpful for making sure wheels are aligned and wings are, are perfectly aligned as well. Uh, the, bigger, the bigger gap here, the distance between these two, would have been enough if they didn't have one car that was perfect, would have dropped them down nine places. So on one hand, it is good that they have one car that is the one that will be used for the, the marking, as it's, it, the marking works on your time on track, not your place. So it's not like F1 where you get 25 points for first, 18. It, it's a mathematical formula depending on your actual time. Uh, so that's good for them. That means they are two, three, four, five, six, seventh, rather than down in 16th. Um, and, and the same over here. So the first place car, uh, especially in development class, the, the, um, the diff distance between car A and car B, even if they only had the slower car, it would still have been enough to keep them in first place. I feel like I, one to one, not on camera, will need you to explain that several times to me. I don't think I explained it the best I could. No, I, I feel like you have. But you know what I want to see at the same time is that mathematical marking to understand a bit more about the cars, especially 
that dropping of places is something I think that's really interesting. So some teams might not know that uh, going into the competition I and then finding is. out and then trying not to be too disappointed. But the vital part is getting that perfect one car perfectly done. Exactly. Even just one one really good time that bumps you up the leaderboard is enough to get you the points. So I think how it works is first place get maximum points, and then however far off you are from first place, it's the time distant uh, difference between first and yourself that helps dictate the number of points you get. So if it's extremely close in the top top ten, if you're in tenth place, you're still getting a similar number of points than fifth place if you're within thousandth of a second. Okay. Well, excellent stuff there, Sam. That's the tech corner. Uh, I love the tech corner. One of my favorite bits that's been introduced to F1 in schools. Tech corner. Um, Sam, though, missing Michael a little bit. No Michael today in the tech corner? Yeah, it's, uh, we're working together at a regional, so uh, Conqueror Racing, we're just racing. We judge them in the engineering judging, so we weren't doing this. We we're actually getting in and, and helping with the marking, and that was, was really fun. I, I think it's, it's something you don't get to see when doing this, and it's something that I wish we could see, like the amount of information in their portfolio, the, the research that they're actually doing is like incredible beyond Formula One looking into, I think they were looking into the planes and, and rockets and, and, and just understanding everything about them to a level 10 times deeper than I'd ever looked at. Oh, well, that is uh, brilliant to hear with all the work they've been doing. But I want to get the latest though on Eternal. Was there a super glue uh, gluing incident with Eternal, one of your teammates? Super glue sprayed and stuck to a finger. I just wanted to know that, get the latest on it. Yeah, it was, uh, it was awful, you know. Um, okay. <laughs> what actually is the spray? It's like magic. Magic spray, well, there you go. It's, that, that's the clues in the title, magic spray. It's worked, we can go racing again, and that's what we love to see at F1 in schools. So best of luck to both of these teams. Another full start for Red Dawn Racing. Getting in the zone. A 1.134 for Eternal, so no improvement, but that rear wing is not playing ball. Um, it is. Just looking for that surface area where it can be glued on. So there you go. Uh, we're getting some feedback from Eternal, which I'll pass on to everybody. Uh, some thoughts on process of... Lower the brushes. That's what we're hearing for Eternal. Just lower the brushes a little bit because their rear wing is, is not enjoying this uh, the deceleration zone. We watch it one more time. Not enjoying it. Just really not enjoying those. Yeah, get those bristles a bit lower, say Eternal. Other than that, um, you've been next to other people in your pit display. Who have you met? Who would you like to give a shout out to? Well, shout out to Gold Motorsports. They've been excellent. Their portfolios are excellent. I really, really enjoy their racing. I think they've got an excellent pit display. And obviously, they've got an excellent car. So shout out to Gold Motorsports. Perfectly said. Let's go racing for the fourth and final time between these two teams. Red Dawn Racing, keep your fingers crossed. Let's have a proper start. And it does set sail on lane two, and it's a 1.157. So, in terms of improvement, no. But Red Dawn Racing did get an improvement today. They moved up for a 1.121 and a 1.105 for a tunnel. They were punching the air. They're happy that it crossed the line. Are you happy because there wasn't a breakage? Did you? Well, I'm not really sure how it didn't break because it wasn't actually glued on. So, I'm not really sure how that's happened, but at least one of our four races, it didn't break. Yes, well, I'm excited for you. You're excited. What are you going to do for the rest of the morning now? Uh, we've just got feedback today and then we've got a pit interview. So, yeah, just go back and get the feedback. Perfect. Well, I think you've been brilliant. So, Eternal from Robert May Schools, you can head off. Enjoy the rest of your day. And to Red Dawn Racing, before I say goodbye, you've got something in your hand. What's going on here? So we heard re you recently got married, and so we'd like to give you these little be be Earrings? No. Keychains. Key oh, key keychains. <laughs> so that you be happy. With oh, I love that. Thank you so much, and uh, well done. The power of social media has happened. Uh, yes, recently married. These are great. Thank you so much. I love those. Thank you very much. What are you going to do now for the rest of the morning? Um, we've got our feedback sessions, but we'll also network or mingle, if we're going with old language, network a bit more with some other teams. 
we're mingling. All right, I love to hear that, Red Dawn Racing. It's always a pleasure to chat to you. Go and enjoy uh, the rest of the competition. Hopefully be seeing you joining me with your new snazzy outfits on the stage for the award ceremony later on. Be happy. Look at that, that's great. I can't give you one, Sam, because they have to go to my other half. Okay, there we go. We'll pop that down. Uh, and uh, we move on. We move on with the racing. Great to have the guys pop up. Good spirits, all of them. They're very happy with everything that's happening this morning. We will have, joining me on my left-hand side, we'll have Antares Motorsport from the Crypt School. They're joining me, bringing a new flag, bringing the energy, bringing the vibes, and bringing a bag with the toolkit. There you go. Come and join me, sir. Welcome to the party. Uh, last night, I can tell you, this beach volleyball came in handy while we were waiting for all of the new testing to be done. Uh, that passed the time while waiting to go and get food. But how are you today? We're good. Are we, yeah, we're ready. I mean, that's literally just it. We're ready to do better, get an improvement, and have fun. Last time doing this for me. Last time for you. Well, this is a sad note. It was all going up like that, and then it was like, this is the last time for me. But does that make you want to enjoy it more? Oh yeah, of course, of course. And I mean, these guys are really great and I can't wait to see what they do next year. So just having this final peer with all of these lads, it's really good and I really am grateful for this experience. Ah, uh, I love to hear things like that. Well, listen, uh, joining me on the right-hand side, we have Vega Racing, all the way from Scotland, heading over. Now, um, I see a mascot uh, being joined. Lots of photography yesterday, lots of social media stuff going on. I had to pose with the bear. Please remind us of the mascot's name. Bootes. Okay, so uh, has your mascot been given a helmet to see if the helmet fits? Probably doesn't. Oh, you have to, yeah, look. Glasses, there's changing going on. We must protect the bear's modesty, the mascot's modesty. Perfect. Oh, look at that! That's excellent. So Eternal and Vega Racing coming together uh, to unite. Uh, can you wear, I suppose sunglasses won't work, will they? They won't work. Anyway, uh, I just want to double check. How are you guys feeling after yesterday? Did you enjoy yesterday? And how are you feeling today? Uh, really good, yeah, we really enjoyed yesterday. Um, we're looking forward to racing again today. We hope we do a little bit better, but yeah, otherwise really happy. Oh, perfect, Sally. Well, here we go then. Let's go racing. Let's go on down there to the start line and hope there can be improvements on the times. One point one six nine and Terra's motorsport were trying to beat and they had a one point one seven zero. That's one thousandth of a second off their best time. For Vega Racing, they had a one point one one five yesterday. And guess what? They just got a faster time with a one point one zero eight. So incredible stuff there to start the day, an improvement. But the question is, can we go even faster, sorry? Uh, oh yeah, definitely. Okay. Good, I'd like to hear that. Uh, what, well, actually, do you know what we'll do? We'll go straight down there. Wish Callum all the best of luck and to Antero's Sport as well. Just one thousandth of a second off. Okay, I'm hearing of a breakage. Antero's Motorsport was telling me about it. I think it looks like probably a rear wing. Yeah, classic. Uh, 1.11 of all the ones for Vega Racing, uh, which is good to see. Uh, and that improves their time again. So great stuff from Vega Racing. And they're in lane two. So you're expecting a bit of an improvement. But no improvement yet for Antero's Motorsport with a 1.189. You're enjoying this moment, but you want to get that faster time, don't you? Yeah, of course, of course. Okay, um, and there we go. An extra, extra camera time there. For who was that? Who was having a bit of a, a moment with the camera? Yeah. That's your toolbox guy. Okay, and does does it come with? <laughs> Yesterday was very funny. Uh, he's not wearing his glasses today. Is that a a, a change up? Um, I think he's wearing the glass. Uh, not wearing the glasses because you know he has to get right and he can get closer to the car, can't he? He can prop his. He also got closer to the camera. Maybe he didn't see that the camera was there. That was a lovely bit of airtime. So, what did you guys do, Anteras, uh, yesterday after the competition? Uh, how did you unwind and get in a zone for today? Oh, uh, so I mean, we took a trip to Sainsbury's. <laughs> Good. That's how people calm down a little bit. You get ten percent. <laughs> Yeah, I work at Sainsbury's, so I get 10% off. 20% off today, though, because it's my payday as well, so. 
This is amazing. Shout out. Uh, if you will need to go and get any bits done, uh, that's what we call it down south, you need to get some bits, uh, head on to Sainsbury's with Antero's Motorsport. You're more than that. I know you're more than that. So how did you get to chat to many of the other teams yesterday? Uh, we had a nice little conversation with Nitro over breakfast. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> Uh, they're a very nice team, and we're just really glad to be there in the premier yeah. room with them. Okay, that's amazing. There you go. Uh, who and where are you staying? Did you get to chat to any teams this morning before you came here? Uh, unfortunately not, because we're in Harrogate, but we did talk to Project Nitro a bit. Oh, okay. Texting. Uh, this is admin stuff, is this? Or, or I'm seeing a lot of smiles going on on the faces here. It's good to network, isn't it? A mingle, that's what they call it. Yeah, uh-huh. No, we definitely mingled. <laughs> okay, all right, fair enough. Well, we're seeing some breakages happen <laughs> right now that are being fixed. Sam, what do you see with your naked eyes? Yeah, so I think there was a wheel came off at least one of them, and then a rear wing came off one as well. And I have to say, considering how I saw the other car yesterday, with only it, it delivered with three wheels missing, I think it was surprising that it's come off the Vega racing car uh, rather than theirs. I'm, Surprised that they've stayed on this. Like, I remember you handed it in and said, I think that'll do. And they've stayed on this whole time. So that's, that is pretty good going. Oh, brilliant. Well, that's good to see. Uh, mingling. Would you call it mingling or networking? What would you call it, Sam? I think at F1 in schools, you'd call it networking. But networking. It, is, it is mingling. It is mingling. But it's got an official title of networking. All right. Well, there you go. Vega Racing. Doing all the networking. Good to hear. And Antero's Motorsport doing the networking as well, uh, to very, uh, as you say, uh, bonny, excitable teams who are ready to get racing again. So we wish them the best of luck. Here we go. <laughs> A 1.122. But we've had an improvement in lane two from Antero's Motorsport for one of the team members last time out. A one thousandth of a second improvement in lane two. We love to see it. And it's Friday. It's 20% off at a certain supermarket. We're excited about that. You're doing a what? A meet and greet at Sainsbury's. Yeah. Oh, you do. That's a beautiful. At five o'clock. That's good to know. After you may or may not be heading to the world finals, but a one thousandth of a second improvement. Was there any improvements, uh, say, for Vega Racing? Um, not yet. I think Callum's doing really well in his reaction times, but it's consistency that we're kind of looking for, and I think that's what we're getting. Well, that is all right then. If you're happy, I'm happy. We'll go racing for the fourth and final time. A 1.092, it is an improvement for Vega Racing. They have now improved from their 1.108. That is a fantastic job done by Vega Racing. They were consistent, but they've also improved on their best time set. So 1.092, happy with this, Sally? Yeah, no, definitely, that's really good. And happy with Callum, saving the best till last. Brilliant. Uh, and in terms of the rest of the day now, we've got the racing out of the way. Uh, it's a nerve wracking, exciting moment. But what will the rest of the morning have in store for you? Um, we've got our pit display interview, so we're looking forward to that. Um, but otherwise, I think it's just awards. Just awards. All right, so you've got a bit of time to wait. Uh, chat to the guys if you need 20% off at Sainsbury's. Uh, that is brilliant to see. Vega Racing, well done. Uh, Antero's Motorsport, look at that. A 1,000th of a second improvement. It's going, it's going the right way. An improvement is an improvement. We'll take that. And that is a perfect way to end this chat. I like it. An improvement is an improvement. Thank you very much. Are you going to? Oh, I'd love that. Can you walk up to the camera and show it? <laughs> Can I walk up to the camera and show it? Do you know what? You've asked so nicely. Yeah. Look at that. I should have got the uh, toolkit to do that, actually, uh, as absolutely loves that camera. Vega Racing and Antero's Motorsport, enjoy the rest of your morning. Take care. Uh, good luck with your mingling that is coming your way and networking. Cheers, guys. Thank you very much. Here we go. So uh, they're getting me to do their sponsorship shout outs. 
but I don't mind it, actually. Nice flag. Uh, maybe I could do that for the start, Sam. Could wave the flag, like good old days. Okay, we've had Enteros Motorsport from the Crip School. They were to my left, and then we had Vega Racing from Enlithgow School in Scotland. But now we welcome Sigma Racing to my left. Sigma Racing are going to come and join me. And then we will also have Tectonic, but we'll get Sigma Racing in place first. They're from the Sandback High School and Sixth Form College. Here we go. Welcome back. It's another day. Hello. How are you? What are you going to say? We'll find out. Um, how are you feeling today, guys? All good? Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, how was yesterday? Did you unwind after the first day of competition? Uh, no. <laughs> I, I, imagine, I didn't expect that at all. But uh, what have you done so far today, coming to back to Leeds University for the national final? Uh, we've only sort of spoke through our pit, um, the presentation so far. So, yeah, no, we've still got everything else to go. Brilliant. All right, we'll stay there because we'll find out how you're doing in terms of that leaderboard. Sigma Racing, a 1.134 so far. And joining them on the track is Tectonic from St. Olav's Grammar School, one of the many teams from St. Olav's Grammar School. They're coming to join. First of all, going to ask you, how are you feeling today? Uh, good, pretty confident, hoping to top our time yesterday. And there's been a change of driver. What's going on tactics-wise? Uh, we just felt that he was performing better under pressure, so we want to make that change, and hopefully it's going to make us do better. Good improvement. You saw maybe in an area to improve in your circular control, and you have gone with it. I like that. And in terms of timings uh, for Tectonic, you are a 1.180, currently in 15th. You want to push up into the top 10, don't you? Yeah, of course, of course. We're going to push up. Hopefully. Okay, good. Well, hopefully that can happen. And as I mentioned, Sigma Racing currently in 11th place. Both of these teams hoping to move into the top 10. Can it happen? Will it happen? Oh, we better find out. Let's go to the track for all of the action. And it's quick, but is it quick enough in lane one? Cars look intact, so good manufacturing, good build. We're seeing the start again. Lane two, Technonic, a little bit slower, but a 1.143 does not improve Sigma's time. But there's still, there's still time. There's still another race in lane one. And is it Imogen driving? Yeah, it is. Okay, how is she feeling going into the racing today? Um, I don't know, ask Imogen. <laughs> All right. Well, we can't actually, because we're going to go race it again. So best of luck, Imogen. I was just told to go and ask Imogen myself about how she's feeling. But a full start is not what she wanted, Technonic. Uh, no improvement in their time with a 1.448. You have to be so careful with the start button, uh, making sure there's no full starts in any way, shape, or form. So we'll get the cars back. Expertly done by your team member. Just a shout out to your team member. Name again. Jess. Jess. How was Jess? Was this her first year in the team? It was, wasn't it? Yeah, it is. she's only been with us for six months. And is she doing all right? Is he going to have an appraisal at some point? Yeah, she will. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. And there Jess goes. Past the screen. Off she goes. Back again. And who have you chatted to for other teams? Have you got to network? That's what we're calling it. The official title. You can speak <laughs> Uh, yeah, we've spoken to quite a few teams. Um, Tanwin was really lovely, Epoch as well next door to us, and Taras as well was the other side, and it's just really lovely to speak to everybody, really. Ah, oh, we love to hear that. So no improvements for either of the teams just yet. Uh, Tectonic making a move. There we go. We're just getting a bit of a change up here. Uh, the teams from Tectonic are being moved. Uh, we like them in the back row. That's what we like for some reason. I'll take that clipboard back off, John. Uh, making sure this all happened so beautifully and expertly. Uh, it's one of those people, many people behind the scenes that you don't get to see on camera who do so many hours to make sure that an event like this happens and they definitely deserve a huge shout out. So uh, no improvement yet for Tectonic, but you're going to move into lane one now, so hopefully we'll see an improvement. Yeah, I mean, they've been saying lane one's the faster lane. Just have faith. 
got to have faith. That is what you have to have uh, in an event like this. So uh, your driver, doing the business, you changed up things. Is it seemed to be going well, that decision so far? Yeah, we have a lot of confidence in him. He's very consistent. He's fast. You know, again, faith. Yep. Faith. Uh, there is a particular song that uh, mentions faith all the time, um, but we won't sing it because we can only play the proclaimers here today. Uh, those are the words of Team Vortex. Here we go then. We're ready. No more full starts. Let's have some brilliant racing. Down the track they go. And it's a 1.176 for Sigma Racing. Still not improvement and a 1.200. So no improvements for Tectonic, but it's getting there. That reaction time, three thousandths of a second quicker than Sigma Racing with a 0.185 was brilliant, doing all they can, but we just need to get that 20 thousandths of a second better than they have done. It can happen. We've got a fourth race to go. Who have you chatted to? Who have you networked with? Who do you want to give a shout out that you've enjoyed their company so far in a competition? Well, um, probably the most memorable is Ventura Racing. I remember they gave us like this little little business guide, told us to bury it in the soil, had their Instagram on it. You know, that, was, that was quite innovative. There's quite a lot of teams doing racing. Little racing games, Gold Motorsports, Epoch. So there's a lot of fun, interactive things yeah. you can do. Well, I love this. I love it, the interaction of everyone. Let's go trackside for the fourth and final time, and let's hope we can have some improvements on the time. A 1.156, Sigma Racing, and Tectonic, a 1.193. So no improvements on the leaderboard, however, I'm not seeing any breakages, so a well-manufactured car being on display for both teams. Sigma racing, no improvement, but showing that you've manufactured your car really well. So some positives to take from it. Um, yeah, <laughs> so what you just said. Um, obviously we did better than we did last year, so so positive. And uh, because obviously you were telling me yesterday that you just wanted to see improvements on the car, on the track, and do you feel like you'll be able to walk away with your head held high? I think so, yeah. Okay, good. And any final shout outs for anybody uh, that you would like to thank? Yeah, Laura behind us because it's her birthday. <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? It's your birthday? What? Also, it's Imogen's tomorrow. <laughs> it's Imogen's tomorrow. Is that why you selected the team? All right, okay. Well, uh, so, uh, name again. What? Your teammate. That's Laura. That's, That's Laura. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Here's a big moment. I'd like everyone's help for this. It's someone's birthday, so let's do it. Ha and it's Lara, okay. Happy birthday to you. Everybody now. Happy birthday to you. Everybody, happy birthday, dear Lara. Happy birthday to you. And that has made her really happy. So thank you very much for that. Beautiful stuff. She would like to vacate this area as quickly as possible. Tectonic, uh, happy with everything you saw on the track today. Take some positives away. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, it's racing. It's not the result we hoped, but it's, it's, it's still all to play for. And, uh, you know, it's just a suspense, suspense still. You get yeah. a lot of feedback, you know, and there's obviously stuff to improve. Always stuff to improve on, but I think you've done a brilliant job. Hopefully be seeing you on the stage. Uh, sorry about that, Lara. It just had to be done. It just had to be done. It's always good fun. Right, you guys can vacate the area. Thank you very much to Sigma Racing and to Tectonic. And thank you for everyone who got involved in that. A little bit of a sing song uh, for Lara, who is still very red in the face. Uh, I don't know if that's annoyance or happy with everything. Uh, she, well, it's a birthday. It's got to be celebrated, isn't it, Sam? Yeah, exactly. Mine was at the World Finals for one of one of our competitions, and I think it was breakfast. The, like the team just went around and told everyone in the hotel lobby that it was my birthday and that a cake was coming at some point soon to sing, and it was, it was the worst. <laughs> what the cake was terrible, or just the just the moment of it was like red velvet. So it wasn't the best cake. But. What? That's my favourite. Team Epoch, come on down! It is that time. They were on the top of the leaderboard for such a long time. Just one person. Okay, come come and join. Here we go, this is the moment. Okay, I'm gonna come and join you. Maybe I'll just do this. Just ruin the, the moment for the cameraman. Uh, welcome, good morning. How are we feeling today? 
really good. We're in a strong position at the moment, so hoping we can improve on our time today and secure our position at the top of the leaderboard. Yeah, it must be like a, a, a sort of, not frustrating, but you're like, oh no, a team of overtaking you. Golden Motorsport, they did that yesterday, and you were like, no. So I bet you've been eager to get back on the track and uh, overtake them. Yeah, it was disappointing right at the end yesterday. Um, but yeah, we're eager to improve on it today. And who is your driver again, please remind us? Jess again, she had some really good reaction times yesterday, so hopefully, hopefully she can do that again. All right, so there's only one car on the track. It's Team Epoch. They're hoping to beat the current top leaderboard of a 1.079. Let's hope we have some drama here, saving the best till last. So we wish Jess and Team Epoch the best of luck. Here we go. come back to us. I don't know what's happened. Is that a gas canister? Something's up. Something's wrong. Not clipped on. We'll find out. There was a full start. I believe there was a full start. That's okay. That's okay because there's three races left. I don't feel like there was enough anticipation and excitement in the room. We'll just double check what's happening with that. Um, now, Team Epoch, uh, I want to know, in terms of the other teams that you've met, you've had a bit of a shout out from one of the teams just now. Uh, who have you got to know a little bit better? Um, team Tanwen, we were messaging them before on Instagram, so um, we already knew them. Um, fellow Welsh team, they're doing really well. Um, yes, yeah, so it's good to see that fellow Welsh teams are doing well as well. Uh, now, a couple of the teams watched back left yesterday's uh, live show uh, just to see them on camera. Have you done any of that? Have you done your social media? Have you sort of kept everyone up to date with everything that's going on? Yeah, we've updated our social media, keeping everybody at home up to date. Um, so, yeah. Okay. And in terms of what it would mean to go to a world finals, have you even thought that far ahead? Trying not to get our hopes up too much. Um, it would be amazing. I competed in the um, primary regionals with my um, primary school um, back in like 2017. Um, so it's always been a dream for me to compete in the F1 competition. So it would be amazing to go through to the world finals. Well, keep your fingers crossed. Here we go. We're going to go racing. Best of luck to Jess now that we have everything sorted. And away we go. We're hoping to get an improvement in time. Little breakage there. Never like to see that. But a 1.133. So no improvement on our time, but a reaction time, very quick. 0 0.161 from Jess. So quite a way to go. But hey, anything can happen. What did you do as a team last night to unwind after day one of competition? Um, we just got some food. Um, wasn't a mu much unwinding, still very tense, still very stressful. Yeah, it must be really difficult in your competition. Do you, you can't eat as well as you normally do. You can't sleep as well. How do you, get, how do you overcome that? Just got to get on with it. Yeah, just have to push through. Um, yeah, a lot of work yesterday, but it should be more relaxed today. So hopefully it'll be okay. Okay, well, this is a tense moment. We'll go trackside now to get the race underway. Point one six eight nine reaction time from Jess. It was quick, seven thousandths of a second slower than the previous reaction time. And I'm seeing some breakages at one point one four one. So no improvement on the time. Disappointing, but there's still two more races to go. Saving the best or last. Their last opportunity to see a team go top of the leaderboard. And how was it yesterday in terms of all the judging, going through all of that? Was it okay? Was there a bit that you were sort of like, oh, I think we've we've done the best we could in that section? Yeah, I think we did do the best we could do. Um, it was a lot of stuff going on, very stressful, but um, yeah, we worked well as a team. Um, I think we did as well as we could do. Okay, and your other teammate uh, is just passing by now, so we'll have to do all of the fixing, is that right? Yeah, um, so we had the rear wing detached yesterday as well, so we repaired that, so it, we were expecting it to break off again today. And that's quite difficult. If you have breakages, you've got to fix them, get them set, get them ready, and then hopefully hope that it can go even faster. Sam, you're over in the tech 
area, tech corner, it, it, do you tend to see a car go faster once that super glue has been applied or, or is it kind of always a bit of a kind of unlikely outcome? Uh, it's it's going to make a, a tiny difference to the weight. I guess it depends which parts have broken. I'd say if it's a rear wing and it has been the rear wing every time, that's not actually, if anything, a rear wing on an F1 in schools car slows it down because you don't need downforce, you don't really need lift, you just need it to be as neutral as possible. So as long as it's put on not sideways, which will cause a lot of drag, then it'll be near enough no difference. As long as it's falling off after the track, like after the finish line, it doesn't matter. At, wait, as long as they can also get it finished within 30 seconds, get the fix done. Because if it doesn't cross the line at the end, that rear wing, then it's a DNF. It does, it, it's, it's out, disqualified. It doesn't yeah. count that time. Yeah, because if you could imagine that lots of teams would design it so that the rear wing fell off immediately and then it's like it would reduce in, in weight. It would be under the 50 grams. Uh, I, think, I think that has happened in the past. I think teams designed it so that they would like lose almost like a ballast at the start and then it would be a lot faster. Um, I would also say that this one, when I was doing the scrutineering, I think this one came in underweight. So they've had to put on some blue tack on the car. So we gave them, I think it was 48 point, uh, 49.8 grams. So there's a 0.2 gram under the 50 gram limit. So we're giving them 0.4 grams of ballast to put on, uh, let them choose where, where it would go. So now that car is 50.2, which is still one of the lightest cars that we've got here. So there's, I think there's only one team that's got both cars off 50.0. So. That explains why it is so close to the top. There will be a small points penalty, but the, the, speed, the speed is there, only 0.2 grams over, over the, uh, the minimum mass. Thank you very much, Sam. So you had to put blue tack on it. Where did you put the blue tack on? We did. We put it on the rear um, wheel supports just under there. Um, so hopefully that'll be okay. And how did you decide that? Uh, was it, you know, looking at the, the data, how did you come to that, I think, will be the give us the, still a best chance? Um, wasn't a lot of testing behind it really. Um, we just didn't want it to be visible. We wanted it to kind of keep this streamlined flow at the top of the car. So we decided that the bottom of the car was probably the best place to put it. Okay. And in terms of that social media that you've done in the build up, you mentioned about Tamwen, uh, chatting to them a lot and getting to know them, ready to meet them in person again. Um, you, how integral was that as part of your team's identity and you wanted to be sort of a big factor on that social media? Yeah, it was a big part of it. We wanted to make sure we knew all the teams that we were going to meet today. So it's been great to meet everybody um, in real life after chatting to them on social media. Any surprises? Taller than you thought? Shorter than you thought, maybe? That always happens. You know, like, oh, I wasn't expecting you to be that small or that tall. No, I don't think so. Oh, okay. All right. Surprising. Okay. And have you taken part in all of the team's pit displays in terms of all those competitions? There's a chocolate bar up for grabs uh, with Project Nitro. They've, you've got a scale electrics track. I've been told about this. I'm going to go and compete on it after this. Yeah, I've done the scale electrics track before we did this. It was very fun. And you weren't on top of the leaderboard. Is that what you're saying? I wasn't, no. Okay. Well, there's still time. All right. Here we go then. Uh, for the third out of four races, Team Epoch, here we go. Let's wheel them along. And that car set sail down the track. Very quick indeed. Trying to beat that 1.090, which puts them currently in second place. And no improvement there, 1.158. Just watching the replay back. Is that something you would change looking to go to the worlds with the rear wing, sort of engineering design change maybe? Possibly, yeah. It has improved since the regionals. Our car pretty much like crashed and burned at the end of the track and regionals. Um, but since then, we partnered with 3D Print UK, which we're really grateful for. Um, so they've uh, manufactured our wing components for us, so they seem to be much stronger. Um, maybe using a stronger adhesive to secure them next round if we do get through. All right, so already analyzing what they would do differently. Trackside then for the fourth and final race of this section of the day. Fingers crossed as we wait for the data to populate the screen. And it's a 1.117, so the fastest time of the day, but no improvement, still in the top three. In fact, the top two, uh, Team Epoch, uh, sat next to me as the three of them. Happy with that, you would have hoped to go number one, but with all of the setbacks that you've had, happy with what the results were? 
Yeah, we're really happy. Um, a bit disappointed that we couldn't get to the number one spot, but really good reaction times from Jess. Um, so yeah, we're happy with that result. And what does the rest of the morning have in store for you now then? Um, getting our feedback from all the judges. We've got our pit interview later. Um, so yeah, pretty chill, I think, after this. Well, amazing. Well, listen, uh, Team Newport, great to chat to you. Uh, just having a little chat, the two of us, we just sat here uh, at the, the Lenovo F1 in schools. Uh, UK national finals here at Leeds University. We're going to take a break now because uh, we'll be back for half 11 to start the development class. But excellent job from all of the guys. The top three, Golden Motorsports, Team Epoch and Vega Racing. There it is in front of you to confirm. A brilliant top three and not much separating uh, those teams. They've all done a brilliant job. Enjoy your break. Come and join us back here for half past 11.
I'ma get it, you know I be on the way.
Welcome back to the Lenovo F1 in Schools UK National Final 2023 here at Leeds University. Welcome back. We have so far this morning had the professional class. We now move on to the development class and we get to welcome back all of the teams that we met yesterday. A lot of enjoyment yesterday. I'm even smiling just at the thought of them joining me on the stage. Some real good characters and I can't wait to meet them all again. So let's start with Eloy, the Swift Motorsport. They're going to come and join me, of course, uh, welcoming back the very famous Terry. Uh, Terry goes past. He's now become, you can join me on that side. Welcome back, guys. Eloy Swift Motorsport. And uh, competing with them on the racetrack is Kronos Racing. They're gonna come and join me on the side there. So, uh, is Terry enjoying the mini fame that he has experienced yesterday? Yep, yep. He's, he keeps mocking it, but he's, I think he's liking it. He's liking it, okay, all right. Because yesterday, I don't know, was he forced to watch back the live stream yesterday? Yeah, we showed it, it's on our Instagram. That oh, was beautiful, I really enjoyed that. And Kronos, oh, all by yourself, running things. You've been left in charge. Uh, how was yesterday for you? Uh, yes, it was good. The bubble wrap works quite well and effective. Um, hope to improve the time, time a wee bit, but yeah, it should be good. Well, yes, uh, the only team to bring bubble wrap to uh, two proceedings for the deceleration zone. A few teams are talking about how we could avoid breakages. Well, I was talking to Gary Anderson, and Gary Anderson was telling me there is going to be a new design uh, implemented for the world finals. Is that right, Sam? Sam Chapman, formerly of Team Unity, now his own person. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That is that is the plan. It's under testing at the minute. It's apparently final stages, but uh, lips are sealed. Lips are sealed. We can't say any more. But that's brilliant to see. So the bubble wrap is hopefully going to help you out here. Let's go racing for both of these teams: uh, Kronos Racing and Eloy Swift Motorsport. There you go, quick reaction time. Eloy Swift Motorsport Racing with a 1.340. So as soon as we get the development class leaderboard up, we'll be able to compare the times. I'm seeing, were you seeing a slight breakage there for your, your car? If I'm being honest, I think I missed it. 
Okay, fair enough. You missed it. I missed it as well, actually. But we'll find out. Uh, we'll ask our two uh, team members at the other end of the racetrack. Any breakages? Hurry up. No breakages. All good. All good. That bubble wrap is still working. Uh, so um, we'll watch the replay now. How did you find yesterday, Kronos Racing? How did you find it? Yeah, it was good. It's just a little bit shaky seeing the car because weren't sure how it was going to perform. Um, we did bits of testing, um, but not to the extent of some of the other teams here. Okay. So you were able to compare your results. All right, let's get to that second race for our first matchup of the development class. And there it is, straight into that bubble wrap, or booble wrap, as uh, some people pronounce it. I don't think anyone pronounces it booble wrap. But it's a 1.421 for Eloy Swift, and a 1.304 for Kronos Racing, all the way from Scotland. And comparing that to yesterday's times, intact for both cars, and you can really see the two different deceleration zone areas. Terry zipping back. There he is, part of the camera there. You just saw him zip past. There's even some photography going on at the moment because Terry's in the ends. A little thumbs up there. There goes Terry. <laughs> Design engineer. Was he happy with his work on the car? Yep, he's uh, having a great time. He's a celebrity now. He is a celebrity now. I'll make sure I get my autograph uh, book out. Uh, I brought it with me just in case. Um, what did you enjoy yesterday? Did you get to chat to any of the other teams and, and sort of network? Yeah, uh, we've met a lot of great people, made a lot of friends. Uh, yeah, we've been around loads of the pit displays, just talking to the people. So, yeah, and, it, and has it inspired you to maybe come back for a professional class uh, next year? Yeah, definitely. We really want to come back. Okay, well, hopefully uh, you'll be on the stage picking up an award at some point. Uh, out of the awards, what do you reckon you're most likely or what do you feel most confident uh, winning? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure, to be honest. Uh, there's a lot of things we're in the running for. I uh, guess we'll find out. Maybe reaction time. Sid's very good at that. He is very good at that. Uh, he's given the thumbs up. While we wait to get the cars uh, swapped over, so we can see at the moment... Kronos Racing, the faster of the cars on the track, uh, doing a fantastic job. Uh, and your pit display for Kronos Racing, where, where are you based and who is next to you? Who have you chatted to and got to know a little bit better? Um, well, we're in the corner and down where Court 5 is. We are next to Photon Racing and also um, Samurai Racing. We chat to them a little bit. So. Okay, cool. And, and is something moving up to the professional class something you'd like to do? Um, just trying to improve everything as a whole, um, definitely take on the feedback the judges said and try and make an improving hopefully one next year. So. Yeah, and could you see yourself joining that professional class, upping the stakes and, uh, and from everything you've learned? Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's really good to see everyone else doing it and seeing how much work they put in and then trying to copy that for us. That is the one thing that keeps coming up, the amount of work that goes in to the teams competing uh, and the development class as well, and uh, the kind of nerves. Have the nerves been with you today as well? Will they jangle a bit harder when you get to the award ceremony later on? Uh, yeah, definitely the award ceremony. The main time I felt the nerves was when we first raced the car, to see how the wings lasted and they didn't break, so that was quite positive. Well, we are moments away from going racing again, and then two more races for both of these teams, and then we can see how that does for the leaderboard in a development class. And here we go then. And a fascinating squatting based technique from Kronos. Uh, exquisitely done. They are now in lane one, the, the faster one that we found out from Sam Chapman from the tech corner earlier on. It's an, a remarkable, remind me of your driver's name. Uh, Connor. Connor's got a remarkable squatting based technique. He, I imagine to be in line perfectly. Um, that is a huge amount of quad strength, hamstring being used there. How, did you go through various testing for how he could improve his reaction times? Every time over there on the machine, he's sitting there squatting down, making sure he gets it perfect. Results paying off. Results are paying off. And there you can see Connor on the screen. Maybe even a front lunge. We see a few teams going for a front lunge. Um, you also see in the Park Ferme area. Uh, guys, talk to me, uh, Eloy Swift Motorsport. What is, 
what is the technique of your driver? Is he, is he happy with his technique? Has he seen the squatting technique and then thought maybe I should try that? I've got no idea, you'll have to ask him. All right, I'm being forced to go somewhere else. Uh, right, let's get racing as soon as we can. Um, I don't want to get inside the driver's heads too much at the moment. But here we go, the fourth and final race for both of these teams. And away they go. The plump of the booble wrap flung up in the air and it's done its job. A 1.303 for Kronos Racing and the cars are intact. And a 1.409 for Eloy Swift as we watch the replay. Just added sound effects just for everyone in there building again. Anyway, so uh, here we are. The two races have happened on each lane. I'll get the final thoughts for Eli Swift. Ah, oh, it's so annoying. Ter Terry didn't get across the camera again. Um, is there anyone you wanted to thank before I say goodbye for you and enjoy the rest of the morning? Yeah, Miss Bowen and Miss Gregory, thank you for bringing us here. And Terry. Oh. And Terry, Terry. Uh, so professional class could be happening. Come and join us, Terry. Terry, I just want to get a final word from Terry, mini celebrity. Everyone's enjoyed uh, his presence at this competition. Uh, Terry, AKA Mr. Nike. Uh, you can stand if you want. I like that, Terry. Um, Terry, have you enjoyed the competition so far? Uh, enjoyed it very much. It's very nice meeting people around here. And what would it mean to you if you got to stay on that step for a one, two, three, one of those positions to go to a world final. Would that, would that mean the world to you? It would. Oh, well, listen, Terry, great to chat to you. And, and Eloy uh, Swift racing and the teachers that have brought their energy and enthusiasm and half an eaten banana that I'm seeing walking around. Uh, right, Kronos Racing, let's get with final thoughts from you. Uh, what have you got ready and in store for the rest of the day? Well, we've just got our judging um, and that'll be coming up, but I'm very happy with the car, improved by like 300s pretty much. That's awesome, congratulations on that. So you can go and mini celebrate now. Uh, and looking forward to getting you up on that stage, potentially, fingers crossed, for the awards later on. So Kronos Racing and Eloy Swift, you can head out of here. No more Terry, no more Eloy Swift. Legends in the game. And there we have it. So uh, they were happy, Kronos Racing, a few bits of improvement in their times. Uh, they will be happy with that, uh, Mr. Sam. Uh, what else do we possibly have coming up in the tech corner? Oh, uh, I mean, I'm out of, out of stats, but uh, I can answer any of the, the questions that you have. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right then, that's fine. I don't have any questions right now, but I just wanted to know, because you had a brilliant TED talk on the first day about the new regulations coming in. Then we've had lane uh, one or two, which one's faster, and car A or B, the stats. And now we're on question time. So if you have a question for Sam Chapman in the tech corner, do pass those across. That would be great to hear from you. Uh, brilliant stuff. Did you enjoy the bubble wrap? I did. There was. Um the, the brushes were introduced while we were um, we were competing. I think 2016 or 17, and everyone was nervous of the brushes to begin with. So we kept using tea towels. Some teams started making bubble wrap, but it was it was mentioned that you're allowed to bring your own your own stopping device. So at the World Finals, one team brought a bin bag full of uh, polystyrene balls, which obviously just exploded on the first car hitting it, and that was a mess. <laughs> Fireworks. Oh, I love that. Well, let's welcome our next team. Ignite underscore NC are going to be joining me on my left-hand side. Ignite underscore NC. That's how it shall be pronounced forevermore. And the two suitcases are being brought to the main stage. Welcome back, Matt. Great to have you on board. Coffee being brought. Is there anything in that cup? Yes. Okay, good. That's everything I needed to know. Uh, I don't want to know what's in there. I just need to know that H-Rock. Is that H-Rock? H-Rock, yeah, indeed. So they're sponsored. I mean, they've been given loads of freebies. Did you get some of the freebies from H-Rock? More stuff than just the cup? Yeah, I got more stuff, but I promised them that would help them out a little bit, you know? All right, well, they'll be coming up later on. Uh, great to have you on board. And then next to Ignite underscore uh, NC, we have Photon Racing coming to join me. So heading back over the driver in position for both teams. That's it. That's you done. You just nodded at me and then away you go. All right. Remind me of uh, said car retriever name. What's his name? Uh, Addy Tiamanjus. 
Addy, there he goes. He's very happy this morning. Is he? Is he? Everyone in good spirits for photon racing? Uh, not really, but partially. Not really, but partially. Come on, what's happened? Uh, we haven't had such luck in scrutineering, but other things have gone well, so we're optimistic. Just focus on the positives, and then the neg negative side, those are areas to improve on, so at least you know where to improve on. Well, listen, we're ready to go racing. Let's hopefully put a smile on your faces for Photon Racing and Ignite underscore NC. We're watching the replay go through now. And a 1.328 for Photon Racing. Scrutineering don't go, didn't go as well as they would have wanted or hoped, but still competing, doing the best they can, which we love to see. So, there we go, faster of the two. Ignite underscore NC. Matt, break it down for me, come on. What are we seeing, what the, that data, is it ex as you expected it to? It's, it's something that I think we were ready for. It, the, the cars would be roughly the same, so wherever we got in our first race, it'd be around the same for this one. Okay, the words of Matt. Love it. It's good though, Matt's good. He's got the two suitcases there, ready. We saw what was the contents were in. Uh, do you do, he is amazing. I, 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 I haven't seen him work though on, with the suitcases though. Are you hoping in some respects that you don't have to get him to fix anything? Well, we're already confident of the cars, but if something does break, we have Matt. That's why we have Matt. He's the best engineer ever. <laughs> I love that. I love to see the team camaraderie. Let's go racing again for both of these teams. And there they go, flying down the track, 1.323 versus a 1.361. So four hundredths of a second difference almost between these two teams. And a very, very quick reaction time from Photon Racing, a 0.150, so excellent stuff there, done. I just saw the founder and chairman of F1 in schools, Mr. Andrew Denford, so eager to walk past the camera in development class as well as professional class. So we now swap over the cars and put them in the opposite lane. What would you say has been a highlight of the competition for you guys so far? Um, team banter for one, I think. We've all come here with very good spirits. You know, no matter what happens, we were here to have fun. We were here to have a learning experience. Um, that's what I'd say. Oh, I like that. Sometimes, I, knowing from my school education that banter and humor is frowned upon. You have to be always serious, but sometimes the best way of learning is when you're enjoying, you've got that smile on your face. Uh, so that's good to hear that team banter, uh, are you the leader of team banter? Uh, yes, I, I make the team be happy. I keep the team spirit happy, the atmosphere, but when it's work, we work 110% all the time. When we're serious, we're being serious. When you did that with your eyes, I was scared for a second there. I was very scared. You, the eyes, yeah, okay. When it's serious, we're serious. Uh, how do you feel with the, the results of the car so far? Well, being transparent, that's um, we're a bit disappointed. We have to be honest. But yeah, we're going to work on the car for next year, regionals. We're only going to improve. That's what we do. Okay, I like that. Um, do you have the same situation, uh, Photon Race on? When it's serious, you're serious. When you can have fun, you can have fun. I think, hopefully. Yeah, okay, good. It'd be a nice like, kind of thing to do. Yeah. It's quite difficult to, to get that sort of balance between the workload and it's all work, 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 work. But do you, as a team, get to bond and get to know each other a little bit better? I mean, yeah, like when we're in the hotel, we're having fun, not really thinking about work. But when we come here, it's, it's like game face. You have to be serious and whatnot. Yeah, it's, game, it's go time. We have to deliver. Uh, and, and have you enjoyed, what have you taken away from the competition so far? What's the, been the highlight for you? Uh, the highlight probably just well, the verbal was good, but it's probably just being here because it's our first season in the competition and it's just a huge achievement to get here. Well, that is an amazing achievement and something to, uh, to build upon as well, which is always what it's about, learning, where can you improve, adapting, and we are ready to almost go racing again. The drivers have swapped sides. They're in the zone. 
So let's do this, it's go time. A 1.320 for Photon Racing in lane one. And again, a brilliant reaction time. 0.17 reaction time for Ignite underscore NC. We found out yesterday, Ignite. Every team gets that Ignite. It's, it's a, what is it again? It's the Ignite, everything gets. Ignite the spark. Ignite the spark, that was it. Yes, everyone gets that. And the NC stands for? Um, it's just an abbreviation of the college we come from. It's Northampton College. There you go. Underscore. Because I met your teachers yesterday, and they, they were impressed that I kept saying underscore. But I don't know. Is that bothering you? Is it OK? <laughs> Should I just ignore it? Just call you Ignite NC? No. I, I want to make sure when you're serious, it's serious. And when it's banter, it's banter. I need to know. Even when you're serious, you have your fun. If you want to keep saying the underscore, you keep saying the underscore. OK. <laughs> Publicity. I like it. All right, let's get to the fourth and final race. There you have it then. Again, Photon Racing always around the 0.15 area. Yep, yeah, just, just, the driver's just shrugging his arms. Yeah, yeah, that's what I do. And what, Tom? And what? I like that. And uh, we're just getting the development class uh, leaderboard populated, but overall, Happy with that, not much in it in those two races. Uh, Photon Racing, you were unsure how you felt when you arrived here to sit on the chair. How will you be leaving? Feeling better? Uh, yeah, I think we're happy with our performance. We could do better, but it's an improvement for regionals and that's what matters. So you can see that improvement from regionals. Oh, that's fantastic, that's great to see. And any thank yous you wanted to put out there for anyone that's helped you along with Photon Racing? Uh, probably Frontier F1, they're one of the pro class teams from our school and they've been like a mentor to us throughout like preparing, it's been very helpful. And they're top guys as well, I've got to chat to them. Well listen, Photon Racing, brilliant stuff. And then finally, let's get the final thoughts. Overall, happy with that? I'm going to pass the microphone, I'm looking at you, here's that moment. Overall, happy? It is what it is. We tried our best when we came here, so it doesn't matter if we won or not, at least we tried. Exactly, and you've got the best engineer in Matt. I heard it here, your words. Well, listen, enjoy the rest of the day. Uh, so give it up for Photon Racing and Ignite underscore NC. They're going to leave the arena. Don't forget the magical. Take care. I'll hopefully see you uh, on the stage, maybe collecting an award. An absolute pleasure. I've gone lefty. Oh, what's happened there? What was that? That was the weirdest handshake ever. Ah, I've got to live with that. Ah, did you see that? Ah, Sam, did you see that? Oh, it was weird. It was like I held my hand out and I had a, th anyway. <laughs> that's a moment we'll never forget. That is full on banter. That is best banter I've seen. Okay, let's deal with that handshake later. Let's move on because we have yesterday, um, Sam, I know you're a little bit jealous, but I got given a remote control car and then I gave it back because that's the sort of person I am. I'd like right. to welcome Mac Racing from Ron Deering UTC are going to come and join me over here. Uh, give up for the team, they're going to come and join. Driver change today, no driver change. Okay, you're just going to join me for a second or two. I like that. And then on the right hand side, uh, we have Team Traction from Leoso's High School. So driving yesterday, feeling good about the performance? Yes. Okay, and what are you going to do? Are you going to do any, anything different or just keep it the same? If it's not broke, don't fix it. Exactly. Okay, and how was your day in the competition yesterday? What was the highlight for you? I think all of our presentations went really well, so that's definitely something to look forward to. Okay, that's good. And how was your day? What was the highlight that you would take from yesterday? Yeah, just looking at everybody else's pit displays and getting inspiration. That's the word. It's not stealing, it's inspirations. There's a lot of inspiration, and you were inspired. If there was one team that sort of stood out for you that you got to know or chat to, uh, is there one team? I didn't talk to them, but I liked Epoch in the professional. Okay, all right, I like that going there. All right, um, well, I will let the driver head on over. Thank you very much. Heidi, it looks like you've brought back that remote control car. I got told off for being distracted, but this is brilliant. I'm so happy about this. Thank you very much, I'll take that. Um, right, let us have a little chat. Yesterday, there was a mobile phone that got lost, and then it got found, 
and you were the owner of said phone. Um, that was a nerve-wracking moment that got sorted? Yes, but I got an amazing selfie from two very amazing people on it. Yeah, that is, just to let everybody know, that was uh, Amy and myself. We found the mobile phone, and then we took a selfie of ourselves. Uh, are you keeping the photo? Absolutely. Oh, good. Well, Amy will be very happy with that. Well, listen, I'll chat to Team Traction a little bit more in a second, but let's go racing. That's what we're here for. Let's go trackside. Best of luck to both of the teams. And Terence is back, the mascot, very powerful mascot, hopefully giving good vibes, good energy, and hopefully a bit of luck being brought. So I didn't see the times yet, but feeling confident you might be able to better yesterday's score? Yeah, I think so. Oh, what? What's this? A penguin? Oh, an orange pick because it matches the... I see the thought pro This is brilliant. And... Oh, there's a joke as well. Oh, this is great. Here we go. While we just set up for the second... Well, we're ready to go. I can't tell the joke. Let's go trackside. Oh, I can. There's still time. What do penguins wear to the beach? I'm not even reading that. Flipper flops. You even knew that one, didn't you? You knew there's another penguin fan out there. Flipper flops. Brilliant. Let's go racing. Very quick indeed there, a 1.245. So the last two teams that are up here racing were about the 1.3 mark, but this is very quick indeed, Matt Racing and Team Traction. Uh, good times compared to yesterday? I think they're roughly the same, so it means we're a very consistent team. I guess that's a benefit. Yeah, very much so, the engineering. That's right, Sam, the, the engineer, if you're getting the same sort of times, it means you've uh, built the car uh, to, a, to a sort of unified uh, state that is obviously going to get the same consistent results. Yeah, exactly. I, that, that's what we were talking about before on, um, on, on this slide. So I assume one of the, the smaller uh, bars are implying that the, the cars are similar speeds. So, so that should be, I, I assume, one of them. I took all the team names off. but. Um, yeah, you did. We were wondering whether you would name and shame. No, I, I didn't think that was Never. <laughs> but yeah, that's good. So there you go. So making sure both cars are pretty much the same and equal uh, is what we love to see. Um, who have you chatted to, Team Traction? Who stood out for you as other teams that you've got to know? Well, we do, uh, we do talk to the Rapid Ravens from Lisa's High School. They're very good inspiration to us. Brilliant. Well, they, it's nice to be inspired. And it's something... From this experience in the competition, you'd maybe want to do the professional class maybe next year, push yourself? Yeah, I think we've all decided that we're going to try and come back next year as a professional class team and hopefully keep the orange. <laughs> that would be a good idea. It's your colour. It's your colour uh, to go. I'm sorry about that penguin joke reading out. You seemed very annoyed about that, uh, but it's all good. Uh, how do you feel that you're doing on track today? Uh, good. We did better than yesterday, which is obviously... A so there's an improvement. Amazing. Well, we're just waiting to get the development class populated, that leaderboard, so then I can get really excited. But if you're telling me you've improved, I am buzzing for you. I'm excited uh, for that. But maybe can go even faster as well. Uh, you were in lane one. Uh, what's been the highlight for you uh, from this event and competition today? Probably just mixing with other people and seeing everybody else. Yeah, okay. Well, I like that. Just getting to chat to everyone. You didn't get to chat to everybody, though. I know you were just looking at the pit displays and looking around. Uh, what's been the, the favourite part of the judging for you as a team? I like the verbal presentation the most because I think it was easiest. Easiest? A lot of people say it's the worst part. They're nervous about it, but I don't reckon with your, you that that was uh, too bad of a situation. No, it was all right. I didn't talk that much anyway, so it was fine. Oh, that was all right then. So when I keep putting the microphone to you, like, please stop doing that. All right, well, we can go racing again, so let's do that. Track side. One point three, one two. Watching the replay there. 
both getting a great start with the reaction times. But not into the 1.2 area. So, no improvement for there, but there's still one more race to go. And how will you fill your time, team Traction? After you've done the racing, what will you do between now and the awards? We'll probably end up talking to a few other teams, um, going around, probably hanging out with Terence, more than likely. Is Terence having a good time? Ask him. Um, no, do you know what? I, I, I'm not going to. I'm going to let Terence enjoy the moment and be in the zone. Oh, because that would have been maybe a little bit of silence that we didn't need. Let's go racing again one more time and for the final time here. And a 1.236, so an improvement in times for car B there for both teams, improving, which we love to see. Don't forget, if you're just joining us now on the live stream, this is the development class racing for the second time. We raced yesterday and we're back again on the track. Great to see with both of these teams. That's it, done and dusted on the track. What are you going to do between now and the awards? Go and get food. Go and get food. Any food, anything in particular? McDonald's again. Okay, well, there you go. You can go and enjoy that. Uh, it's great to catch up with you. Thank you very much. I will look after the remote control car, Matt Racing, and finally to, um, to Team Traction. Uh, what are you going to do now? Just hang out with Terence. Has Terence got a particular favourite area? A wonderful pit display. Oh, and what is on the pit display? If I get time to go over there, what can I expect on the pit display? Orange. Okay, just orange. I love it. Team Traction and Matt Racing, you can skedaddle out of here. Thank you very much. Well done for the track and the results there. What are you going to do between the end of this, Sam, and the awards? We'll have maybe an hour. What are you going to do? I haven't even thought about it. Oh, right. I mean, well, well, I'll leave you with that thought. We'd probably not go amiss. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go then. Uh, we are now going to get up our next set of teams. We have Bolt Racing joining me from Kim Bolton School. They're going to be right to my left. Uh, as I was leaving Leeds University, a minibus honked its horn uh, uh, and pulled up to the side. And then it was the team from Kim Bolton. It was Bolt Racing who said, do I need a lift to the hotel? And I said, kindly, thank you, no. Uh, but guys, you're back again, ready for day two? Yes, uh, looking forward to it. Lots of good feedback so far, hoping for more. Oh, brilliant. And then the development class has arrived on the screen, so we can have a little look at Team Bolt. So at m the moment, currently, uh, Bolt Racing, 1.316. Let's hope we can beat that. But up on the track with the guys is Team Silverstone, UTC, joining me on the right-hand side. So they are about to go racing, and we are doing very well. Good morning. Yeah, I'll go for some fist bumps. Why not? Yeah, morning. Welcome back, Silverstone UTC. How are we feeling going into day two? Uh, yeah, we're feeling pretty good, um, pretty confident. Um, we got some good people on top and bottom, so yeah, we should be all right. There you go. All right. And what did you do yesterday to sort of calm yourself down, ready for day two? Um, have a relaxing day, or oh, sorry, evening at the accommodation that we have here in Leeds. Well, there you go. Lovely stuff. And did you talk about F1 in schools? Did you talk about the feedback, how things had gone? Did you have a debrief? Yes, we had a debrief. We morely focused on our future goals in pro next year. Oh, that's amazing. So you're already starting to think that far ahead. And what are some of the goals that you have? Um, to have a faster car. Okay, well, listen, I hope you have a faster car. But you put it there perfectly. 24th and 25th place here. We've got a 1.316 to beat and also a 1.321. So these two cars are neck and neck. Let's go racing. Let's go track side. Best of luck to the drivers as they both do a fist bump to say best of luck to each other. And just to confirm, Team Traction, who were just up here chatting to me, they went top of the leaderboard. So they didn't get their applause that they definitely deserve, but they are top of the leaderboard. And as you can see on that leaderboard, the uh, finish flag um, is 
sort of indicating that that is it. They are done, they are dusted. So everyone who doesn't have one has still got a chance to better that time. So they overtook CHS Comet, who set the fastest time yesterday by three thousandths of a second. They've done a great job there. And we're seeing a bit of a change up for Silverstone UTC. Teammates are leaving, heading over. What's happening? Give us a lowdown. Uh, so basically, he's going down bottom to uh, collect the car um, and then bring them back up when they're done. Perfect. There you go. Got to get the jobs all done. We are now head to the second race and uh, no improvements made from either of the teams. So let's hope that it happens this time round. There was an ooh, a groan to the side of me from Bolt Racing. I'm not sure why, but maybe I can find out. What was the all for? Did you think there was a breakage? Uh, no, I just think it went a lot faster than I was expecting. Oh, well, that's good. There we go, 1.323. So uh, not quite. Uh, it was there or thereabouts. Uh, 1.316 is what you're trying to beat. So all of those seven thousandths of a second. It, it's only seven of a thousand, so I'm, I'm totally with you that it did seem faster but we know your car has gone quicker. That was in lane one, and as Sam Chapman over in Tech Corner had pointed out, lane one seems to be statistically the quicker of the two lanes. So there's a possibility. It still can happen that you'll get a faster one as we move over, but happy with everything so far this morning? Yeah, relatively happy, actually, but I think yesterday our car was quicker in lane two, so... Oh, I like that. For the fans at home, you're just teasing us there. And when I said morning, I meant eight minutes past midday. So therefore, uh, that means we are now into the afternoon. How are you feeling this afternoon? Eight minutes in. Yeah, um, quite confident. You know, I think, I think we can do well. Okay, well, that's good. And yesterday, highlight for you in the competition? Uh, probably, I'd say the race. You know, I just love sitting here watching Will do what he does best. And what does he do best? He's got a thumbs up there. What does he do best? Well, well, his lightning reaction times. Is that the only reason he's part of the team? What else does Will do? Uh, he's our social media manager. He's an absolute wizard on TikTok. A wizard on TikTok. Gandalf-esque. Look at him. Fantastic. Uh, what does he do so well on social media? What does he do on the TikTok? Oh, well, he just creates great videos. We get like 18,000 views on our videos. Really? Uh, I might have a chat with Will afterwards for my uh, career. See if we can uh, reboot it uh, somewhat. Uh, all right, we'll let him have the trade secrets. Uh, who does the social media for Silverstone UTC? Uh, so it's a mix of everybody, um, including both of us. Uh, so I'm the one that mainly deals with the um, Instagram side, and then he normally deals with the TikTok side. Okay. And have you heard of the work of Will? Um, apparently he's a wizard. Would you say you're a wizard on TikTok? It's hard to be a wizard, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it can be hard sometimes. Uh, algorithms on social media are weird. They are weird, aren't they? Like, what time to post? What time are you normally posting your content? Um, it, it kind of varies. We try to aim for times that we think people will be on social media. So, um, kind of like, uh, well, like after work, after school, that kind of time when people are on, on, on our commutes or things like that. 3 a.m. I'm hearing from just behind me, bolt racing. Uh, right, we can go racing again. Let's go trackside then. No oohs or groans from uh, either team. And you can see why. A 1.373 and a 1.40. So. No improvement there yet, but there's still one more race to go. Feels like slight paparazzi today, not just the cameras, people are bringing their own personal phones as well. They've held them for the whole time. It's been remarkable to watch. I thought at some point that hand was gonna come down with a phone. It isn't. Excellent stuff there from the fans who are getting uh, trackside. Here we go then, we are ready to go for the fourth and final race. It's a quick start. Is it enough though? A 1.338 from Bolt Racing and a 1.359. So no improvement on the times. I was hoping, my fingers were crossed, 
to see if they could get a better time. So no improvement there as we watch the replay, but overall, tell me what you're thinking. What's the thoughts going through your mind right now, apart from the 3 a.m. TikTok videos? Uh, yeah, no, I think we're doing good. Um, we're not under investigation, so hopefully uh, we can gain on some places. So, yeah. I'll just quickly ask, Will, what's the secret to uh, TikTok? What's your wizardry down to? That's a very good question, Tom. Uh, I don't know. I feel like when it gets a bit later at night, sometimes 3 a.m., my inspiration really kicks in. I just post some mental videos. Like I said, I'm a wizard on TikTok. Wizards, you let that creativity really flow. Um, and uh, any highlights yesterday for you in the competition? Uh, you know, Tom, just standing in front of our magnificent sign, uh, it's just beautiful. I just love being around it. Yeah, uh, do you know what? I think it really brings you out of your shell uh, by next to that light. And I think that happens for anybody. I will be going over to get a little quick selfie. But can you give a shout out? Of course you can, Will the Wizard on TikTok. I'd like to give a shout out to my dad, Mr. Ellis. It's his 63rd birthday today. Happy, no, I'm not gonna do it, but 63rd birthday, where is he? Is he here right now? He's in the front row. Though. He's in the front row. He's hiding away. Yeah, he's on the front row. <laughs> and who's next to him at the moment? Uh, Mrs. Woods, my DT teacher as well. Oh, okay, all right. Well, he doesn't seem very happy about that shout out. How familiar face, nice to see you again. Um, there we go. All right, so, Silverstone UTC driver, how does that go for you? Yeah, I think it went as best as it could have gone. I had two slow reaction times, two quick reaction times. So I think <laughs> on the whole, I performed how I'd like to, but. That's good, a bit of consistency. Will gave a shout out to uh, his dad. Uh, uh, who would you like to give a shout out to? So I'd like, like to give a shout out to all of our sponsors that managed to help us to be here, along with all of the engineering department, so science helping department. us, engineering and science department, helping us get the car as best as it possibly can be for this competition. Yeah. Well, I think you've done a brilliant job, so well done to Silverstone UTC. And also to Bolt Racing, you can now vacate, enjoy the rest of your afternoon award ceremony. Don't miss it, you never know. I'm going to get you, one of you to come back from Bolt Racing. There's a drinks bottle that cannot be left here, because as you can see on the camera, I like to keep this very neat and tidy, this area. We can't have any mess lying around. Uh, actually, most of that has been left by Amy Martin, who has joined me in the tech corner, who's currently eating an apple. One apple a day keeps the doctor away. Amy Martin, thoughts on how the day's gone so far for you? I've been having a great time, Tom. I told you I was not going to miss lunch again. So I've been off on secret duties for today, getting to know some of the teams. Um, and while Sam has just stepped out for a brief respite, I am just here to keep you company. Well, thank you very much, Amy Martin. Let's welcome another team to the area. And that is Flo, a team Flo from Simon Langton Boys School. He's going to be joining me. Bertie leading the way. Uh, incredible hair product yeah, being well. used. No, no, left, left, Bertie, care. you're not coming back to the same seat, you're coming over here. That's why I'm pointing it here. Follow the, the sort of instructions. Uh, Bertie, how are we doing today? Yeah, we're, we're good, we're, we're excited, I think. Did anybody ask you about the hair products that you use? Yeah, I had one woman come up to me and ask to smell my hair. It was a bit weird. That is horrific, but also, uh, name and shame, point her out, where is she? No, don't actually do that, Bertie. Uh, but listen, uh, did you enjoy yesterday? Highlight for you yesterday? Uh, I mean, I, I think our verbal, we, we were worried about it, but it went really well, actually. Oh, congratulations. I'm chuffed for you. That is brilliant. Well, listen, I'm going to welcome on the team that are going to be on the track with you. And that is Velocity Racing from Coilton Grammar School. Here they come. The blue hats. They're, I feel like there should be a theme tune, the way you're all walking over in unison. Perfectly done. Uh, that should have been a TikTok video. We should have got a wizard from TikTok to sort that out. How are we feeling today, guys? Uh, very good, thank you. Uh, how did you uh, c calm down or sort of get over day one of the competition yesterday? Well, we had like a long drive back to the accommodation, so, and then after that, a few games of hide and seek. What? Really? Hide and seek's my favorite game. What's your tactics? Uh, hide in the cupboard. Okay, good. Well, you've given away all your secrets now. So uh, if there's any more hide and seek going on, uh, did anyone sort of last a long time? Did you do that classic thing where you're playing hide and seek and then someone stops playing the game, and, but they're still hiding? Um, not that I know of, but it did take a while to find Harry in the first game. Harry hides in the cupboards. All right, fair enough. Just like Harry Potter. Uh, let's go to the track side to get the racing underway. As Harry leaves, he had one job.
good reaction times from both of the teams. There really is no chance of hiding here because this is the last time that you can improve your track times. As I look towards the leaderboard flow in 19th currently with a 1.299. And then over here, we see our teams on the leaderboard hoping to improve their times. As I said, flow with a good time. I think we're ready almost to get racing for our second race. And then we will chat with the guys to find out how they're feeling about what they're seeing. Velocity Racing with a 1.286. They're currently in 13th place. And there it is, a 1.304 for the faster of the two cars on the track, so that's Velocity Racing. Not enough to shake things up on the leaderboard as we get the cars back down to the start to change lane. So no improvement there so far. Um, yes. <laughs> Aiden. Aiden, Aiden, Aiden. Aiden. Aiden, Aiden, Aiden. All right, I'll come around. Aiden, Aiden, Aiden. What's going on, Aiden? They've, they've thrown me towards you, Aiden. What do you need to say? Th they wish to tell you that it's my birthday. Okay. Happy birthday to three people. I I Aiden. <sighs> All right, guys, don't, I mean, it's another birthday. Um, we sang it so well before. Everyone up for this? I'll take that as a yes. Here we go. <clears throat> Aiden, how are we spelling that? A-I-D-A-M. We don't need it for the song, but I just wanted to double check the spelling. Here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Aiden. Happy birthday to you. One man is leaving. We've made a man leave with our singing. Don't go now, sir. He's had enough of it. The Chino man has left. Aiden, happy birthday to you. Fair enough. Um, and what have you done to celebrate your birthday so far? Come here. Well, this is a great celebration. Well done on your birthday celebrations. But what we're really hoping for, I'm sure, as a present, is to have a faster track time to move you up the table. That's what you want, isn't it? Yeah. Good. And um, Bertie, what has been the highlight of the competition for you as a team so far? Uh, right, as a team, getting feedback, because I think we were all very stressed out last night. Very stressful. I think the, um, the feedback we got has been immensely helpful, especially the enterprise feedback. So thanks to the enterprise judges. Uh, that was very helpful. That was really nice to have today. Uh, and we're just hoping everything else goes well. Well, hey, you can... In your circle of control, what can you control? What can you do? Work that out, and then everything else will fall into place as it's supposed to do. Well, we are almost ready to go racing. Uh, what would you say has been your highlight? Not hide and seek, but in the competition for F1 in schools, what's been the highlight for you? Uh, probably watching our car go along the track. That's been, I would say that's our highlight, just seeing how all the effort that we've put in has actually like come to something, really. Yeah, all of those hours of effort and work. Currently, velocity race at 1.286. Hoping to beat that now that you're in lane one? Uh, yeah, I think we beat it in lane one last time, so hopefully we can do the same again. Okay, well, we were watching eagerly as we go. Oh, hello, there is a movement up into ninth place for velocity racing, breaking the top 10. Love to see that. Here we go then. goes through. So currently Flo had a 1.299, but now they have a 1.284. So they improve. That is brilliant to see. And that would put them up into 14th place with that. So that's excellent from team Flo. Maybe it was the happy birthday singing and one man leaving. <laughs> that is, that's not what you want when you're singing happy birthday. Just one guy just got up and left. Furious with the whole situation. Let's go trackside. Fourth and final race for both of these teams. We're not ready to go yet. We're just holding fire. We are ready to go now. That is good to see. Oh, 
a 1.292 velocity racing. So no improvement there and no improvement for Flo with a 1.305. However, they already had two improvements. Flo are now in 14th place, a velocity racing, head up to joint ninth, exactly the same time as Bont Panthers, who are still yet to race. So velocity racing, you got what you wanted. The, the best bit of the competition so far was seeing all of the fruits of your labor, all of the hard effort on the track. You must be very happy with that. Uh, yeah, that's really what we were aiming for, to get like top 10 and seeing our car in ninth is, is just a big relief, really. Well, make sure you get a selfie in front of the leaderboard at the moment, you know, at some point, and then you can really post that. And well done to Harry for being the best hide and seek yesterday. That's fantastic from him. Uh, he's shared the secrets of everybody, hide in the cupboard. Uh, he's quite tall, so that could be, that's after you find a big cupboard for that. Uh, Velocity Racing, well done on today. Enjoy the rest of the afternoon. And Flo, final thoughts, you got an improvement. I think that's what we were looking for. Uh, I think top 15 is nice. That puts us, I mean, obviously we're within regulations, so that will bolster us a bit, hopefully. Um, so yeah, I think we're all happy with it. Piers, are you happy? He's Piers happy. is happy. The fun went up and nice. It sounded like you spelt it with three eyes. So well done on that, Bertie. Uh, we'll give it up for Flo. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon in the competition. Hopefully see you at the awards later on. Okay then, what does that mean? Well, we are almost at lunchtime, that's what that means. Sam Chapman is very happy about that. But what it does mean is we've got one final set of teams coming to join me, and that is Phantom Racing from Wilmington Grammar School for Boys. They're gonna come and join me. They like adversity. That is what it's all about, and they overcome that adversity. They're gonna be joining me on a different side today, just shaking things up. That's what we do. How are we feeling today? Uh, very good, thank you. Uh, what has been the highlight of today so far? Uh, today so far is probably the feedback we've received. We think that with our portfolios, we've done much better than we did last time. Um, just waiting for the scorecards now. So the, the improvement's already there. That's fantastic. I'm, I'm, yeah, that's what you've been told so far. Well, that is good to know. Phantom Racing to my left. And uh, we have uh, Chimera Racing. Here we go. They're coming in with their very snazzy jackets, looking very waterproof. They might get to use them today. Did I ask yesterday how the injury with the boot had happened? Good, sir. I think you did, yeah. It was a rugby accident. Oh, I didn't hear that. A rugby accident. Yeah, I was playing for the school team and didn't quite go too well. Okay, and so how long are you going to be out for? Uh, six weeks. That was three weeks ago, so I've got another... Oh, you're halfway there. Oh, halfway there. Chimera Racing, talk to me about the competition so far and how you are enjoying it. So it's been going really well so far. I think all of our judging has been quite positive. Uh, we had a decent session yesterday in the racing, and we're looking to improve on that today. All right, well, let's uh, wait no more as we head down trackside to see if they can improve on this. So Phantom Racing currently in seventh with a 1.256. Camera racing in 20th. Here we go. And it is an improvement for Chimera Racing with a 1.282. They were currently on a 1.299, so they move up. And for Phantom Racing, any improvement there? Yes, six thousandths of a second. So congratulations, guy. uh, guys. Uh, moving up to sixth place now. So that is fantastic. You've overtaken Inferno and Chim Chimera Racing going to 14th. So it's going well so far. Yeah, I would say, I mean, well done to Daniel. We're doing very well so far. Hopefully we can keep that up. And I like the fact that Daniel has gone shorts again. It can get too hot in the driving area, but doing a brilliant job. And who is your driver? Cayman. He's uh, got impeccable reaction speeds. So. Imp impeccable reaction speeds. And also an impeccable belt usage with the top underneath. Well tucked in. I like it. I know we can see. Look at that. Fantastic belt usage. Listen, that's not what this is about. It's about racing. We're about to go racing for our second race. Let's see if we can have more improvement from both teams. Felt fast, 1.251 for Phantom Racing. So that's one thousandth slower than their fastest one. But the reaction time, 
by Chimera Racing. Uh, not as quick as it could have been. That puts them to a 1.381, but they've already had an improvement and they'll be moving into lane one now. The speed in which the cars are whipped back from who? Your teammate. Daniel, my guy. Daniel, so you've got two Daniels. Uh, no. You've got a driver is called? Oh, the driver's called Daniel. I'm and the guy bringing the cars back? Oh, yeah, that's Alfie, that's Alfie. Alfie, the speed in which he brought them back. He's got places to be. And he is also another Lenovo uh, bottle user as well. So uh, make sure, if you haven't already checked out the stand over with Lenovo, Autodesk, and the Denford area as well, make sure you do that. So the cars are being swapped over. This is the last race uh, before we'll take a well-earned uh, break. And then we'll be back this afternoon at just before half past one. No, do apologize, 1.20. So make sure you're back here for about 1.15 to catch up uh, with the racing. In terms of the rest of the afternoon, what is in store for you before the awards? Um, I think it will just be like, we've just got to sit around. We're going to talk about what's happened and just take a bit of stress off of ourselves. Not really think about it because we've been very stressed over the past couple of weeks. I think it'll do us good to just relax and like after the event now, it's just, yeah, we feel like we've, we've achieved what we wanted to. I mean, this is our first year doing it. We feel like we've done brilliant getting to where we are now um, and hopefully we might get to Worlds, but yeah. I really appreciate that honesty. That's, that's where you are as a team, incredibly stressed for the last two weeks and now, yeah, you need to enjoy it, like enjoy the moment because it'll be all over. At the end of the day, you're going home again, back to school, and you're like, oh yeah, that just flew by. So yeah, as long as you can debrief, enjoy the awards, uh, and obviously go and meet some of the other teams and have a good chat with them. We're ready to go racing, so let's do that for the third out of the four races. And a 1.258 for Phantom Racing. So eight thousandths of a second, all around the same time. So the build of this car, very good indeed. And one thousandths of a second slower than their current best time for Chimera Racing. So getting that a bit of consistency just when you need it, trying to set the fastest time they can in the development class to get up to that leaderboard. Team traction, just phenomenal what they've managed to do with a 1.2. Three, six. All right then. Best of luck to both of the drivers to round out the first session of the day. It's a 1.244 for Phantom Racing. So an improvement again moves them way up the table. That puts them uh, in a really, really good spot. I think that puts them straight into third place. So Phantom Racing, all that stress is paying off. And Chimera Racing, uh, 1.268. So another improvement for them. Happy with that, Chimera Racing? Yeah, of course, it would have been nice to achieve a little bit more, but I think that's a pretty solid position to be in at the end of the session, so. Yeah, well, there you go. And um, what have you enjoyed most about the competition over the last two days? What have you enjoyed? Uh, the verbal presentation, definitely. That was really, really nice, yeah. And did you get good feedback from that? Oh, uh, yeah, we did, yeah. Okay, good. All right, that's good. Keeping your cards close to your chest, not showing too much emotion in your face. I like that as well. Well played, sir. I respect that. Uh, and what are you going to do between now and the awards? Well, I think we'll just take the chance to relax a bit. Yeah, it's been a... a Busy couple of days, it's a lot of fun, but yeah, chance to rewind, just, yeah, look forward to it. Absolutely. All right, well, that is exactly what Phantom are going to do. And look at that. Talk to me about that. Third place now. We are ecstatic about that. Like, that is a brilliant result. We didn't, well, obviously we wanted to get up, but we never would have expected it. Um, we had huge issues with the car before. Um, our designer had two days to create an entire new car body, which is a car we've just raced, and it's proved to be brilliant. So we're very happy with that. Oh, I'd love to hear that. What a great way to end uh, and round out this session. So uh, that is it for Phantom Racing. They've moved up to third and Chimera Racing making improvement to up to 12. So listen, the time 
you need to come back and join us. It's about 1.15. Make sure you do so. Get back here to watch more of the racing trackside here at the Lenovo F1 in Schools UK National Final. We'll see you at quarter past one. Take care.
and I'ma get it. You know I be on the way. Some money on the line, you better put it here. Rolling in and doing that work. Check priorities, I'm doing that first. Them checks big and I'm sure that that hurts. But it's checkmate, we ain't selling short, no to work. Ain't nowhere to hide. You ain't gotta see me come and keep me on your mind. Cause I be on the way.
We are back and welcome for you guys to come back and join us for the third installment of racing here at the Lenovo F1 in Schools UK National Final 2023 here at the fabulous Leeds University. So we had a brilliant morning and early afternoon section of racing and currently in the development class we have Team Traction who went straight to the top of the leaderboard. Will they be beaten? Well, we are going to find out as you can see on this amazing graphic made by the brilliant team at F1 in schools. If there is a checkered flag, that means they have raced and they cannot improve any more. So the likes of CHS Comet are still in with a chance, three thousandths of a second away from overtaking Team Traction. And I've been joined by Amy Martin, former alumni of Tachyon. Yeah, sorry for leaving you alone this morning, Tom. I thought you might, might like to have some limelight. Yes, I'm limelight. Thank you very much. I wasn't getting enough of it. Well, Amy, it's great to have you on board. We've also got Sam Chapman in the tech corner. We also have uh, team members from Team Nightingale going to be competing at the World Finals. Amber, Charlotte, also Harrier, and also from Honeycomb, uh, we have Lily and Sam. Although Sam, oh, there he is. Right. Anyway, enough of introducing you to the team. Let's get our teams up. So to start with, at a slightly later time, Neutron Racing are going to come and join me at the side here, they are bringing a mascot. Love to see it, here's Michael. Did you meet Michael yesterday? I, I did, uh, the, the, this is Michael. This is Michael, did you meet him yesterday? I did not meet Michael yesterday. Amy, this is Michael, Michael, this is Amy. Hello. Come and sit up. Um, this is gonna be quite a high seat for you, buddy, but I've got you there. Nice, who have you brought with you? Um, Teddy Neutron. Teddy Neutron, fantastic. And what is remarkable is Teddy Neutron is in the same colors of you, is it's almost as if it was meant to be Michael. Have you had a good day so far? Yeah. Okay, you can elaborate. What's been the highlight? Um, probably doing the uh, displays. Brilliant. And I see in front of you a cupcake. Is that just in case you do really well that you will um, eat the whole cupcake in one go? <laughs> no, it's for you. Oh, amazing. All right, I'll take that. Thanks, Michael. Right then, let's go racing and remind everybody of the driver for you. Uh, Jackson. Jackson. All right, best of luck to Jackson. Let's see if we can improve on the times set by Neutron yesterday, doing very well indeed. And away we go. Currently in 18th place, the team from Wales, Neutron, 1.293 is what they set yesterday. And that puts them in 18th place, watching a replay here, Amy. Top stuff, I'll share the cupcake with you. 1.260, guess what? We have an improvement. Neutron Racing doing very well. Teddy Neutron looks happy about it. Michael more so happy about that. Fantastic start. So moving up the table into the top 10, buddy. Look at that, you are the purple on that screen. Congratulations, do you reckon you can go a little bit faster? Uh, probably, yeah. All right, I like this confidence. Let's go back track side then, and let's get this race underway. And that way we go down lane one. Amy, just to bring you up to speed, I know you're always up to speed, but Sam had done an incredible um, sort of graph and display and TED talk, and uh, he found out lane one is indeed the faster lane. Uh, I never believe it, but if Sam's got the data and Sam told us it, then I think we have to. Whatever Sam says, I take as gospel. So uh, team member here bringing back the cars, please, Michael. Callum. That's Callum, and he's got a great technique there. Um, because of his height, he's had to lean across the TV and flick the cars back up the track. Doing a great job there. Callum. Bye, Callum. There he goes. Callum's gone back. Uh, right, we move now to lane two. Let's see if we can make an improvement again. But top stuff from here, from Neutron Racing. Um, racing on their own, on the track. Uh, what was the highlight of yesterday for you, Michael? Um... Probably the judging and the presentation. Yeah, and obviously yesterday, all the nerves. Do you come into day two with the same sort of nerves or are you much happier now? I'm a bit more confident. Oh, okay, based on how everything went, okay. And what other teams have you met? Because you're a bit of a fan favorite. Everyone was saying, have you met Michael from Team Neutron? I was like, yeah, I had a long, extensive chat with him yesterday. Uh, who have you met that you've really got on with? Um, I haven't really met anyone, but... 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Why have you not met anyone, Michael? Um, I don't know, but I've, I've been talking to people, other teams online. Okay, so you're more of an online person than in person. Well, can we change that, please? If you do see Michael, make sure you go over there, chat to Teddy Neutron first, and then Michael. And is social media something that you've really enjoyed as part of the competition? Yeah. What is it that you like most about the social media side? Um, probably being, like, to connect with the community and just tell everybody about what we've achieved so far. And what have you achieved so far? Is it just getting to the UK national finals or is there more on the way for you? Um, well, we've been to a regional finals and then we went to a national finals before this. Oh, wow. So uh, OGs in the game. All right, let's go down to Jackson on the track side. Here we go. Best of luck. See if we can make an improvement there. Up from ninth. Down it goes. The track, lane two. We have seen, seen some time improvements in lane two as we wait for those to come through. Team Traction did brilliantly earlier, Amy. They got through uh, up into the top spot. And here comes Andrew Denford. And there goes Andrew Denford. Luckily, we're in a replay, so he's got the hang of it. We can't believe it either. He's absolutely nailed it. Have you met Andrew Denford? Uh, no. Who's that guy there? Oh, he's gone now. Founder and chairman of F he, he came up with this whole concept. I'd get a picture with him for your, maybe your social media. I saw him after, but yeah. Okay, fair enough. All right, we're ready for the fourth and final race for Team Neutron, sponsored by Westland. And there we have it, uh, the fourth and final race for Team Neutron. Fan favorites online, a 1.289, so no improvement, still very good time set. So that means there is an improvement into the top 10. Is that something you'd hope for, Michael? Yeah. And what does it mean to you as a team to get into the top 10? It's pretty exciting because we're a year eight team and there's loads of we're going against loads of people way older than us. And that means you're like, do you think you're at a disadvantage because of that? Um, not really, no. Oh, well then it's all right then. Buddy, listen, top 10 for Team uh, Neutron, done a brilliant job. I'll let you go and join your teammates, Callum and Jackson. Well done and an uh, absolute pleasure to meet a Teddy Neutron as well. Thank you very much for the cupcake. Uh, there you go, Neutron Racing, they're out of here. They got places to be. They are into the top 10. But who will be joining them, Amy Martin? Well, it could be Celerity, who are going to be joining you on this side. Celerity, and you can introduce my team once they've sat down to join me on my side. I'll give you that, you know, limelight moment, as you call it. How was the pit display walk? It was very good. I met a lot of the teams. I know Celerity have got some lovely mugs that I was, um, I was promised. They've got lovely faces. Is that what you meant? I'm no? drinking mugs, Tom. Okay. Who is going to be joining me on this side, Amy? Um, I think it is... Bont Panthers. Come on down. They're going to be joining me. Uh, Bont Panthers have just kept themselves in the top 10, but this is a chance to cement that place uh, and maybe move up the table, whereas Celerity have it all to do. But hey, you know, miracles can happen, and I'm expecting one today. How are they feeling? They're currently bottom of the leaderboard, but it's all to play for. Um, not too happy about the car time, but, you know, at least it can't get worse from here. Exactly. The only way is up when you're there. Um, and we've got Bont Panthers. George is happy where he is. Look at him. George is settled. Is that what it's like working with George? Once he's settled, he ain't moving? Uh, yeah. Okay. And um, what was your role in the team? Uh, I'm a sponsorship manager, and I gather the sponsors for the team. So, is there any sponsors you'd like to thank with this moment? Uh, of our two... Cosgrove Brown and Macmillan. There you go. You've done an amazing job there. Well, sponsorship done and dusted. All thanks. Here's the moment where we can set an even faster time. Let's go trackside. Best of luck to both teams. It's quick, but is it quick enough? In lane two, you have 
the Bomb Panthers trying to cement that place in the top 10. Currently with a one point, two, six, four. Can it be beaten? And Celerity have their highest at the moment is a 1.471. And you know what? Celerity have done just that. A 1.424. And for Bomb Panthers, they are three thousandths. No, Bomb Panthers. They've been it one thousandth of a second faster. Add a few more of those and that would be absolutely brilliant. So there you go. Still bottom, but they've made an improvement, Amy. Not bottom anymore, Tom. What? See, the only way is up. Happy about how the race went? Yeah, it's good to see we're moving up in the world. In the, in the world. I think if you can do that every single time, you'll end up uh, at a good position. Uh, yeah, I hope so, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, we can keep hoping as we get to the second race, going trackside. Here we go, guys. Quick uh, reaction times from Celerity. A 1.247 makes it even more exciting for Bomb Panthers. That puts them up into sixth place, which is phenomenal. So getting closer now and brilliant work. The reaction time, a little bit of a gesture, punch of the air there for the teammates. Who is your driver today? Uh, Ethan. Ethan, and what has Ethan been doing last night to get himself in the zone for today? Uh, he had an early rest and we went go-karting to get... Whoa, 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 whoa. He had an early... And you went go-karting? Yeah, we all went go-karting to get... Where did you go go-karting and why didn't I get an invite? This is... Um, Amy, we didn't get an invite for go-karting. I didn't get an invite either, Tom. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's happening here? Start talking. Uh, we just went go-karting, had some fun. Yeah. Uh, Kobe set it all up. We went to team sports. Oh, amazing. And obviously, you don't have my social media, so therefore, you couldn't invite me. And that's fair enough. Did, when you went go-karting, did that just relax you a little bit and remind you, have a bit of fun, put a smile on your face? Uh, yeah, definitely. Oh, well, hopefully. And it seems to be working, and it continues to work. Sam, did you get an invite for go-karting? I didn't even know there was a go-karting track we could have gone to. No, no, I didn't, I didn't get an invite. I'd oh. love to have gone as well. Maybe we should do that. Hey, listen, we went ramen in. Yeah. <laughs> we did go ramen in, didn't we? Still uh, feeling it. We went to Japanese town and it was a lot of fun. Celerity, what did you do last night? Well, last night we just, just played some cards, went to bed early. You know, we have to be ready for the tournament today. Cards. Serious team here. Card sharking. Poker, rummy. Um, nothing that we shouldn't be playing. Just, just you know, family friendly. Cards. Yeah. Okay. No gambling. Cards against humanity. Is that what you're saying? No. Maybe? <laughs> no? No. Nope. Cheeky. Cheeky. Okay. All right. No cards. All right. Don't know what that means. Uh, I'm just going to walk away from that one. No cards, there shouldn't be. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Right, we're just getting gas canisters ready. The driver's having a right giggle with himself. Who is your driver again, Celerity? Um, our driver's Harry. Uh, he's our resource manager. Um, he was practicing his reactions last night to try and beat uh, his 0.15 from yesterday. Ah, do you know a good game for that? Snap. We did play a little bit of snap, but... Okay, not... okay, all right. Why is it so suspect, this conversation? I'm going to walk, I'm really going to end the celerity. Get them in the zone, the drivers need to relax. And hopefully they can set an even better time. Ooh, I'm only seeing one car go down. That ain't a full start from celerity. Didn't want that to happen, but a 1.266. So, Bomb Panthers, uh, that does not beat the previous best time they just set. It can happen. A full start. There's been a couple today without you, Amy. It I was, happens, doesn't it? I was keeping it? them on their toes. They wanted to impress. Doing great. Yeah, doing great. Here we go. So, Chapman's down at side. Whole team working as quickly as possible to send this car down. It's going to the other end of the track where it will be rested. I don't know if that's a technical term. It's just going to be just, just wait there. Get it out of the way. It has to go down because the other car is tethered on the same line, right? Yeah, just to save some time, I think they tether both the cars. And then, obviously, if one full starts, we've got to get it out of the way. OK, excellently done by Charlotte of the newly named Nightingales going to the world final. So here we go. Fourth and final race.
Good to see for Celerity. It gets down to the other end of the track, but no improvement on the time, a 1.433. They did improve their time to move up from 32nd to 31st, which is all good. And a 1.261. So yesterday, that would have beaten their best time. It will be updated. Bomb Panthers go to sixth place with a 1.247. Bomb Panthers, you've been racing at go-karting. How are we feeling, Ethan, after that race? Uh, good. That's it. You're just giving me good. Give me something else. Was it a bit of relief moving up to sixth? Um, yes, it relieved the nerves and kept us in the top ten, hopefully. Fingers crossed. And then you've got the awards to come later on. Are you feeling confident about maybe picking up an award to take home with you back to Wales? Uh, we hope so, but we don't want jinx it. No jinx in here, thank you. Bomb Panthers, how are Celerity are feeling? They moved up a place, moving on. Up. Yeah, I just want to talk to Harry, who was in charge of pressing the button there. So obviously a false start, not what you want to see, but how are you feeling? All, all right, you know, one five two and one five six was the uh, best ones we had today. That's that's fine by me. I mean, they're keeping track, so obviously there's room for improvement, and he wants to keep going. Keep, you're going to keep keep pressing the button. Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> He's well, the official driver, Tom. He is, and maybe not chatting about uh, card playing the night before will help him in the future. Right, Celerity, off you go, and Bomb Panthers, well done to both of you. Enjoy the rest of the afternoon before the awards, which are coming up at 4 p.m. That's a mental note to you guys as well to join us uh, for the awards, uh, which are going to be brilliant. It's always a nerve-wracking moment. Now, a team that have a brilliant amount of merch are who to join you? Uh, H Rock will be joining me. I saw them fixing um, part of their pit display this morning. I want to know what happened there. Oh, okay. Really? Just got to fix it. Yep. There was also another team, I think it was Radeon Racing, uh, that had a malfunction last oh. night. Things had fallen down, so maybe we'll ask them as well. H -Rock but they're not. Join me. They are not the team that are going to come and join me. We have Ion Racing from Kinva High School going to come and join me from the Midlands. Here they come. Over they march. Ah, oh, look at this. A little business card. What? Thank you very much. Uh, that's from Finn Beaumont, Finance and Socials. Where's Finn? I got your business card, Finn. Thank you very much, Finn. Now, uh, I saw Finn at breakfast, and he almost created something which was magical with a yogurt pot, fruit, and yogurt. It was remarkable to watch, wasn't it? I saw him for just a moment or two. Absolutely amazing. Is that what he does? He creates new things. He creates everything. Wow, Finn, what a guy. Uh, have you enjoyed the competition so far? Uh, yeah, I think a big thank you to you, Amy, uh, the other Tom, and everybody else that has been here, all the creators and all the amazing people, even the normal people that are just coming to judge. It's been a brilliant event. Um, look, whether we're the tortoise or the hare, we're 14, we're young, and for Pro Class next year with the new regulations, don't worry, we'll be back. Oh, I love that fighting talk and also leaving us with something uh, to ponder on. Well, listen, we'll go racing and then we'll get more of a chat with H Rock and find out about their pit display. And there we have it. Racing on a track 1.248 for H Rock, who actually, with that time, pushes them up an even better time than yesterday. The best time yesterday in 19th place was a 1.294. So, guess what? They move up. Brilliant for them. Ion Racing, a 1.351. Just to see where that puts them on the leaderboard. We'll find it. It's like a little challenge for me. They're currently in 22nd with a 1.315. So no improvement there, but there is time. Four hundredths of a second they need to improve on. We'll go racing for the second time. As soon as we get that clearance. And hopefully the teams can improve. A 1.255 for H Rock, so an improvement from yesterday's best time. So twice they've beaten yesterday's timing. And Ion Racing, a 1.312, which does, in fact, improve their time by three thousandths of a second, which is great to see. Uh, however, they stay in 22nd place. But you never know, anything can happen. So what's going on with this pit display? Did you over-dramatize uh, the uh, recovery and building 
Thank yeah, you. I have been told that I was being a little bit dramatic over the pit display. I have been assured by the team that it was just, just some Velcro, right? Uh, yeah. Yes, it was a bit of Velcro that just came off the sheet. I mean, not an amazing way to start the day, but it looks like it's getting even better. So I think if I'm right, you would have moved up to around seventh? Ninth. Uh, ninth, I think so. Yeah, we're going to move up to ninth. But we'll see the two more races left and the track varies, so... They are not too happy with just ninth. Uh, this is our first year, so we're not expecting much, uh, though we, we didn't reach to our expectations. Uh, we'll, we'll see what happens after the second race. I think that's our cue to say, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it, yeah. Well, as we get the cars changed over, um, loving the merch. Everyone's been loving your merch, your free giveaways. You've been like a kind of like a promotion store, giving everything away. These coffee cups, have you still got any of those left? Oh, uh, yeah, loads of that. You can come and Just get some. Come to our pit display. You'll find them. Okay. That sounds like a threat. <laughs> you come to our pit display. You'll find out. All right. That was aggressive, and I like it. I will come over, and I'll maybe pick up a coffee cup. That would be awesome. Uh, is there anyone that uh, we wanted to thank uh, from yesterday? You know, because you had all the nerves yesterday and now competing for the second day. Uh, yeah, uh, we really miss our teammate who is not here, Conrad. He's our first choice, and he's really, really fast on the trigger. Yeah, just Conrad, he's done the manufacturing, he's done a lot of work, and just a half a week before this thing, he couldn't come, so we really miss him. We really want to thank him, and uh, we want to thank the, the teachers and technicians back and college who helped us out in this thing. Thanks to Gary and all the technicians to putting the team together, and they did a lot of work for us. Lots of thanks to this team. I think we should say hi to Conrad. Yeah, we should say hi to Conrad. Hi, Conrad. And uh, come to their pit display, you'll find out. Yeah? Okay, guys, what have you most enjoyed about the competition as we get ready to go racing uh, one more time? What would be the highlight for you? Um, well, we were really worrying about the verbal presentation, but it actually went really well. So I'd say that's really nice for me, personally. And what about yourself? I don't know, just being here, not in school. Not being here, not in school. Do you know what? Well, you've smashed it. That's a great achievement. You're happy with it. Uh, and is it as you expected it to be, a national final? Yeah, pretty much. It's what I imagined it to be, action. Just, I don't know. Has to what will you do if you were up on stage and you win an award? I imagine you're going to pop off with some sort of celebration. Yeah, I probably will. <laughs> okay, I look forward to that. Don't get that into his head, says Liam. All right, we are ready to go racing for the third. Out of the four races, here we go. Look quick there, Amy. Get the confirmation of the times for both of these teams. h 1.298, so for them, no improvement. And for Ion Racing, no improvement there with a 1.370. However, they have improved their yesterday time at 1.315 by three thousandths of a second. So that will populate on the leaderboard very shortly. So that means there's one more race as you can see, it's just populated there. Seventh, you were right. Amy, you said I, seventh. I told you, seventh, you underestimated me. You happy? Uh, not yet, we'll see how other teams perform. They thought they were ninth. Amy said, I think you're seventh. They're like, no, 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 we're ninth. And then Amy provided that seventh place. They're still not happy, I like that. Ambitious, <laughs> they are. I never doubted you for a second, Amy. I was laughing a little bit, because you're never normally wrong. And then on that moment, but smashed it, well done. Yep, thank you, it's okay, it can count. <laughs> All right, let's go racing for the fourth and final time. One point two eight two. So no improvement from Ion Racing, but they did get a faster time by three thousandths of a second today. They stay on the two little ducks, which is bingo for twenty-two. So there you go. Uh, and one point three seven three, as I mentioned, a one point two eight two. So no improvement for H Rock from their current position, which is seventh. So there we go. But brilliant to have that improvement. Top ten for H Rock. That's that's fantastic, Amy. I have been told to ask a specific question uh -oh. again. Is there anyone else you would like to thank? Our sponsors, so Boss Racing, Content Dampers, Officeworks, Onshape, and Oxbridge College. There we go, see? It's, oh. oh, we're having a secret team meeting. Anyway, uh, one more. 
Ignite, so you know, they bought our coffee cups up here, and I'm glad they like our merchandise. There we go. So thanking everyone, including another F1 in Schools team. Nice sportsmanship. Ignite underscore HC did bring their coffee cup up, and it was well advertised. So well done uh, to the guys. Enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Finally, to the Kimber School guys, Ion Racing. There was an improvement of 3,000 seconds, so you've got to take those positives. Uh, yeah, I mean, as I said yesterday, and as everybody that I've ever talked to will continue to say, this competition is not always about speed and about the car. Look, there's a lot to come, and we'll just see in the awards ceremony how every team has done and see if we win anything. Yep, fingers crossed, and I'm, I've got fingers crossed for you now to see the pop-off dance moves from one of your teammates celebrating at the back, who is just happy to be out of school. So there you go, Ion Racing, H-Rock, we'll say goodbye to both of the teams. Uh, thank you very much, cheers, guys. I will head over to that pit display as much as I'm scared to do so, but I will do that. Right, Amy, who have we got coming to join you? But before we go there, how close is it at the top of the leaderboard? Well, I was just pointing out that currently, between third and ninth, well, third and eighth place, there's actually only one thousandth of a second between each of the teams. So we go from 1.244 all the way down to 1.249. So it's extremely tight at the top. There is nothing in this. It is so close. Sam Chapman, are you surprised at how close it is? I think yeah, considering all the teams are developing cars completely separately, it's, it's like the only thing that they've got in common is the, is the CO2 chamber. I think it is surprising when all the teams have, have very similar times, but it means that they're getting the most out of the car possible. I think it's especially interesting when you see development class teams bringing cars faster than some of the professional class teams. It means they're gonna, that, that next step, they're going to be there. Wow, throwing a bit of shade. I felt like that was throwing a bit of shade, but I mean that in a compliment way of how good these development classes are. So who have you got coming to join you, Amy? I have got a Rocket Raptors. So they'll have yes. a nice chat with them later. Yes, uh, they're coming over here. Rocket Raptors, a great bunch. Driver will be probably set into place. There's a mug coming. Don't say anything, don't say anything. I Who's gonna get it? Who's gonna get it? It's Who's gonna get it? Who's gonna get it? Oh yeah, Whoa, result. Oh, and there's more stuff as well. Thank you very much. A sticker. Oh, you've told me what it is. It's a sticker. It's a sticker. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Dylan. I really appreciate that. That's great. I appreciate you remember my name. Yeah. No, I, I, I did remember your name from yesterday. You're very memorable. Thanks. In a good way. Where's your hat, though? Uh, we'll come back to you on that one. So there we go, Rocket Raptors, looking good, on point with their merchandise, branding. It's all good. Look at that. They look great. Love the outfit. Look the in team identity. I have got joining me on my side. I have the Slipstream Motorsport coming to join me. Come on, guys. That is awesome. Look at that I've little mug. You've already got one. Well, that's probably why you didn't get offered another one. I've got a cupcake here. Slipstream Motorsport, how are we doing today? Uh, we're happy to be here. We're just getting nervous for the award ceremony later. Are you getting nervous for it? What are you going to do? Are you going to freshen up, uh, clean your teeth? Um, I think we just wait for it. Just play some F1 while we wait. Okay. Play F1. Where are you playing F1? In your pit, pit display? Yeah, we've got F1 on our pit display. So we're just playing that while we wait. Why didn't you tell me? I would have gone over there in my break times. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. You can probably set a lap time on Silverstone and maybe win a shirt or a hat. All right. Like it. All right, then. Let's go race it as soon as we can. We'll go down trackside. Who is your driver for Slipstream? Uh, Mox Doshi. He's our graphic designer. Okay, he looks he's in the zone. He's just getting the final instructions. We are good to go. Best of luck to both teams. So currently Slipstream in 14th place with a 1.268, hoping to approve on that. And then you have Rocket Raptors, all with the hats on now. Next to me, with in 29th place with a 1.381. So hopefully we'll have some improvements there. The team representing Wales to my left and the team representing England to my right. It's worked out personally with the, well, very well with the presenters. Yourself, Amy, you got the Welsh team there. Yeah, like you say, I always support the Welsh. Uh, most, most proud moment when Blackout got yeah. on the podium at the World Finals in Silverstone. I always support the Welsh, especially in rugby, because they're not doing too well, and in football. I do my best. You've got to support the underdogs, right? The underdogs? Yeah, come on. At World Cup. Anyway, we can go racing again. It's just time for the second race. Ooh, 
I've seen some action down at the other end. It looks okay. Lily just surprising the car out as gently as possible. A 1.285 for Slipstream. Not an improvement currently in 12. And a 1.395 for Rocket Raptor. So no improvements with those races. But there's still two more to go. So a teammate bringing the cars back very quickly. Who is your teammate doing that? Uh, it's Edison Zoy, our lead engineer. Lead engineer. And has he been happy with everything that you've seen on track? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Okay, you believe so. What did you do last night to recuperate after day one of competition? Um, we stayed up quite late and got some well work done, but I think eventually um, we got a good night's sleep. What is quite late to you? Um, I, two o'clock. That's quite late. Two o'clock. All right, I'm worried about your, uh, your bedtime on that one, but hey, it's the excitement of the competition. What was your highlight of the competition so far? I think so far it's been our verbal presentation. Um, we've definitely improved a lot since regionals. Okay, well, well done on that. So this team have improved since regionals and their most chatty teammate is not here up sat down. She's at the other, other end. Just gonna give her a wave right now. Not even getting a wave back, look at that. Sounds, seems personal, Tom. It does seem personal. Maybe it's because I said about the Welsh rugby and the football. Hey, there's a chance. You know, like you said earlier, when you're at the bottom, it's an opportunity to get back to the, to the top. Like celebrity racing. Exactly. And it's going to happen. I'm a big fan of, of, of Wales. I'm actually going to Cardiff. Not that, not far from now. Yeah, July. Hope you enjoy it. I will do. Now that I've said that live on camera. Um, how are Rocket Raptors feeling after the first two races? Let me know. I'm feeling quite confident in our ability to improve from yesterday. Feeling confident. We haven't seen it yet, but hopefully, hopefully a little bit of an improvement. Sorry, was that, was that rude? A little bit. <laughs> it's going to happen. We've got to have faith. Here we go, trackside to get racing for the third race. Come on, Rocket Raptors. It's quick. A 1.331 for Slipstream. No different change for them and a 1.418 for Rocket Raptors. So we're going to have to keep our fingers crossed for the fourth and final race to see if we can get an improvement and hopefully move up on the leaderboard, which can happen. Watching the replays there. So when you were walking around doing the pit display walk, um, I've done that in the past. It's a fun job, you get to chat, but there's no time at all to chat to the teams, is there? Yeah, so this is why I really like this part, because we can actually ask people what they think, ask what their favorite part of the competition is, and they can give us long answers sometimes. Sometimes. Um, but no, the pit displays looks absolutely incredible. I mean, I wish everyone who's watching online could come and see, because the w amount of work that goes into them is absolutely amazing. And they're already starting to take them down. I hope they've got a lot of pictures of them. Ah, oh, what? Unbelievable. We need to get cracking with the racing. Best of luck to both teams. Fourth race of four. Here we go then. There you have it. Oh, no improvement on the Rocket Raptors or for Slipstream. For some teams there are improvements, other teams there aren't, but fantastic stuff from both of the teams. Slipstream, hey, no improvement, but uh, to come up, race again, show what you're all about, have a little chat. Anyone you want to thank? Uh, I think definitely thank our teachers and everyone from the school who's made it for possible for us to get here. Amazing, brilliant stuff. Anyone else, any other little thank yous? Uh, we'd like to thank all our sponsors and then Reese, uh, who helped us manufacture cars and the teachers as well. Well, you've done a brilliant job. I'll let you go and be nervous now as you get ready for the award ceremony. I wish you the best of luck. And to Rocket Raptors, great to have you on board. I'm hopefully we'll be seeing you on the podium to collect an award at some point. So enjoy the rest of the afternoon. So Rocket Raptors and Slipstream are heading out of the arena now, Amy. And uh, it's a shame because I really wanted to see an improvement for both of the teams on their times, but not to be, it happens. Yeah, so um, the English are currently on top of the professional class board, so it'd be great to have either the Scottish or the Welsh on the top of this one. We would love to see that. We would love to see that. Here we go. So that is the leaderboard at the moment. Team Traction, can they be beaten? They went to the top of the table today by three thousandths of a second over CHS Comet. They're still to come. And the teams are stepping up for my team. I have got Radion Racing, and you have... 
uh, Samurai Racing. I got a lovely pair of socks from them earlier this Did morning. you really? I did. A pair of socks. Uh, I love that. So uh, let's get them over. Uh, who's going to come and join us first? That's the question. We'll get them over. I've got Raddy on Racing joining me. Come and take a seat, guys. You got announced. Looking forward to getting racing again? Uh, yeah, we're looking forward to it. Ah, oh, brilliant. And we've got Samurai Racing joining Amy over that side. Ah, oh, socks. Boo. Needed a new pair of socks. This is awesome. Thank you very much. Did you make socks? Uh, Do you know what? I've already got a pair, so I'm absolutely happy with that. I'm buzzing. Thank you very much. Ready on racing. Uh, how was day one of the competition? You've had time to reflect on it. Uh, yeah, day one was good for us. It wasn't obviously the best, but we can still improve on it. And then today, feeling confident that we'd get set a better time on that leaderboard? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty confident that we can. Hope. Hopefully. All right, we're ready on racing. Currently in 32nd place. The only way is up from here, so we can do it. And a change of driver, I see. Uh, let's see if that works for them. Let's go trackside. Let's get the first race underway. So we're trying to be a one point four four three to move them up the board and I'm seeing an issue there with Samurai Racing. Didn't go off, I believe. So ready on racing, a 1.426. That is an improvement uh, for ready on racing. So well done to them, a 1.426. That improves, they're now two thousandths of a second behind Celerity. Um, and that is an improvement and that's what we love to see. So we'll probably have to re-race in lane one. Did you see any of that, Sam Chapman? You didn't see any of that, but we might have to re-race because that car did not move from the start line. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was trying to get Amy a, a bottle of water that she asked for, so I, was, I wasn't watching. What? She's demanding water. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Oh, you've got to stay hydrated, but not on F1 in school's time. Thank you. All uh, right, here we go. So we probably will be re-racing just lane one. So here we go, Samurai Racing. Yeah, it's a nightmare when you're a bit thirsty. Uh, sometimes we always think we're hungry, but sometimes we're actually just thirsty. So um, yeah, try and get Amy a glass of water to replenish, quench her thirst. Oh, 1.270. What does that do for Samurai Racing? We're looking at the screen, hoping to find it by the time I run out of words. And it is an improvement by some distance, Samurai Racing currently in 18th place and getting a 1.270, puts them up by 16 thousandths of a second, almost 200. So there you go, Samurai Racing moving up one place. It's happening. Well, we were hoping with all the other cars improving, it'd be the same for us. It was a bit unfortunate we couldn't race the first time. Yeah, but getting to race again, we're gonna go into the second race now. Best of luck to Samurai Racing from Scarborough UTC following in the footsteps of other teams going to the world finals. Top stuff there, a 1.319 for Samurai Racing. No improvement there and no improvement on the leaderboard time, their best time for Ready On Racing. But they will move and change over lanes now. Uh, just in case anyone was wondering, uh, you saw on the replay there that Amy Martin has now been provided with a water, thanks to Amy Dawson, one of the team members of F1 in schools. Everyone gets a shout out who deserves one and uh, you ask, if you don't ask, you don't get, do you? I tried to do it sneakily and then someone announced it just through the live stream. And then what I thought we'd do is we'll see it to the end, like we did with the phone giveaway, not giveaway, uh, return of a lost phone um, and happy birthdays. Um, so there we go, ready on racing. You have made an improvement, but not enough to get off that bottom spot. That's what you're hoping for, right? Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. And uh, is there anyone you wanted to thank uh, so far to get this far in your competition? 
Uh, yeah, we do have to thank our teachers. They've been great with helping us with everything. They're probably somewhere here. After. They're probably somewhere. What? There you go. There you go. There you go. They're probably somewhere. They are there. We're happy with that. Right. Representing uh, Wales, we have Rally on Racing taking on Samurai Racing as we're just setting up now. A few little things being tinkered with, ready to go racing for that third race. Do you think, Amy, putting you on the spot, CHS Comet 1.239, all they need is three thousandths of a second to get onto the top of the leaderboard? Yeah, and as we see yesterday, it's very easy for a team to be there all day and then for it to get taken away from them within the last couple of races. I think you're referring to Team Epoch, and they were unable to overtake because they kept having breakages. That was a bit of an issue. Yeah, I mean, that's the other thing that I just might want to mention. A lot of the times we see that the cars can get faster the more they race. So it can either go one way, the car can get damaged, and then it can actually go slower the more they race. But sometimes all the car needs is a little bit of warming up, the bearings getting a little bit warm, um, just to make it go a little bit quicker. So that might be why we're seeing some faster times. All right. Well, we're seeing more teams come and support the Welsh uh, here, uh, ready on racing, hoping to get off that bottom spot. Uh, Amy was talking about which team is going to be on the top. Is it going to be an English team? That's also the question, who will be at the bottom of the leaderboard? But that's not what it's all about. It's about all the other aspects of the competition. And as we let Billy pick up the trigger and the team driver for Radion, here we go. Third race of four. And down they go. So the 1.282 for Samurai Racing. Not enough to affect where they are at the moment in 17th place. But for Ready On Racing, it is an improvement again. A 1.434 this time. So they're chipping away. They're now 100th of a second off Celerity Racing. So still time. One more race to go, Amy. Is it going to happen? You hope so. I think so, yeah. Yeah, I think so. There we go. All right, fourth and final race. It's a real heart in mouth moment, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> Samara Racing, a 1.314, no improvement for them, and no improvement for Radion Racing. So there was an improvement of a 1.3. Sorry, a 1.434 for Radion Racing. So that completes the four races for the guys. In terms of everything you've seen, still getting a round of applause for making a go. And your car is intact. Have you enjoyed watching the racing so far today? Yeah, I think it was pretty good, uh, especially moving up uh, 10 uh, points. Which is great to see. So well done. And driver, how did you find that? Pretty nerve-wracking. Yeah, I mean, uh, improvement on reactions, improvement on time. So yeah, quite happy with that. Well, I think you should be very happy with what you've been able to achieve. So that's Rally on Racing. What about Samurai? I'm going to go over to Billy Fields. Cool, calm, and collected as always. How are you feeling about that? Uh, very um, happy. We've had an improvement on the speed, which was slow yesterday. So that's all you can ask for. I think very happy over here. Oh, brilliant. Well, we'll say goodbye to Samurai Racing. Hopefully see you at the awards. And also to Rally On Racing. They're going to take their way, well, themselves away. Well done, Billy. Well done. I know. Walks with a swagger, does Billy Fields. Proper swagger. Like it. You've got to have a driver who's confident in their abilities. So we move on. Right, Amy, who is joining you on your side? I'll be having Red Eagle Racing. There you go. Red Eagle Racing. Go on, Amy, say it, say it. said with the longest laces. Yeah. I, did, we... I think I saw someone with um, yellow laces today that actually would think will give you a run for your money. What, Team Vortex? I think they have Team Vortex with the very yellow racers. Yeah, laces. they're still to step up here and see what they can do. Uh, they went and um, raced first yesterday, so I'm pretty sure, yep, yeah, double checking, they will be the last team to step up here. But the team about to step up and take on Red Eagle Racing and their own best time is currently the second team on the leaderboard in CHS Comet. So Cheadle Home School coming over, there they go, they're clapping themselves on board quite rightly. And we have our team joining us. So remind me of the driver again, who's got it all to do, is it Ben? Ben. Yeah, it is Ben, okay, so Ben, 
What have you said to Ben going into this moment? Don't mess it up. Okay, that's very kind of you and very polite. Uh, do you think that's going to help him? Probably not. Okay, well, I like that. Uh, have you enjoyed the competition so far? Yes. And you're looking forward to the awards. Do you think you might be in with a shout of winning one of the awards? Hopefully. Okay, we'll keep it positive. What's been the highlight for you, Lucy? Oh, highlight. What did I say the highlight was earlier? No. If you didn't hear that, lunch was the highlight. Racing, do you reckon? Yeah, racing. What was it like to see Team Traction overtake you on the leaderboard? Heartbreaking, honestly. Well, three thousandths of a second off. Best of luck to the team. Let's see what they can do on the track. Felt quick, 1.231. So, good, very good. Oh my word, it's just, it's just broken it. Oh my word, there is the announcement of 1.231 for CHS Comet. They're back at the leaderboard at the top. Look at that. I thought we might just prolong it a little bit. I thought we might prolong it. To... That is the uh, shout from CHS Comet. Get it on the gram, get it on the gram. Social media is going to go off. There is a breakage, though, I'm being told, by Sam. That won't worry them now. They've just got through to the top of the leaderboard. It happened. We couldn't believe it. Red Eagle Racing, they just had their best time as well with a 1.285. Yeah, quite right, Louis. I'll give you a shout out. If Amy's not going to do it, I'll do it. 1.285 for Red Eagle Racing. Yes. Also, why has Louis been dropped from driving? Uh, well, because um, Ollie, we did some uh, reactions, and ultimately, Ollie and I we were really similar. And uh, yeah, so uh, we wanted to give everyone. We, he was he was really quick. I was really quick. So we both decided to do one each. Yeah, and it's worked. It's worked. It paid off. Let's go race in for the second race of four. One second. Oh, right. Charlotte's just telling me there's some things going on. What's going on, Amy? I wanted to get racing again. I wanted to see it beaten again. So <laughs> three thousandths of a second off uh, going into this race, CHS Comet, and now they're five thousandths of a second up. Incredible. I believe they're clearing out the breakage. Ooh, let's I not talk about that. Let's ignore that for the time being. It's a positive vibes only. It's a 1.219, wowzers. That has gone even faster, a 1.219. You just cannot compete with that. Uh, it, we have 12 thousandths of a second improvement there uh, for the team. They go from a 1.231 to a 1.219. Phenomenal from Ben. Ben was told one thing, don't muck it up and he has done just that so lucy yesterday you were felt it, it was heartbreaking or well, today actually it was heartbreaking what does it feel like now get it on the gram yeah it's on the gram already so follow us at chs underscore comet chs underscore comet but you went even faster again is it capable of breaking that speed again well lane one's meant to be faster so you never know could happen. We'll find out about a breakage as well. Uh, I wonder which team has a little bit of a breakage to deal with. I believe it is CHS Comet. So a broken wing, I'm being told. Swapping in, swapping out. Uh, Carolina, you were down at the other end. What was that like to see the moment that you went even faster and back to the top of the leaderboard? It was, it was a really ecstatic moment. So yeah, I'm really happy. And I don't know if you know, but Lucy, it's got it on the gram already. Sorry, what did you say? It's already on the gram. It's on the gram. It's gone on your Instagram. Oh, it's on the gram. It's on the gram. Yeah, sorry. I'm not down with the lead. So it's on Instagram already. Yeah, it's, the competition's been a bit bananas. So, like, <laughs> yeah. uh, I didn't quite get that. But, yeah, I think the heart's just pounding a bit. And I didn't quite get you then. But, yeah. Sam, have you found the competition to be a bit bananas? It, it has, yeah, a little bit for sure. Like, uh, it's, it's definitely been bananas. Going on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's been bananas, hasn't it? Absolutely. Crazy apples. Crazy apples. Literally, the pineapple. It's been off the pineapple. Uh, it's been spiky. Red Eagle Racing having an improvement in their last race. So they're doing very well. And CHS Comet, just incredible. Uh, almost two hundredths of a second improvement. That's what we wanted. 
but now it's up for the teams like Red Eagle Racing to improve even more. Yeah, so we had a big sigh from Louis when he realized he was against uh, CHS Comet, but it's worth remembering that it's not just about the team that you race on track, it's about all the other teams here. So although they're at the top of the leaderboard, these guys have got their own fight. Exactly, to try and improve. Oh, we love to see that. It's already on the Instagram. All of these teams have got their social media, so if you are watching, uh, make sure you go and check them out, see how they've got here to the UK National Finals, thanks to Lenovo and Leeds University for hosting it. Dream, compete, achieve. That's their motto at Leeds. And I'll tell you what, some of these teams have dreamed. Then they're competed. And teams like CHS Comet, they've achieved. They've all they're achieved. Taking action, we're team traction. <laughs> taking action, team traction. Enjoyed that one. They were, well, they're still second. So it's a remarkable achievement. And I also see there's no investigation either uh, by the side of these top three teams. So they're being loaded up the cars. Ready to race again. Let's see if we can make Louis a little bit happier for Red Eagle Racing. Louis with his long laces. Oh Felt quicker. A 1.258, a 1.307. Red Eagle Racing, wowzers. An improvement again for them. A 1.258. That is a happy Louis. He is looking at the screen. He cannot believe it. That puts him up, he reckons, into 11th. So just outside the top 10 by two thousandths of a second. So again, more improvement. And they've got the opportunity to race one more time to see if they can do it. And as you see on the screen right now, the development class, that is the state of affairs. We have Red Eagle Racing racing right now. They're soon to have a checkered flag by the end of their uh, name and so will CHS Comet. And watching a little bit of a replay there. Just a little bit of a replay, maybe some more breakage. They're ready to go racing. We are good to go. <laughs> Felt quick. Felt very quick there. But is it quick enough to improve their times? Red Eagle Racing need just that extra two thousandths of a second to get into the top 10. And it's a 1.255 for CHS Comet and a 1.315 for Red Eagle Racing. So no improvement, but I tell you what, both teams improving and CHS Comet going to the top of the leaderboard. Final thoughts from CHS Comet. I'm over the moon. <laughs> over the moon. It's been a bananas competition and now they're over the moon. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, Lucy, final thoughts from you? Just shaking still. Anyone to thank? Uh, maybe sponsors, teachers, anyone? I think Mr. Tullock, wherever he is. Uh, help, yeah, there he is. Uh, well, and then ANSYS, all of our sponsors, ANSYS, uh, Succeed with Dyslexia especially. Well, listen, you've done your thank yous. Great to see you. And Red Eagle, Ra Red Eagle Racing improving as well. I've got to ask Louis, are you happy now? Uh, yeah, yeah, because, um, yeah, P11 from P21, like, that was, that's a huge improvement. I can't say we're expecting that, but that's that's really good. Sounds like a stat that Max Verstappen would be able to pull out, doesn't it? It is a little bit. 20 to P11. Yeah, and the fact he's led since the last couple of races, no one's ha been in front of Max Verstappen. It's incredible. Listen, uh, P1, our CHS comment, we'll say goodbye to them, and we'll also say goodbye to Red Eagle Racing. We'll see you at the awards. Fingers crossed you'll be picking up an award for the fastest car in the development class. Hey, the fun doesn't stop there. If you're thinking, that's it, mm -mm. no, it's not. We've given a chance for all the other teams who are still to come up here to improve their time and move up the leaderboard. Who have you got joining you? Uh, we have got another one of our friends from St. John's College. We have got Airborne joining us. Yes, here we go. Airborne are stepping up from Wales. Hopefully the car will stay on track and not get Airborne. Uh, they are joining Amy now, and joining me, I have Gearshift. Gearshift are coming to join me. They were sat down. Yesterday we had a brilliant moment. One of the team members was forgotten, but it's the first team member that I will announce. Holly is gonna come and join me as she is being absolutely hindered by the chairs at the moment. So here you go, Gearshift are coming to join me. Let's, uh, let's chat to Airborne. Have you met Constantine, Tom? 
I haven't met Constantine. This is Constantine. Tell us uh, about Constantine. Uh, lovely to meet you. So one of our sponsors, uh, Octopus Energy, gave us loads of mini Constantines, and this is our big friend, Constantine. Yeah, we're noticing that there is one just like on top of our camera there. there so is a little... we get to see Constantine all day. Oh, that is brilliant. So gear shift, here we are. I'm just behind you. I feel like I'm part of the team meeting. Here we go. What are we thinking? What are we hoping for? Talk to me. Hope we manage to win. Okay, I like that. We've gone straight in there. No mucking about. What are you hoping for? What is the current position you're in? We are position 30. I'm happy with that. It's been a pleasure just to be here and experience all this uh, competition. Well, I like that. So listen, whatever happens, you're happy. But I'd be happy if you were to move up that table. So currently at the moment, I don't know why we're whispering, but it's a 1.405. Let's try and beat that. Okay, here we go. So Airborne, Welsh team, gear shift, the team from England. Best of luck to both of the drivers. Gear shift, 1.567, so no improvement, but we already are happy. I mean, a fantastic reaction time. A 1.271 for Team Airborne. Is that an improvement? Up to 19th, I believe. I also just want to tell everyone, you've got the chance to win, Constantine. Uh, and how is that possible, Amy? If you go over to Airborne's pit display, they have a, um, a game. You can, you can tell me more about it. Um, so it's pin the wheel on the car. We've made um, wheels out of recycled uh, bottle caps that we collected from our school, and the person who gets it the closest wins, Constantine. And Constantine is lovely. If anyone hasn't had a little chance to say hello, she's lovely. So that is mini Constantine. Um, and I will just say, after shaking Constantine's tentacle that uh to say hello uh that uh, very soft it is a tentacle isn't it okay good just thought i'd double check on that right we can go racing again it's not a hand is it tom come on what's wrong with you we're just sorting something out so you can win constantine sam are you up for have you met constantine i've not met constantine no. yeah said he didn't want to mate didn't want to meet you um but i've had a word and they will make that happen would you like to win constantine i, I am a fan of Silly teddy bears. Yeah. Silly. Whoa, 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 whoa. What did you just say? A <laughs> silly, silly teddy bear. Silly in a good way. Silly in a good way. Oh, silly in a fun way. Silly. So how, how can they win again? What do you just, in a raffle? It's like a, a pin, a pin. It's like a pin the tail on the donkey, but it's a pin the wheel on the car. I saw it in my, um, in my little... My roundup of the pits. Oh, roundup of the pits. That sounds awful. Uh, <laughs> you rounded up people's pits. Weird. Right, I'll do the pit display next time, the walkthrough. Amy Martin, keeping it real, love it. Um, so who's the driver for Airborne? Um, you can tell me. Um, Lara, our team manager. Do you think she's doing a good job? Yeah, I think so. Seal of approval over here. Seal of approval. A seal and an octopus together. Here we go, let's go race in. Uh, 1.402, which means for gear shift, we have an improvement, which we love to see by three thousandths of a second. Well done. And Airborne, a 1.261, moves them into 13th place. There, Amy, again, there is really not much difference between team in third all the way down. Uh, not much at all. So Airborne, another improvement. The Welsh teams are getting closer to the top three. Yeah, like I said, these cars are getting hotter and they're getting, they're getting better. So can't wait to see what the next races hold. Ooh, there you go. So gear shift, talk to me. We had an improvement. That's brilliant. It's what we wanted and, well, it's great to hear. And who is the driver? Remind me of said driver with the Nike dunks on. Uh, same as yesterday, it's Connor, our team leader. Connor, the team leader. What makes him a good team leader? He's confident and he's guided us throughout this competition. That's brilliant. Is it something he was naturally good at before? Or has he found that within part, taking part in F1 in schools? I think he was naturally good at it. He's always been a, a good leader and he's always been friendly to others. Oh, well, that's good. In the spirit of the competition, have you got to chat to many of the other teams? I'm looking behind me, like in front of me, sorry, and all the pit displays, they're practically gone. It's like the competition's coming to an end. It does feel that way. We've still got the award ceremony uh, to go. Have you met some of the other teams that, that have impressed you, that you've really got to know? 
Yeah, San Mario Racing was a really friendly team. It was good chatting to them and uh, meeting them. Yeah, and uh, I really like their theme, that Samurai theme. Uh, so what makes you, in your opinion, stand out when you look at the other teams around? Well, we're a very tight-knit team. We're all friends here, and we have a very friendly relationship with our sponsors. Oh, well, that's brilliant. And who are the sponsors, just to give a thank you? Horton Automatics, Filter Mist, and Cedo. There you go. Perfect stuff. All right. Ah, we're getting to the end of the day. It's a sad moment. It's like it just builds up. Everyone is so excited. It starts so early in the first day. And then all of a sudden, it's coming to an end. And then you've got the awards. And then you think, have I done all I can? But I'm chatting to the teams, Amy. And they seem like they've put everything into this competition. I think the energy is going to go right back up when we all get on the stage and we see what they could possibly get, what they could be possibly going to with the world finals. Oh, a world final opportunity. So for development class, it will be the top team uh, that get the chance to go to the world finals. And for the professional class, it'll be a one, two, three, I believe. I look to you to say that with certainty and, and I feel the, And the home countries. Really? Yes, yeah, so there's always a Welsh champion and a Scottish champion uh, or an English champion. Oh, there you go. All right, Sam, what's happening over in the breakage area? I see David, I see Max moving about from F1 in schools. Yeah, there's some, uh, some, some work going on the, on the tether line guide. So the, the part that keeps it strapped down to the track just to make sure it doesn't, it doesn't come flying off. It's, it's something that we normally check during scrutineering. There's a, a penalty uh, potentially if, if something doesn't seem safe and it has to be fixed. Uh, but it, it made it through that. So it's fine. It's just wear and tear from, from the racing itself. So. Well, the ever-reliable Connor, who's the team leader for Gearshift, has uh, given us the signal, because I'm part of the team now, uh, has given us the signal. That's a big relief for me, actually. Thank you very much, Connor. Thank you. He's a good team leader. He's friendly, and uh, he gets the best. He knows what to do. Uh, he has made sure that we are all good to go. So Airborne taking on Gearshift one more time. The English team, Gearshift. And where are you from in England? We're from Telford, Shropshire. Oh, okay. Lovely part of the world. Lovely representing. Um, Sam, just out of curiosity, we've got a fridge here, but it's not a fridge. I got told a technical term for it, this fridge that keeps the gas canisters in. Yeah, it's a, it's a reptile egg incubator, I believe. Sorry, just say that one more time. A reptile egg incubator. Incubator, that's correct. That is unreal. So um, it's just, it's sort of like insects and, and everything friendly, you know, amphibians, the full works. We've got everything here. Right. Let's go racing for the third out of the fourth time. Gear shift in lane one. Can they improve on that time? It's a no for the first time at 1.426. Wait a minute. No, still no improvement there. At 1.275. No improvement for airborne. So. The reaction time helping gear shift as best as possible from Connor, doing a brilliant job as team leader, doing all he can. And then it's just down to the manufacturing of the car, the design down that track. So one more chance, Amy. One more chance and here we go. And there you have it, 1.284, so no improvement for, whoa, 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 1.284, no improvement. And a 1.441 for gear shift. Whoa, 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 I'm gonna do it every time. Uh, here we go, gear shift. You did have an improvement of three thousandths of a second. Uh, you are still in 30th place, but overall, you've gotta be happy with everything you've seen on the track today. Yeah, of course, it's been great today. It's been great to meet everyone and just look around. Well, you've done a remarkable job. You've represented your team and all of your sponsors really well. Great to chat to you. And of course, oh, Constantine could be up for grabs for some lucky person in this room. Yeah, and I'm going to apologize on Sam's behalf for calling Constantine silly. I think she's lovely. And I'm going to go, if I have time, to go and try and win her. Okay, yeah, that's it for the pit display. Still available. All right, airborne, gear shift. Away you go as you leave uh, the stage. Um, Myself and a oh wow, thank you very much. Do you know what that looked like? It looked like a biscuit. You know, like those biscuits you can get to, but it's a key ring. Thank you very much. I was about to embarrass myself live on stream by trying to eat a key ring. It does look like one of those biscuits, doesn't it? 
looks lovely. Um, um, um. Right, here we go. We're getting towards the end. It's the business end now as we welcome two more teams up onto the stage. I know my team, but who's your team joining you? I've figured out how the sheet is working. Tom, I have got exhausted racing. Here they come, refreshed from lunch. They may have gone to a popular fast food chain, which wasn't the five minutes away they thought it was. Uh, chat to some of the team. They had to rush bag with, back with the bags, fresh from the fast food joint that begins with an M and ends in McDonald. So here we go. Um, we will welcome up the team. Torre Veloce from St. Olaf's Grammar School. Big round of applause from some of their fans. They will be joining me. Come on in, guys. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit down again. Come on, it's been a long day. The excitement of this. Tori Veloce, how are we feeling going into this final race of day two? Well, I'd like to say we have not been winging anything. We've been working very hard, so I feel like we're very confident today. Oh, no, it's yours now. Oh, right, okay. So, should, what should we say? What do you want me to do? I'll take it back. Um, there we go. Thank you very much for the thank yous from Tori Veloce. Absolutely smashed that. I gave you the moment. That was your moment. How are you feeling about uh, the competition? What has been the highlight for you? Probably the verbal presentation and the enterprise. We did very well on both of those. We got, uh, they said that enterprise is probably one of the best ones in the competition. So we're quite confident that we'll get good marks on those. And I love the uh, team design. You've got a mixture of a couple of F1 teams. Uh, the ball there, definitely a red ball. Currently in 10th. Fingers crossed you can improve on that. We'll find out how exhausted racing feel in just a moment. But we can go racing as soon as we get the signal. And then we will get going to see if exhausted racing, racing can improve on their current fifth place. So 1.259, no improvement there for Exhausted Racing and no improvement for Toy Veloce, 1.262. Amy, you've got a lovely pair of sunglasses that have been handed to you. I have been adopted into Exhausted Racing. No, I asked to see them because I heard one of the team members say they were quite difficult to see in and I can't really read the leaderboard, it's not going too well, but these are, these are incredible. Do you know what? They add us something extra. They're definitely a conversation starter. Uh, everyone should have a pair of these, shouldn't they? I mean, they, they look amazing, but I think I'd be distracted by reading. But no, I agree. They are very difficult to see in, but amazing time from Exhausted Racing going into fifth. Fifth place, a 1.246 Exhausted Racing. Uh, guys, I'm curious to know, how have you found the competition? Uh, is this your first entry into the competition? This is actually our school's first entry ever into the competition. Uh, we, we, it's been good so far. Uh, we're looking forward to awards later. We hope to see Wimsley High in this competition in the future. Uh, we've got some teams coming up. We've started some new teams. And uh, Wimsley High is definitely here to stay, I think. Well, I think that is remarkable. Setting a great foundation. We can go racing for the second race. I'm sat with Torre Veloce, hoping that they can push up that table. And there you have it, 1.256 for Exhausted Racing. That improves nothing for them, unfortunately, uh, while in lane one. And a 1.312 for our team, Torre Veloce. Uh, so still no improvement for either team. Torre Veloce will now move from lane two to lane one. I think it is brilliant though, if your school hasn't competed in F1 in schools before and you are setting such a strong uh, foundation and saying, hey, this is how well we've done. And that's great for the future teams to emulate. Yeah, I think it's really about kind of carving a path. As you said, that we have some teams that are um, from the same schools that have been here for quite a while. Uh, it's quite good to shake them up and get some new ones involved. Definitely, definitely. And they've done a brilliant job, uh, even though they have struggled to see out of their glasses. Other than that, they've done remarkably well. And we are looking forward to getting racing again as we see if we can make any improvements. Torre Veloce, what's been the highlight of the competition for you? What have you enjoyed the most about this? I think like the overall experience and like the atmosphere, it's been really good. Um, yeah, 
Yeah. D describe that atmosphere. I'm going to pass you the microphone because I know I know you like the microphone. But in t describing that atmosphere and what it's like to be here and, and be amongst other teams. I mean, in terms of meeting other teams, uh, we found that very valuable and we made lots of friends. We like to shout out H-Rock Racing. They gave us so much valuable information and they're really good friends for us now. Well, that is brilliant. And they had some great merchandise, didn't they, to give away? Oh, coffee cups as well. I hope they haven't taken that display away. H-Rock, I still need that coffee cup. Oh, you're the best, H-Rock. They're amazing. They've actually held it. They're, honestly, you can't see behind, but the whole place was illuminated with all of the team branding, team identity, and now it is back to the empty pit displays, uh, which is which is it, like so quick. All of these teams have got to get back home, ready for the weekend to start. Uh, and as some of the teams have said, uh, they have enjoyed uh, being out of school. We're seeing some people. I hope everyone on camera is supposed to be where they're supposed to be and they are not skiving. You are now on camera. A few little cheeky waves. We like to see that. A few beach balls being thrown about, uh, which is brilliant to see. So, CHS Comet still top of the leaderboard. Team Traction in second place and Phantom Racing in third. Can any of those places be up for grabs from two of our teams, Toy Veloce or Exhausted Racing? I wish them the best of luck. A 1.261 for Exhausted Racing. That does not improve their time, but a 1.273 for Torre Veloce still does not improve their time. So there's one more opportunity to make an inroad into that top 10 and change things around. Here we go, we're getting towards the end. I love the awards, Amy. I love the awards when they come up four o'clock. I love the build up, the excitement, the adrenaline. You start giving out some awards and when it gets to the one, two, three, that is the moment that I, I dread as a host because you look out towards everyone who didn't get on that one, two, three podium. And it, it sort of breaks my heart in some respects, but I also know that everyone in the room knows how much effort and teamwork and time they've put into this. They've all, they're all winners to get into the national final, but there has to be it has to be that podium, doesn't it? Yep, someone's got to win, but I wonder who's going to win this race as we go trackside. <laughs> and there you have it, a 1.254 for Exhausted Racing. And that, no, still no improvement, a 1.298 as well. No improvements, but a pretty uh, similar times set by both cars. Toy Veloce, that is it. The four races done and dusted. I was, I was had my fingers crossed right in the team area with you, hoping there could be improvement, but happy overall? Yeah, we're still happy. I mean, there are lots of other aspects of the competition, so we should be good. We should be good. We were kind of hoping there would be improvement, as many of the other teams have improved today, but it's fine. Yeah. Not to be. We move. We move. Um, you've got exhausted racing with you. No improvement for them in terms of their times. Yeah, either. I want to ask if they're still as exhausted as they were on the first day. How are you guys feeling? Yeah, still <laughs> tired now after two days, but I'm sure we'll manage to push through the end. <laughs> yeah, and also I think very happy about fifth, yeah? Yeah, I think that puts us in a, a decent position overall. And excited for the awards. Yes, and they had a fantastic lunch, so I hope they are uh, feeling full from that. Uh, we will say goodbye to Exhausted Racing and to Torre Veloce as we move through the second set of races. Well done to Torre Veloce and Exhausted Racing. Okay, big moment now. Uh, big fan of this team. Yesterday they brought us some origami in the form of a hammerhead shark. Who have you got joining you, Amy? I have got HMR head on my side of the track. Whoa, that's them heading through from Haberdasher's Boys School. They're joining on this side. They're pumping the air. There's waving going on. The driver is in place. He's ready for this. Oh, what? There's another bit of origami. Don't look too excited. I get one this time. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at much. that. Oh, Thank wow. you very much, HMR head. How are we feeling? 
good, thank you. Yeah. There is Casper right at the front today. He is happy about this. He's excited for this race. And who is going to be joining him on my side? Let's find out. It's Inferno from St. Olaf's Grammar School. Ooh, here they come. We might need to offer out a seat. Let's find out. Will we need to offer out a seat? No, I think we're all right. This is a result. We can carry on sitting. Uh, so guys, how are we feeling going into this second set of racing? Feeling all right. You know, everything's been going really well. Don't want it to mess up now. So yeah, feeling relatively confident with this. Brilliant. And uh, what's been the highlight of the day and yesterday? Uh, I think just meeting all the teams, speaking to people, seeing everything that's out there. It's been great. Yeah. Perfect. Well, listen, we can go racing. Wait is over. Let's go racing. It's quick, but is it quicker to improve the time? So 1.249 for Inferno, and it does improve their time by five thousandths of a second. So well done to Inferno. And for HMR Head, who are in 18th, no improvement of time for them so far. And in lane one. So interesting that there wasn't an improvement there. They've got a 1.269. So already we've had a five thousandth of a second improvement for Inferno. Yeah, and we'll say again that that, um, that side of the leaderboard is very close. So I can imagine Inferno will be inching up a couple of places. Oh, itching up a couple of places. We look forward to that as we can go racing again. Felt quick there, 1.241 for HMR Head, and that is an improvement for them, doing brilliantly well. That has put them up into third place. Wow, HMR Head, 1.241, but an improvement for Inferno, maybe a 1.257? No, they stay in ninth place. That is phenomenal, the jump there, Amy. Thank you, uh, we're really surprised, we're really happy, and uh, we, yeah. I think you can go even faster and get even higher. We hope so. Maybe lane two is better today. Maybe lane two is better today. Sam might be wrong. Sam could be wrong from the data yesterday. We will find out. Sam, have you got time to do some number crunching? I'll get it ready for maybe the award. <laughs> I was trying to put him on the spot. He was about to say, yeah, I can sort that out. There was no chance he'd be able to do that. So listen, um, I'll tell you what, Inferno, hoping to improve a little bit at 1.249. So sharing your joint ninth place now with Tachyon, who has still yet to race, but I reckon you can go even faster in lane one. Yeah, probably. The lanes, uh, it's quite hard to tell which lane is going to be faster. So hopefully we'll see after these two races and looking to improve our times. Uh, what have you enjoyed most about the last two days of competition? I think meeting so many cool people from different teams and previous F1 competitors and judges. We've gained so many insights. Yeah. Um, you didn't mention any hosts because I didn't compete and I'm not a judge, but okay, I, I appreciate it, Inferno. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not, milk I'm not even looking for it. Uh, but no, that's amazing that you got to meet so many people. And I guess if you're going to come back and pr compete in the professional class, then you'll get to stay in touch with these people and share ideas. Is that something you'd like to do? Yeah, definitely. Okay. And how was the social media for you guys? And how can people follow you and see what you've been able to do? So they can go on our Instagram, which is our main social media platform. It's just Inferno Racing. Perfect. Nice and simple. You've got to keep it nice and simple to be memorable. HMR Head have done an incredible job of jumping into third place, but see if they can improve their time again as we go racing. A 1.257 for Inferno. And still, it's exactly the same time that they set just a moment ago in the other lane. So maybe it can improve their time. And HMR Head, a 1.278. So interesting that their car A is definitely different in terms of the speed and times that it can set. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's where we go to Sam the stat man. But um, I definitely think that car B is a little bit quicker than car A. Do you guys agree? Yeah, I think it, uh, during manufacturing, there must have been something we did to Car B that increased its speed overall. 
So it's interesting to see that they have very different times despite. And that is why it's so important to make sure the manufacturer is as, as similar on both of the cars. Well, let's see if we can get faster time set. Here we go. A 1.2504 in fur, no, oh, one thousandth of a second slower. That is remarkable, frustrating, a very fast reaction time from HMR Head. Uh, thoughts on that? You, you had a good time, you improved in that first one, first race today. Ninth is where you stay for the time being. Yeah, I think it's uh, pretty good. And there's so many teams competing this year in dev class. So I think we did good, so hopefully we can yeah, hopefully looking, to, looking forward to the rest of the competition. Well, I think you've done a brilliant job. So, guys, uh, what are you going to do now before the awards? You got to, have you dismantled your pit display? Yeah, so we're probably going to watch Tachyon's race, see how they get on, and talk to other teams. Brilliant. That sounds like a fantastic plan. Well, I wish you the best, Inferno. And uh, these guys, Amy. You, you look very happy. I think you want to tell us something. Uh, well, I wasn't expecting us to go straight from like 16th to 3rd, so I'm very happy with the results. Never know what could happen. They might even go even quicker. And that's on the screen there. That is our, the mascot that might be giving them just a little bit extra luck. Yeah, and the best thing to do is give you the best gifts and then they will achieve. Right, we say goodbye to HMR Head. Congratulations, that was brilliant to watch. And of course to Inferno, they make their way out of here. No worries, a pleasure to chat to you guys. A few handshakes around. They couldn't believe it, Inferno, when HMR Head went from 16th up to 3rd. That was remarkable, and we got to witness that live on the stream. Right, who have you got joining you, Amy? I believe I have Pocket Rocket from Prostatin High School joining me on my side. Whoa, 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 Pocket Rocket, the three, the mighty trio coming to join us. And George set some phenomenal times yesterday. He got quicker and quicker and quicker on his reaction time. And look at this. What? Freebies. Whoa. Thank you very much. Look at these. Oh, a little ruler there. That's, That's brilliant. Lovely. With the mushroom-esque mascot there. Love it. Uh, Pocket Rocket, great to have you back. These are brilliant items. Uh, definitely go and check them out in their pit display that they have dismantled. So there was no time. You missed it. I would like to welcome Tachyon up on stage with me. Well done, guys. Here's the moment. Let's see if we can improve. They are currently in ninth place. Uh, there we go, guys. And Pocket Rocket sit at the moment where Amy, this is the moment we look at that leaderboard and hope... That 27th, I've been told, 27th. 27th, yes, the Welsh team, Pocket Rocket. All right, let's get going as soon as we can. Tachyon, how are you feeling today? Yeah, really good. Uh, well, careful. Um, we've, uh, I think, re results have been good, but we've been really networking with everybody, and there's actually this thing, could I make, ask a favor of you? Yeah, okay. So we've been doing the thing with all the pit display stands where we are doing the thing called... Uh, the tachyon power pose. Okay. Uh, could you do it for our social media, please? I'll show it to you. Yeah, what, what do I do? You, You're always going to show it to me. You get, you get your left hand like this. Yeah. Your right hand like this with two fingers up. Yeah, cool. And just look at the camera. Yeah. All right, cool. Thanks. You're welcome. Didn't ask you to do that, did they? No, I'm, I'm, I'm a different tachyon. I've uh, got my allegiance to tachyon. Oh, yeah, don't bring that up with Amy. Her old team used to be... Oh, thank you very much. Uh, so there you go, tachyon, doing a great job. We are ready to go racing. So let's do just that. Best of luck to both teams. So Tachyon needed to get beat uh, their 1.249 time. They're currently joint ninth with Inferno, who we just spoke to. Watching us all on the screen, a 1.276. So no improvement for Tachyon. And what about Pocket Rocket with a 1.338? That is exactly the same time that they set yesterday. Not a thousand second out of place. They are hoping to move up from 27th. Um, we will go racing for the second time of this car in this lane.
felt quake. Was it quake? 1.273, probably no improvement. But for Pocket Rocket, yes, please. Thank you very much. I'll take that all day long, 1.273. It's a huge improvement. Pocket Rocket move up seven places. I mean, we got a little smile, but happy about that? I'm very happy about that, yeah. Well done to George, though. Shout out to George, the driver. Shout out to George, the driver. 1.284 for Tachyon. So no improvement at the moment, but they will be moving into lane one. So let's hope they can go even quicker. Am I right in thinking that Pocket Rocket traveled all the way back to Wales last night and then back again for today's competition? Uh, yeah, it was a very long journey since there was a crash on the motorway. So we had to go round Liverpool. So we're back at nine o'clock. Prostatin's worth it, Tom. Uh, my grandparents live in Prostatin. Do they? Yeah. Oh, it's a, is it a nice place? Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, it's a very nice If place. I was to go there, what would be the one thing you say, you've got to go there? I think the beach, in my opinion. I like the beach, too. I think my granddad's cheese toasties. Okay, all right. Well, get a cheese toastie, head down, and then go straight to the beach, which is the classic go-to-the-beach snack. <laughs> cheese on toast and to the beach. Tachyon, uh, what's been the highlight of the competition for you? Uh, I think our verbal presentation, that was really just a moment where we could bring everything that we had done together over these months, especially because we've had trouble doing everything together around our exams and everything. So just bringing it all together as a team, that was great. And did you get the judges to do the power pose? Oh, no, we didn't. Uh, this is a very day two thing, so no. Oh, it's a very day two thing. It, f it feels day two. It feels like you thought about it last night. How did you unwind uh, before coming back for day two? We didn't really. Yeah, we watched that. We just watched the video back, the live stream back in slow mo, just see if the wheels were turning. Just watched, just basically watching, see what was happening. But so picking up wherever you could to make improvements. I like that. And out of all the teams uh, that you've met, has any team stand out for you? Because I know that with Tachyon, uh, you are all from St. Olaf's Grammar School. There's a lot of you, but have you mingled with other people? Oh, yeah, of course. So um, particularly Team Vortex, they're the people we raced first. Uh, Airborne, we, uh, and also Tamwen in, um, in Professional. Oh, well, there you go. Lots of people to meet, lots of memories made. Let's see if we can make some more by moving up that leaderboard. A 1.292 for Tachyon, no improvement, but there is still another race to go. It's so fascinating how it works for some teams that there's an improvement and other teams there isn't. 1.308 for Pocket Rocket. They didn't need to worry about that. They moved up seven places from 27th to 20th. They're in the top 20 of these teams, which is a brilliant achievement. So one more race left, and then we have our final race on this stage, and that is Team Vortex, all the way from Edinburgh. And I can see they may have brought us some presents, Amy, but I'm not gonna say what it is just yet. Here we go, let's go racing. It's quick, but is it quicker? 1.301, so no. Not quicker, Tachyon, hands over face in that kind of disappointing uh, feeling. However, still top 10 Tachyon, got to be very happy with that. I mean, yeah, it's great top 10, but we were third yesterday, so it feels like a bit of a letdown, but um, yeah, we'll move faster, definitely. Well, listen, uh, the competition is not just about the car and the races, there's so many aspects and elements to it, but I think you've done a brilliant job. Uh, and uh, what we do now before, now and the awards. I, I don't really know. I just Probably get some more power poses, surely, yeah. for social media, yeah. Networking, yes, from the driver. Networking, networking, networking. Um, that is kind of like Kirsty Allsop's, uh, you know, location, location, location. But for F1 in schools, it's networking, networking, networking. How are Pocket Rocket feeling, Amy? What was that? How are they feeling? Oh, how are Pocket Rocket feeling? How are you feeling? Uh, tired, a bit nervous, but I think, I think we can pull through. Excited for the, the final race. Are you going to be, what are you going to do before the awards? Um, just chill out. We're very tired. These do not want to network, Tom. They no, they, no they they, they're tired. Out. They can't network. When you're tired, you can't network. Uh, listen, give it up for Tachyon and Pocket Rocket. They are going to leave and do some more networking and chilling out. They head off now. Well done to them.
And cheers, man. Thank you very much. There they go. Tupperware in the pocket there. I respect that. That's what camo pants are for. Right. We've waited to the last moment. Uh, when we get down to the last race of the Lenovo F1 in Schools UK National Final 2023, we are going to have a massive round of applause, but we need to get there by welcoming the team on. And it's Team Vortex. So here they come. Bring in their very long yellow laces. Oh, look at this, sugar-free, iron brew. Thank you very much, that'll do. Uh, Team Vortex business card as well. So if ever I'm up in the Leith area of Edinburgh, I know who to contact for my iron brew fix. Uh, guys, how are we feeling? Last team to race, you've waited so patiently, you've destroyed the pit display. That is down. How are we feeling? Very excited for the racing. We're gonna try and improve on our time. Well, hopefully that will happen. Let's not waste any more time. Let's do it. Let's go racing. Okay, so here's the situation for Team Vortex. They currently are in 22nd place. They are the last team to go racing, and they've got a 1.28 set. 8.6. So I was just looking at the scoreboard there. So immediately, that is a faster time by one hundredth of a second. Well done, guys. It's looking good. Hopefully, can improve it even more. Yeah, we're very relieved that we got a faster time, uh, and we're really happy that we can bump up some places in the leaderboard. Bump up some places. They will need to improve by another two thousandths of a second to overtake flow and get into that top 20. It's down to the driver with the reaction and the car. Fingers crossed. Team Vortex, it looked quick. It looked good. Can they beat that 1.286? Let's find out. We're all waiting. Ooh, it's a 1.301, so no improvement. But the reaction time can't really do much better than that, unless you, of course, for one of the teams that had a 0 0.044 reaction time, which was just exceptional. So the cars come down. Amy from Team Vortex is bringing those cars back, passing them back. They'll be crossed over the lanes. Uh, how have you found the competition then? Break it down for me. Yeah, it's been good. We've felt confident in everything we've done, and it's been exciting. It's been a good couple of days. And I have to give a war, an award to you guys for being first on site both days. Uh, what, what do you put down that? Why were you here first every time? You just wanted to get there. There was a phrase that you used, early bird catches the worm from your driver. Yeah, Fogo has a lot of phrases, and that's one of them. <laughs> One of them, one of many. Uh, and how is he staying uh, calm and collected throughout this? He's been practicing his reaction times, getting good, and yeah. Okay, all right, so, and then there's the Edinburgh travel back after the awards tonight? It is, on the train. How many, how many hours is that up to Edinburgh? About three and a bit, so it's not too bad. Three and a bit, it's not too bad at all. All right, so Fogo is just, Fogo is just having a little sip of water, staying hydrated. A driver, you must stay hydrated. Uh, as we get a, a close up there, as he just <laughs> makes a few faces, he's in the zone. He's in the zone. He's been told to get out of the zone and back into the zone. All right, Team Vortex, here we go. The penultimate race. Even quicker with his reaction time of a 0 0.160. But has it helped the car cross the line quicker than their current fastest time of 1.286? It does another 100th of a second, which means that 1.76 pushes them up into 21st place. So now they are just three thousandths of a second off getting that moment. So everybody, this is the last race of the Lenovo F1 in Schools UK National Final 2023. So let's have a massive round of applause. and let's go racing. Not sure whether that was quicker. 
just by watching on the track for the last two days. But let's find out if that can beat the score. And the answer is there's no movement. A 1.276 is the best time that they could set. Team Vortex, never easy, waiting till the very end. But I want to ask you now, anyone you want to thank, any teams that you've sort of impressed you and, and stood out. And can I say a massive thank you for the Proclaimers? I didn't know there was more than one song. So that is amazing. It's a whole album. I'm a big fan of now. There was another team, Louis, that went to see them live only one month ago. But who would you like to thank? Uh, we'd like to thank our main par partner, Lamborghini Edinburgh, and especially Andy Canning there, and the Proclaimers and Louis Agency as well. They're three main partners. Well, that was brilliant. And any teachers you want to thank for all of their work and efforts? Yeah, Mr. Stowers and Ms. Leggett for helping us loads. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Team Vortex, uh, a great way to end the racing track side. I couldn't think of a better team to come along. It's not easy, but you've done a brilliant job, guys, representing Scotland. So now it's just up to the awards. That brings us to the end then, Amy. That is all the racing done. It feels sad now. Yeah, that's it. I want your opinion, though. Oh. Remember I said that Louis had the longest laces? Yeah. What do you think of them? Well, they've left now. I oh, can't even check. No, they've gone. We'll never know. The longest laces I have seen. I saw them running up the stairs, and you can spot them a mile away. Um, there you go. But yeah. racing, been absolutely amazing. I've really enjoyed it. It's been really exciting all the way up to the end. So I'm really excited to see who comes away with those awards. Yeah, CHS Comet at the top of the development class. Brilliant work done uh, from them uh, in the development class and for the professional class. All the races, brilliant to see. And you can see what it means to all of the teams to get that improvement after all the work and effort that went in to get this far. Brilliant to see. And that just confirms all of the races. Well, for everyone that's made this possible, for you guys watching wherever you may have been, and to everybody here at Leeds University, it's been a brilliant day of racing. Day two for the Lenovo F1 in Schools UK National Final 23. Just the awards to go now, so come back and join us at 4 p.m. to find out who will be the crowned champions in the development and in the professional class. We'll see you very shortly.